some more, Tara? Uh, Tara? Hey, backgammon fans. Uh, Bill Riles here of Ace Point Backgammon in the Texas Backgammon Championship. Tara Mendocino and I are doing all the streaming here in the, at the Las Vegas Open. Got a little bonus round coverage this morning. Uh, play officially doesn't start to 11, but uh, it's a couple of matches running a little behind in the championship consolation. So we've got uh, around a 32 match here between two really stellar players. Jonas Seawald from Colorado, who won the $5,000 jackpot earlier in the week, and Stefan Nunez from uh, Seattle area, uh, superb player as well. Good to see you, buddy. So uh, this should be a nice match. Little uh, little bonus coverage um, here early on. Eleven point match, round of thirty two in the consolation. Stefan on the bottom, Jonah on the top with the uh, with the black checkers, double nickels, which uh, is straightforward uh, standard play. Ace point, three point, dance by uh, Stefan. Jonah sends the cube. Typically, this is a pass, and a pass it is. The so one, uh, one zero. Jonah quickly. Now, hopefully, at eleven or shortly thereafter, perhaps at the conclusion of these matches, we should have the. Uh, semifinals of the uh, championship main event. Uh, Ray Fogerlund and Ed uh, O'Loughlin in one semifinal. And Chuck Bauer and Antonio Gambaya. Uh, and I probably butchered that name, so I apologize. But uh, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll get to those shortly, but we'll have this... Uh, Really nice match with Jonah and Stepan to, to warm up with here this morning. Okay. So Jonah has the the three one, which will probably be the five point. Both have nice developing structures early in this game. Another set of aces by Stefan, which makes the uh, the four point. So now he has a four point prime. Got one, another ace to play. He can split the back, or he can, uh, you know, move that blot to the eight point to try to develop a five prime. But he's going to split them and uh, try to escape. Okay, so John is able to make the broken six prime. So uh, Stefan needs to. Uh, oh, six is a lot of freight here. <laughs> Gonna be a blot somewhere. At least the indirect on the nine. So uh, he doesn't have much flexibility in his next. Uh, next roll or two, six, three by Jonah, so he can't move his back checkers either, and he can't make the four point. So, uh, it'll be a little bit of a standoff here early on. Six, three. Now, Devon needs a two or a three to do something with those back checkers. He gets a two, so he's uh, going to have to step up, I believe, and uh, then Perhaps play uh, nine four nine five. Hmm. Uh, he doesn't step up. He plays a seven five. So he's going to let Jonah try to. Jonah needs a good roll himself. He gets a six five. So. It's kind of a uh, Jonah still needs to to escape, 
and he's not having any any luck. Another six five, second six five in a row. He got a five point board with two in the air, but he's got to get these two back guys out. Some good numbers and some terrible numbers. Aces is a great number. Check that. That may be uh, Andrea or somebody. Okay, so okay. So uh, Jonah got the double aces, which allowed him to step up. Since the uh, since the cube, so he collects another point. Two zero. Uh, Jonah. Wait a second. All confused here. Here we go. Four two. Nice pointing number. Stevan gets uh, an early early advantage on this third game. Six four. Jonah. Jonah makes the two point. It's kind of a toss up. Usually I only make that with uh, Stefan. Still, <laughs> they were both all set up in different directions. Um, Jonah made the two point with a six four. I'll normally do that at a, kind of a gam and go position, but otherwise, uh, you know, look at the run or the split. Three one for Jonah. He's going to take the hit. Four three for Stefan. <laughs> These guys uh, know each other well, good friends. Uh, both have great playing demeanors and attitudes, so uh, I'm sure they'll have a nice, fun, enjoyable match. Okay, so Stefan gets uh, maybe a little bit of an early advantage, but he's Having second thoughts, he could make the two point, putting one in the air without a blot. And uh, that's what he decides to do. Nah, he, he, he's, he's torn. He'd rather have the five, so he's going to leave the two blots outside. Nothing direct inside for Jonah to roll at. Three six. Four two. So uh, Stefan's got the one four game and uh, three points to his home board. So uh, this ga this game's probably going to uh, take a while to 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 develop here. Neither is going to have a. Significant advantage early on, meriting a cube, I don't believe. I think I'd go 5-4, which gives me the 3-1 cover and the double aces also. As it is now, he only has a 3-2 making the point, but he plays it 11-10. Uh, Dancing. Now, does he? Uh, he only has eight, nine, nine in the zone. He's got four checkers back, so it' uh, not the optimal attacking blitzing type position. But uh, he's down two zero. He may uh, now he defers. So there's the two three. So now Jonah's got to perform here, or I think uh, Stefan will will. Uh, Try to seize upon this advantage. Now it rolls on. That's how it goes, right? It's fine. It's fine. Okay. If Jonah dances again. I, I, I kind of think uh, Stefan's usually a fairly aggressive player, but 2 1, he gets them both in, although they're not, uh, <coughs> not paired since the cube. Jonah lets him have it, so 2-1 it is. All right, I'm going to help set the board up this time. 
Ian Terry, who's still kicking in the main in the undefeated bracket. We have four players left. Two semifinals. One will be uh, Ed O'Loughlin and, and uh, Ray Fogerland. The other one is Chuck Bauer from uh, Indiana, I believe. And a guy named, and I'll butcher this, Antonio Gambaio or, or something of that nature. Um, I'm not at all familiar with the name. I was told he's from California. I'll try to to learn a bit more, uh, you know, before that match starts. But uh, Antonio Gambao, Gambato, something like that, against Chuck Bauer and uh, Ray Fogerlin against uh, Ed O'Loughlin. You know, it's kind of interesting. Uh, should Ray win the tournament? I was talking to him last night, late after he beat uh, Mate. If Ray were to win the tournament, uh, I think he would, uh, by a very small margin, overtake Neil Kazaros as the all-time ABT point winner. So uh, Ray's got that to be uh, to be playing for. Of course, it, you know Ed O'Laughlin has been around forever and a, a giant at times, a Hall of Fame member. Uh, so it's uh, not an easy task ahead of Ray to 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 win the tournament. Chuck Bauer, you know, on the other side of that bracket, um, Chuck won the uh, Texas Backgammon Championships in 2014, I believe, maybe 2015. Uh, probably was 2015. And he, he's won a few other things. So Chuck's a fairly accomplished player. Uh, Antonio, I have no familiarity with at all. So, uh, Stefan, uh, with some developing structure, Jonah with three back. Stefan down 2-1, uh, sends the cube, and is going to try to make something happen here. 4-2, so Stefan still in, uh, in good shape. If he could make this bar point, which he does, uh, probably maybe not in the way that he had, had hoped, but... He's in a pretty commanding position now. Uh, Jonah hasn't uh, been able to secure his, his his own home board much. Now, Stefan can get out of there with one or both of those checkers and, uh, you know, maybe, uh, maybe he can reap some big benefits on this game. Now, he's got to, I mean, you almost... He has to split. Does he split them just to the to the twenty three, or does he want bring one of them on out further, which then uh, makes them vulnerable to to Jonas builders? I think you. I would bring it on up because uh, you know Jonah, whether the blot is there or not, and Jonah can make a point. Jonah's going to make a point. Uh, so I, I think this is the right play. Five one. Morning, folks. How is everyone doing this morning? <laughs> oh, I can move over. Here. You can move over here. Going to have uh, Rory Pascar, tournament director, organizer, is going to join us with his presence here for a few minutes. So, welcome, Rory. Thank you. Great tournament. Bill. Great tournament going on. Well, part of making it a great tournament is having you and Tyra doing your thing, man. You guys are rock stars, and uh, it, I, I mean, just having this, uh, the stream, the presence that you guys provide, and uh, it, it's it, I, getting this out to the masses is what it's all about. Well, you know, and I think, uh, you know, the way we have the commentary area, and, the, yeah. and you have provided the TV set up here, and we've got chairs behind us. I mean, during the day, people just, Love to sit out here and watch matches and listen to some of the commentary, and it's it's it really uh, I think enhances the the environment and the venue. And absolutely, it's uh, I know, back in and you know we play this game, and you know people need to understand we're not just a bunch of people sitting around playing a game. We're actually a community, and uh, this is definitely part of that. 
a few people starting to watch early and hear several people. Ian, good Ian, morning. Ian, good morning, good morning buddy. Casper Vandertech. Hi, Rory. Casper. So, Appreciate you guys watching. Uh, hopefully, uh, oh, already 51 people watching. Well, it's probably mostly Europeans, yeah, and, I bet. Yeah, and mostly we had, you know, we had told people it was going to start at 11. I didn't realize there were going to be a couple of early matches here, so we've got a little bonus coverage yeah. early on and a very good match with uh, Jonah. And Step on and Jonah. I mean, that's rock-solid match. All. And it uh, looks as though, uh, you know, if Jonah leads, leads 2-1, but it looks like uh, Stepan very, very good chance of picking up four here. Yeah, what is this chance? You think it's over? I don't think forty-ish uh, percent. I would think at least that. Now, fortunately for Jonah, he has no timing problems at this point, so he he hasn't. Uh, yeah, it's probably you know over. he can still develop a board. He hasn't crunched, but right. uh, check around the three kind of sucks, but. Seems right to slot the five. You want to make it for sure. Oh, uh -oh. look at that. Uh-oh. Ring. Shot time. That little ring sound is a shot rang out. Uh, Johnny has two blots over there, but also, I mean, <laughs> he's got several builders. Uh, he just played he can, from the eight. He can probably, uh, if so he were to hit Stepan, he's got a decent chance of covering uh, one or both of those blots. And uh, good morning, Michael Pines. Uh, you know, M trucks, morning, right? gentlemen. That's uh, Zavarol. Zavarol. Good morning, Bob. I knew it. I uh, Michael. I just drew a blank. Michael, wish you were here, buddy. You, uh, Michael Pines was uh, scheduled to be here, but unfortunately couldn't make it. So hopefully, I'll see him in Chicago in the, uh, December. Four. Oh, that's a pretty good roll. I mean, that 40% gammons is now is far low. less. Yeah, that uh, moves a lot of freight. Removes some of the uh, things. Now, Jonah stays for maybe the 6-5 blotting or six Or 6-1. One. 6-1. Six one. It's more. Doesn't get it, but he's probably oh, still. Oh, yeah. Is everyone. Hi, everyone from the UK. Simon Shama. Hi, Roy. Oh, Simon. Hey, buddy. Chicago. So, uh, they're finding they're finding the early, uh, the early match here. Yeah, they are. Yes, there is an event in Chicago. Ian, thanks for asking. Uh. Um, obviously, I've been running the Chicago Open for uh, 10 years, uh, Memorial Day weekend in May. We will have the uh, Chicago Classic. It, this tournament might be just once. It might be a couple of years. We'll see. Um, it's uh, the week before Christmas, so literally four weeks from now. Uh, it is a more Swiss event. So the what's unusual, though, is having Monday holiday. You know, we run this main event Saturday, Sunday, Monday. The uh, main event this time will be Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, the dates of the tournament are the 15th to the 19th, and the website is Chicago um, Chicago Classic. I believe it's abt.weebly.com. Try and drop that into the text field at some point. Hey, Tara. Oh, you want me to step away for a second? Sure. I, the boss is calling. I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, so uh, you know, John got some uh, some big rolls here. He's going to save the gammon. Uh, Stefan got adequate rolls that he had never had to leave the shot, so he was never in danger of losing the the game. So it's kind of a kind of a wash here. Jonah didn't get gammoned, and uh, Stefan still won the game. So it's going to be a two point uh, two point victory. And we got, uh, you know, Rory was mentioning the Chicago Classic coming up soon. There's several tournaments in the in the near term ahead of us here. Of course, we're here in Las Vegas. Uh, in a couple of weeks, there's the LA Open um, in Los Angeles, obviously, at the Hilton at the LAX. Then, uh, let's see, Rory's tournament in Chicago immediately following that. And then in January, and I forget the dates, but relatively early in January, is the New York Metro, Lynn Ehrlich's tournament. And then uh, Tar and I get to run our tournament in uh, February 9 to 13 in San Antonio. Super Bowl so, weekend. Super Bowl weekend. So, uh, 
a number of very nice tournaments coming up and uh, hope to see many of y'all at uh, those that uh, tournaments that you can make so, it's really great to have live tournament play going again and dude. you know this is first uh, tournament tar and i have attended in the states um, since the pandemic and all and it's great to see a, a lot of old friends and so forth we were you know fortunate to go to trier in germany in in the summer and and caught up with a lot of our european friends but uh you know, we'll be in Chicago. Um, we're going to be at the New York Metro, not working, but just uh, relaxing and playing. And then we'll have That's our own change. tournament. <laughs> It'll be it'd be neat to get to play for a change uh, at New York. Well, maybe if you weren't so damn good, <laughs> we wouldn't ask you to do this so often. <laughs> the price of greatness, right? I'm telling you, it's... <laughs> It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it, you know. And uh, and so, we, it's just it's evolved such, and and Tara's, just, you know, she's got ten plus years experience of streaming, and you know, she's always researching and experimenting, and and requiring more and more equipment all the time. I mean, if you saw that streaming control center in there, it's just mind blowing. But uh, we're able to put on these. Uh, you know, very professional, I think, uh, productions for people and, and people like Rory here who well appreciates the, the value of, um, of good streaming. I yeah. think it's great exposure and great promotion, not only for the game, but for the tournaments. And, uh, you know, and it's interesting the way we have this commentary table set up outside with the big screen tv and it's kind of an open mic almost we you know solicit volunteers to do the and and the guys love it <laughs> yeah monte who had his he said it was his first time ever having a match streamed with commentary last night and i i went and got coffee coffee with him this morning and he said you know he wished he had played better because he didn't play particularly well for himself but um he was so he felt it was like it was such a special moment for him. Oh, he was so excited, and uh, and that's great. That's yeah. great. Monte's a good guy. He, he does. Uh, he's actually, does a lot for the game. He's traveling a lot. He's going to a lot of tournaments. He does a lot of recording, he's streaming, whatever. And he's a very good player as well. So, so, uh, so I hired Bill and Tara for to do the streaming this weekend. Tyra is kind of the technical expert. Well, uh, and well, more, not kind of. She is the technical expert. <laughs> and Bill's the grunt. The, <laughs> yeah, the... Bill, Bill, but Bill's but Bill's role is just as important in terms uh, in terms of organizing and getting uh, matches. Figuring out what matches we're going to stream. Uh, he keeps me on top of it, making sure we have great pairings over here. Um, great commentary. To... Great commentary and getting the commentators together whenever there's a vacancy out there trying to find someone to keep this up. Um, it, it's, it's, it's been yeah, a great and, weekend. And we've done this at our tournament. We've done it at Chicago in the past, uh, doing it here this weekend. Edge. I think it, it really adds a little different flavor when you have live commentary for from expert players who are actually at the tournament and they've yeah. kind of got a little bit of a vested interest and a feel for how the tournament's going maybe they own them in the calcutta <laughs> maybe they own them in the calcutta <laughs> so here uh stepan uh, seizing again uh, against uh, another advantageous position he's got um this might be a this take, probably a take i i would have been I'm surprised not, i'm not think. so sure though i mean Three on the ace, attacking to make. The, I mean, you make that bar point, and it's like. But he does have a three-point board. There are two other chip blots out there. Well, I got to think what Stepan's going to hit this bar point, don't you think? Yeah, and, yeah. So. Uh, it's just well, a actually, question of what he does with a five. But. Yeah, I guess he must. You just, I think he's safe. If, oh, well, you could leave this uh, guy on the eighteen, and because uh, the six is duplicated. Oh, he goes with the non-hit. Uh -huh. I don't think that's right. I think you, you, know, you have yeah, an advantage. Because, uh, well, had Jonah rolled such that he would, had been able to make that ball yeah. point, like, then, then you, why did you cube? Then you lost the advantage that you had. Hmm. 
I'm surprised Stepan wasn't a little more aggressive. Yeah, I, I, and he typically is a fairly aggressive player. Casper thinks it looks okay. <laughs> Likes the cube. Yes, uh, uh, Russ Kennedy uh, point, makes a great comment, and that's one thing I was getting to. I think uh, Bill said something. It threw me off for a second, but, yeah, I wanted to thank uh, the Galaxy team. Um, so I contacted Mark about three weeks ago um, about potentially um, – or no, actually, I'm sorry, a few months ago about possibly streaming this tournament on the Galaxy platform. I mean, it is the biggest, best uh, online platform – uh, in terms of number of subscribers and the amount of content uh, that they're providing, they have I think was it now twelve twelve point seven thousand subscribers, which is more than far more than any other uh, back in and uh, YouTube channel. And so for me, my benefit is obviously this massive audience. Their benefit is more great content. And speaking of great content, what they do is provide great content. This YouTube channel is just awesome. Uh, I'm I give. Mark and his crew so much credit for all the amazing things they've been doing in the last couple of years. Um, the interviews, there was a Dirk Scheidman, what, what do they call the, it's not an interview, what are they calling it? The UBC? Um, just, no, yeah, no, they're, it's an interview, but they're calling it something else. I can't remember I, exactly. I don't recall. But whatever, uh, the content they're providing is just awesome. And uh, it's just great entertainment for us as players. Well, and they're, you know, they actually played the UEC final last week and the uh, the streaming of that, the broadcast of that begins the 26th, which is Just next Friday, away. I think. Um, Correct. Yeah, it's next Friday. So I think they'll stream one match a day for 15 days or whatever it is. Um, so that's, that's always exciting to watch. And they do, a, and, and certainly it's, uh, they do a, a good, great job when they're doing live broadcasts like they had at Marbella uh, in the contender tournament this year. But when, uh, you know, like with the UBC final where it's actually pre-recorded and then they can, uh, you know, you can do a lot of post-production editing and, and input and then the commentary and this, that, and the other. And it's really a special uh opportunity for people to observe some high class backgammon and, and and learn a lot of things as well. Oh, Black gets a nice small roll. This is this is actually uh puts White in a very precarious position. Uh not very a flexible. lot of good numbers and some really bad numbers. Yep. Six five six five six three oh six, it's three, a great, great pointing number. So uh, it's kinda of interesting the way we've done the commentary this weekend. Um how do you play this one? Just yeah. really quickly goes to the ace. You know, we have all these different commentators, all of them, for the most part, you know, superl superlative players. Yeah. They're they're better than you, and they're actually even better than me. But even, they... <laughs> better, than, even better than the great Bill Riles now. Just but what's interesting, so, so, so the viewers get, you know, the perspectives and uh, insight of all these range of players. You know, and, and it's even funny, Jonah, after he won the 5K deal, um, he comment, commentated a match uh, the next day or something. And I, I thought that was great because John is, he's a good teacher. He has great insight. He speaks well, but it was an opportunity for people not only to experience all of that, but it was to kind of see and get to know John. You know, he's not as well known as some of these other people. He's not going to clear the four point, is he? This can't possibly be right. I, not with two blots over there. Me, he's got to come down to the eight. To me, I'm volunteering. I mean, you can play safe and bring two in. But I'm volunteering because I you know uh, you can clear. But what happens if you, he rolls double fives? Mm -hmm. Actually, it's you an have anti joker. To make this play, yeah, I think. What, I, I think it's particularly with the two blots. Yeah, you're just hoping he doesn't roll one six or one two or one one. And you may can answer this. Um, then I was sure. talking about the brackets and schedules and so forth. I, I don't know. Um, we've been posting some of the pictures. Um, uh, and. Uh, you know, I've just been absolutely swamped. Like, this is one of the few chances I've had to even take a breath uh, this weekend. It's uh, my first Las Vegas Open as a director, and um, I thought I overstaffed, and I, did. <laughs> I didn't. I uh, did So in the future, we're definitely going to have, oh, wow. This is what we call ugly. Yeah, that's an anti-joker for sure. Wow, fours and ones, fours and... Four sixes and ones, but... Uh, well, it depends on how he plays the four, but yeah, he could bring it I, down to just 
what I, ones and ones, fours and sixes, either way, I guess. And whoa, I think this is probably right. Maybe you make the ace, but I think this is right. Wow. Um. So what was I saying? Uh. So as much brackets, as I the, so the brackets well. online, um, we've posted pictures on the Facebook channel. Uh, my goal was to have everything in uh, chat lounge and share links, but I just haven't had the time, unfortunately. Um, so in the future, I think I'm going to have to literally have a person dedicated just to that, uh, making on uh, social media and uh, sharing of information. So um, I will. Oh, wow. Hit and cover. That's, <laughs> That's pretty brutal. <laughs> well, but look at how all most almost all the sixes are really good here. Six, two, three, four. No, not four, two, three. Ah, that's not yeah, six. Now, uh, now John I think he's up just the second checkered. Is, I uh, think he's just supposed to recube, actually. Well, with the six open, that may yeah, be the case. Because I don't think you get enough gammons. I mean, you're going to leave it there, and if he rolls double sixes, a, then you get gammons. Yeah, but he, he's, got a, he's got a lot of ammo to come around and remake that right, six right, point. Right. But. I would. I would be doubling. I mean, yeah, these uh, and Vincent talking about the online brackets, and and we've done online brackets. Yeah, it's a it's, it's a lot work. of work. It's, it's a lot, a lot of, of work. It's a lot of work. I mean, and I, uh, you know, and it's great, um, but but you gotta you gotta. Perf yeah tara said <laughs> she she's so much smarter than me <laughs> she said you prepare them before the tournament starts so all you have to do is enter the player names i but actually i'm i, I agree uh -oh. and i disagree because uh, -oh. uh yeah this is pretty big let's pause for a second and look at the match not greedy that's so, a three so just there the that right three. that void six points did come back and haunt jonah i would have reshipped immediately and just tip cashed Um, um oh well i guess you just you just have to, has to oh has to hit. oh you can take the second check right? the second check yeah this has got to be right this has got to be right because even if he rolls a3 you're and on shake buys you time yeah. to try to get back in you're on shake with a five and here he can make the point you know threes are duped but still yet yeah, he's he can make the point and uh and, just come and on. pick up a third checker at some point now now he's come not going to have the uh no, uh, only double threes hit here. You can't avoid, and uh, you can't avoid leaving double threes. But I leave double threes. It's just wow, what a what a roller coaster ride this game is. Yeah, I think Sapon made an error. Not a. Uh... I'm sorry, so Jonah, Jonah made the error by not cashing. Not cashing. Um, I've seen too many times. Keep it going, so you. Have... Well, you know, it's funny you, you get you get lucky sometimes, maybe. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you then you get greedy following the luck, <laughs> and and it turns around on you again. Ooh. So here, and he and he can get go from gr being greedy and getting unlucky to, uh, you know, getting it back with that three point anchor and well, four checkers on the deuce is not particularly flexible. Well, he's going to have uh, there's going to be a shot here. Whoa. Oh, that's He could have played it I the other way. Six, two. What was the roll? I thought it was 6-4. You thought it was 6-4? Oh, yeah, that's what he played. So. It was 6-4, yeah. Okay. Um you don't bring it into the 6. What do you how do you play this? You either go to the 7 or the 8. Go to 7 and 2-1. Huh? Well, that's inflexible. That's uh, No, he brought the 4 down from the mid, didn't he? Did he, no, was the, the, play? The, was that, you think it was an illegal play? It was two sixes, wasn't it? Oh, you, oh, it was double because sixes. it was in front okay, of okay, that. Yeah, yeah. He played two sixes. It was a six four. Actually, maybe it was no, maybe it was double sixes because no, uh, but he only played two. Well, if he only played two because the other ones were blocked. Uh, I, I'm uh, almost positive it was six four. Yeah, it would have been four. Oh, gotcha. Fair enough. Although Joseph, a uh, couple of guys here say it was six six, oh, yeah. but you know it's interesting, Rory, and and this, uh, yeah. you know, you as the director of the tournament, and and I direct tournaments and so forth. But someone I noticed was talking uh, had posted something this morning on uh, 
on Facebook talking about Ray. Yes, clear, the, clear. The Ray uh, Mate match last yes. night. Yes. And late in that match, um, Ray made an illegal play. Now, it probably had to, no influence on the on the match. Mm -hmm. But Ray made an illegal play, and the, the guy was saying, uh, and nobody caught it except a couple of people watching. Sure. And the, the guy that made the post was saying, well, could have, could or should, like the commentators have had said something, you know? Uh, Vincent said he backed up a video, and it was a 6-2. That's what I thought uh, it was originally. I thought it was a 6 I thought originally. it was 6-4. Some people thought it was a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah. What do you see? What do you see? You can't tell? On her phone, it's can On it. Wow. Well, it'll be interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's gone now. Yeah. It's, it's... I'm just curious to what it was. This first. Back up the red. Oh, yeah, now it looks like 6-2. It looks like, I can see what, yeah, it looks like a 6-2, but I guess. Yeah, well, I can I can see it as a 2. I can see it as a 4. I, but you don't see the points to make it a 4. You only see uh, it. I, yeah, it, it looks like a 6-2 upon careful study here. <laughs> you can't zoom in. Yeah. So, anyways, it doesn't matter. But uh, it looks like uh, going to. How do you get this thing going again, Tara? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you hit the live button right here. You just hit the live button. It went into oh, it. You'll okay. see it's red now. The red dot. Yeah. Okay. So, there we go. He had to leave. Vincent Blinton just texted me. What do you say, Vincent? Okay, now how do I get it back down to where I can see the chat? Oh. Yeah, the, on the picture, I'm, I'm able to zoom in. It sure looks like a 6 2. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Vincent. Ray was looking at your screenshot. So, can okay, Jonah so, get off uh, the G? Probably needs a set. Very likely needs a set. Ooh. Yeah, I like this too, because I can see. Got, that, there you go. I think that's right. Either one. Uh, actually, no, I think it should have been the other one, because double fours. All sixes get come in and double fours come in from the eight. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, fourteen. But it's probably nominal. Oh, he wishes he made it. it might actually reverse. So he needs double fours or well, better. He's trying to double double fours or better. Has to be the six. Has to take the crossover. So that's just what's the two. The one way I look at this to see what doubles work is if I put that checker on the eight point, then I need two plus three plus four to get the checkers in. That's nine pips. It, but I can't get in with double threes, which means double fours is the best roll that can work. And that just doesn't, doesn't matter. Doesn't even get a roll. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> Stefan. Well, once again, I want to. I need to step away. Uh, I got some tournament stuff to take care of. Uh, get things going for the day. Uh, once again, thank you to Bill and Tara, uh, all my staff, uh, the USBGF. Of course, Galaxy, and one one thing I didn't mention again is uh, Jeffrey Parker, who was a sponsor for the 5K Super Jackpot, won by Mr. 5K, Jonas Seawald. So thank you to Jeffrey Parker. Uh, I'm and at the bottom line? Huh? And at the bottom line, thank you to all the players that are Yes, here. yes, of course. Uh, That's what it good point, Bill. Uh, thank you to all the players for being here, and, uh, uh, you know, even the ones that aren't here. I, I know many of you support me uh, so many ways and been to other tournaments, so... Uh, uh, thank you very much, and uh, I can't do this without you guys, so thank you. I'm going to step away now and let Bill uh, okay. run it. Okay, we'll, uh, and if you see, uh, don't let, don't let Ray or Ed or Chuck Bauer or any of those guys oh. start. Okay, so anyway, we got away from the match quite a bit, shooting the shooting breeze about various things, but uh, here we are, Stefan, uh, with a 7-2 lead, having been down 
two zero or two one. Certainly two one. Might have been two zero. But uh, okay, so double fours. He's got another strong position here in the, in this game. So Jonah's kind of swimming upstream the last few games here. Uh, Stefan is pondering. Uh, Maybe sending it again. There it goes. Uh, Jonah's got a tough decision here. Probably unlikely that the one guy gets closed out anytime soon, and it's unlikely that he gets gammon if he only has the one back. So, um, But it's unlikely he's going to get much of a shot either. I, I, I would think... Jonah's going to let this go personally, but that's that's just Bill's perspective, and I'm not the player that Jonah or Stefan either one is. I see Patrick Gibson sitting right behind me here. Hello, Patrick. <laughs> There's Patrick Gibson, the Hall of Famer and uh, known and loved by all, so he gives you all a shout at. <laughs> Okay, so Jonah did let that go, 8-2. run. so Jonah's going to have to, uh, I think we'll see the aggressiveness really uh, ramp up here. Uh, at this score, he's going to have to try to seize any opportunity he can to get back into the, into the game. Six five makes that 18 point. One makes the makes the bar. Jonah really needs to hit one of those two checkers, and he does. He's not out of the woods, but he he, he started out of the woods anyway. But the double ace is a is a killer. So now he's back in an almost identical. Uh, almost identical position he was in last game to some extent. But he is, you know, so I can't make the eight points, so Jonah still has some escaping opportunities with the back guy here. Okay, so what do we do? I think he's just got to step up. Uh, he's going to play down. I I would have been tempted to step up and maybe play 8-4, uh, but run, so that makes it 5-4 for the ace if he's going to bring it out. And Jonas needs a 6 in the worst way, but... And the fours move a lot of freight, but there's only so much he can do with it. Uh, you know, he can make, yeah. Corridor. Hi from Sochi, Russia. Nice to have a viewer in Sochi. We love backgammon too much, but not many others rules. We play in Caucasian. You can't beat and hide in the house. So, uh, yeah, Ian, you're right. Jonah didn't have anything to do but stack ugly there. So, so again, uh, under duress, and there's a pointing 6-4. Whoa. So, uh, we'll see what happens. I think uh, Stefan, for the next few rolls, probably just play on and uh, see if he... Uh, Kind of inadvertently steps into a G here. If, if, if Jonah were to come in, he might consider otherwise. But for the moment, uh, why not just play on? Two, one. 
he's tempted to lift, but uh, Jonah doesn't have much of a defense anyway. I'd, I'd leave it slotted and try to get the six prime. That one was uh, suspended up on that checker, 4-2. Now, we are playing, as y'all have been watching during the week, we're playing uh, Diamond Checkers Valid, so you'll see that occasionally. Um, also playing uh, legal moves, so either player is uh, required, if they see it, to, to call out illegal plays of their own and of their opponents, and those are to be corrected. So... Uh, there's the ace now. Devon continues to play on, although the 5-4 is uh, a little bit awkward here. Now, you know, Jonah has a, an opportunity to, to maybe do something. Okay, so China's or Stefan Majors, he's still going to play on. I would cash this now. Is there's chances of a gammon are almost uh, non-existent. So uh, he's toying around with the ideas, you know, staying for the. You know, Jonah rolls a 6-1, but no, he's leaving. So so now he's only going to have the one checker to potentially close out. I guess he could go fishing for a second one. But uh, do what, Tiger, you think? Yeah, I think he should cash it. But um, <clears throat> he's going to go on. He's going to hit it loose and go fishing, as I would say. Try to... Uh, Worm his way into a second checker. Now he'll do nothing that uh, leaves the potential to uh, to blot at some point. So now, uh, you know, he can he can play on now, but uh, you know, there's there's no bad numbers. Just you know, there's a a freak gammon here or there, but most unlikely. But as soon as he, uh, you know, he can cash at any moment. As long as he doesn't have any bad numbers, he can roll on. So there, there he's going to be out on the back probably. So he may just go ahead, go ahead and cash it. Jonah comes in, so now he. And again, it's uh, no downside unless Jonah rolls about four sixes, four sets of sixes in a row. Three rolls at minimum for Stefan, so he just cashes here. So I see a Mick Zakrashek and Richard Stuby behind me as well. So uh, people are starting to play officially starts. It resumes at 11 today, so 114. Uh, which is pretty good because we had told people we would start streaming at 11 and we actually started streaming at 10. I didn't realize there were a couple of early matches had been scheduled to, to catch up in the bracket a little bit. <laughs> so... Uh... You know, it's kind of interesting. Uh, Jonah and I were talking about this the other day and I think Jonah mentioned it on the uh, yeah, smash the like button as Mark uh, Olson would say. But uh, as Jonah, you know, I think he said it on the match he commentated on the other day. You know, it's fun. He he went six and zero and won the five um, k jackpot, and he said not much success <laughs> in the main event. He uh, he rebought twice to before he won, and now he's in the consolation and 
you know, it looks like he uh, might well lose this game or this match. But like you said, if, you know, you don't want to be 50-50 in every event and you want to win everything in, in one event and he won everything in the, in the 5k and was a champion of that. Greetings from Germany. Said Udo, Udo Sack or Sack, Sack, I guess. Thanks for watching, Udo. And again, soon after, uh, well, Sergeant Bray, uh, I appreciate that. Uh, again, uh, you know, I'm not the the elite player some of our commentators have been, but, uh, you know, I'm a competent player, and hopefully uh, we can point out some things that are of benefit to uh, lesser experienced players. And, uh, you know, on occasion, particularly when we have some of the uh, elite commentators, uh, you know, some great perspective for even uh, the more experienced players. So, again, this... Uh, this match just uh, continues along the same path. Every time I look up, Stefan is in a commanding position, and and Jonah is just struggling to stay alive. Well, you may as well just cut his juggler and get this over with. Stefan says, "So we'll." That's right, Mr. Fenneran. And uh, that's what, and, and Jonah chose the correct event to go 6-0 in, as it was the, uh, you know, a very substantial uh, prize pool. And, uh, you know, not only some substantial uh, monies, but a Jeffrey Parker board and entry t into a, a number of international, domestic and international tournaments. That, uh, Michael Shokati, that is Patrick Gibson behind. <laughs> so, <laughs> people are seeing you on the camera, Patrick and. This uh, and this match is far from over. Or over as we we all know, backgammon and uh, you know rallies are uh, are common. And rallies, uh, you know, it's easier to play at times from way behind than not. Um, you know, when you can be super aggressive with the with the cube. So I'm not saying this match is uh, near being over. But recall, we've got uh, we'll be streaming matches uh, all day. We. Uh, Soon, I suspect we're going to have the semifinals of the main event. Uh, yeah, there. So again, and and probably on stream two, we'll have Chuck Bauer and uh, Antonio Gambato, Gambio, something of that nature. I apologize, not knowing the pronunciation. And uh, on stream one, we'll have uh, Ray Fogerlund and, and Ed O'Loughlin. And obviously, we'll uh, we'll try to find some expert commentary for the Ray and Ed match. So again, uh, Jonah's got an opportunity here if he can... Uh, Work some magic and, and maybe close this checker out, and he can escape with both twos and sixes with his back guys, so he's not as uh, constrained as is often the case. Though, so right now, the containment of uh, 
Stefan's one checker is the most important thing. Yeah, that might be fun, uh, Bill. Veteran will just uh, turn off the commentator mics and turn on the board mics and let Ray and Ed go at it themselves. <laughs> that would be entertaining. Not bad. Okay, so Stefan got in, but Jonah made the five prime in front of him. So, oh, there's the six, and it points. Uh, that was a... Tough. Yes. Six four. That's a. Or no, what was it? <laughs> Double four. I saw six four and was fixing to celebrate the fly shot hit here. But uh, yes, Ian Chuck Bauer is a very good friend and business partner of Frico's. They uh, they actually played in the round of eight or sixteen. I'm not sure. Uh, I, and I watched the last part of that match. It was really entertaining. They got to DMP, and then uh, and and they're both super nice guys. And and again, very very good friends. <laughs> they're playing at DMP. Uh, Frigo had a pretty good substantial, effectively non-contact lead. It sends a cube for the match, and Chuck ponders it for some time. Takes the cube. Uh, and then proceeds in the next five rolls to roll three sets of fives or something of that nature. And, and Frank was just <laughs> exasperated. He said, I thought you were my friend. You, you take that cube. I think Frigo thought it was probably not a take. You take that cube and roll three sets of fives, you know. But, uh, hey, that's backgammon that we all know and love. So, uh Looking uh, pretty dire for, for Jonah here and with the cube in play and uh, Stefan being only two away, a, a single game win would uh, would be the match. Yeah, uh, Bill Federer's talking about Zeus, which is a program... Uh, Have a risk reward analysis type program that Chuck and uh, Frank developed and is used by many NFL teams and others to to uh, strategize on uh, play decisions and uh, so forth, like when to punt and when to go for it and when to kick field goals and when to go for it on fourth down and things of that nature. So it's really been pretty successful and, and well accepted by uh, a lot of the NFL teams. Okay, we're right down to uh, to the bitter end now. Jonah's going to try to save a six, save a five and a six. Uh, fours, that's curtains. Curtain call. The uh, large lady is singing in the hallway. <laughs> and here's Phil Simborg. You're, you're always... Always willing to, to make a tough bet. <laughs> well, if uh, if Ed and Ray are in the in the building, that would be next. Did you see Ray? Okay. I don't know. I mean, it's they only have to play one match today, the semi. So uh, I don't know if they're going to play at eleven or not. Don't steal my cup. Yeah, let me. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, tell them to hold up just a second if they would, and let's see uh, see what we do. It doesn't matter who wins. Okay. Good match for these guys. Congratulations to uh, Stepan. And uh, I'm going to step away for a few minutes. Okay. Uh, I'm going to arrange our next match and uh, be back shortly. But they're going to go ahead. It doesn't matter what happens the rest of the time I'm here. I mean, how, how can I complain about bad luck? <laughs> oh, I'm so unlucky. <laughs> no one I never can complain about my bad luck because I think I was the luckiest player in the world. <laughs>
Let's say 1.9. Oh, okay, but yeah. hey, we're on. We're on. We are on. Right. This is the semifinals of the Vegas Open. And uh, first, we'll introduce the most important people, the commentators. <laughs> uh, that's uh, to my left is my good buddy and co-teacher from the Backgammon Learning Center, John O'Hagan, and one of my great teachers uh, in the world, in my opinion. Roberto, and I'm Phil Simborg, yeah. also from the Backgammon Learning Center. Center. It is. That's John is from a little win. town in okay, so. Canada that oh, really doesn't matter. <laughs> They have a great turkey dinner there. <laughs> What's the name of that place with great turkey? Uh, so I, I go there don't just remember. Go there Thanksgiving. I'm from Florida. Oh, yeah, the guy's playing. I forgot to mention that. Pull it out. Pull it out. Pull it out. Ed O'Loughlin oh, and Ray Fogler. All right, good. Yeah. Two nights. Great. Both Giants. You got it. I think Ed got missed in the Giant this one year when there was a whole bunch of funny voting going on. He certainly was one of the best players in the world. So it was Ray. They are both way up there. Okay. It's the second all-time eight after Neil Fazeros. Yes. Gaining. Yeah. Okay, so we have a match to 15. This is the semifinals. On the other side, unknown Antonio, I can't pronounce his last name, California. No, from, actually from New York. From New York. Oh, okay. Yes. Antonio. Antonio. Mato, I, I played him. Scambato. Scambato. I who's gonna play played Jeff him earlier. Power. Yes. And uh, Chuck beat his partner and good friend Frank Frigo. Get here. Start over. Introduce yourself. Start over? Oh, I'm sorry. Listen, <laughs> my mic wasn't on. That's great. Um, anyhow, uh, this is Phil Simborg with John O'Hagan, and we're watching the semifinals of the championship division Ray Fogelin and Ed O'Loughlin, two great giants. Yeah. And uh, let's, uh, I'm going to leave the the information about what's really happening here to uh, another great giant, John O'Hagan. Tell, tell us what's going on here. Okay, 6-4, uh, obviously makes the great 18 point. I would call this about an even game right now, wouldn't you? Yes, yes. About an even game. Ed beat Roberto Litzenberger to get yeah. here, and uh, Ray right. beat Mate Farr right. uh, from Hungary. Yeah. Good friend of mine and a great player. Yep. And right now you got Michi playing Roberto in in the constellation. I uh, another exciting match. There's so many great right. matches and Five, so many great five. players. All right. That's so, a that's a game changer. When ahead in the race, race. Yep. And uh, is this a double yet? Looks like it. To looks me. like it. Yeah. Looks like a double and a and, and a. And I don't a know drop. what to take. Yeah. Yeah, because Ray's got to be ahead in the race, and uh, Ed doesn't have an anchor, so. The game plan is there. There is no good game plan. Just either, either roll extremely well yeah. or somehow hit a shot, which you're hardly ever going to yeah. get. If Ray had, had another checker on the five point and was holding the five point, it could be a take if the race was reasonable. Yeah. But with yeah. two landing places, even there, it's yeah. hard to take those cubes. So pretty pretty much of a game changer with well, the double will five. They, will, will they start the position in the legal position? Yes, they will. Okay. All right. They start the game correctly. They're that good of players? They know the legal position? <laughs> That's great. I didn't know they were that Ray good. didn't take a point. How come? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, he should. He's, he's, yeah, he's leading one the nothing. They... Right? <laughs> no, no. Nah. All right, 4-1, hit and split is correct. Why don't you tell him real quick, I'll change the scoreboard, John. I can't go because of this mic. Okay. Yeah, I can't. Maybe I will. Yeah, here, I'll, I'll let, him, let him know to change the scoreboard. That's something we, we've been told we can do. Huh? What about, oh, yeah. Ah, he's doing it now. Oh, yeah. oh, didn't I they, they woke up. He heard, he heard me. They woke up. <laughs> okay. He's playing boldly with that four. He brought the four. He came in with a two four. He made the... 23 point and came down with the four. I might have been tempted to come up to the 20. Uh -huh. yeah. I, I wasn't sure about that play, John. What, you, can you uh, visualize I didn't, it? I, I didn't, didn't see, see it. it. Yeah, you were walking away. Yeah. I got rid of you just the right time when I needed yeah. help. Yeah, with the four, Ed could have played 13-9, uh, but he decided to come to the 20. Yeah. Probably a close choice. Here, I always come out to the 18, but he's thinking about coming down to the 7. Down to the 7 looks there, reasonable, he's, I think. He, he's that making, might be right, actually. Yeah, I, I like this play. Yeah, okay. I like the 8. Hey, double take. Very quick double, very quick take. Not a lot of thought going into either of it. Right, uh, so 16-11. That surprised me that 
on the on the giving the QB, you don't think a little bit more here, but well, I guess it's automatic. For I him. think Ed is um, a believer in the Woolsey rule. Are you sure the opponent has a take? And he probably quickly said no, so he doubled. Uh huh. And after all, he's got a lot of double hits there. He's got pointing numbers. You know, he's ahead in the race, so I look, thought it looks like a correct double. Looked like an easy take to me, though. But I am, I'm be. not criticizing. I just can't can't get over how fast he did it. Yeah, this I is think... the semifinals. They're already in the money. We're talking about a lot of money here. This is a big tournament. Yeah, good play by Ray there. Uh, he doesn't want to slash 13 to five. Or, too many double hits back. Too many double hits and too many loose blots around. Mm -hmm. The 16 point has value, and uh, yeah, so it's my favorite point. <laughs> I like to have the 5-16 back game. <laughs> <laughs> so here I think <laughs> here it's just 20 to 14, I believe, just run out. True, leaves a double shot, but uh, only if you get hit, it's it's just resending your lone back man back again. Whereas if you play any other play, you get a second man back. Oh, this looks right. Two down? Yeah. I think so. Two down. He could go to the bar. He was thinking about it. All right. Bar 24, 13, 8 looks right. Okay, 3 1 makes the 5. It's never wrong to make the 5 except when it is. <laughs> right. Right. Ooh. What's that saying about when in doubt make the five point? Yeah, that's it. Here, can, there's here you can here you can make the here five I point. think here I think there's almost no doubt because thirteen to four looks weak. Running out it leaves a triple shot that looks weak. Make the five point. I haven't hit a triple shot all day. Do you agree, Phil? Oh yeah. I'm not gonna give you oh yeah, especially after I heard you say it, I would agree. <laughs> Me too. I think is the most uh, the two most important words in backgammon, especially in a shoeet. <laughs> I'm going to shoot up with John. It's just always whatever John does. Me too. <laughs> that could be that. That could be a mistake. <laughs> so five one. So probably just play eleven to five. I'm not sure what else. We're joined by a little kibitzer here, and I mean little. I do mean little. Matt cohen would have ah. played 13-8-6-5. Wow. Okay. I might have, too. This looks like a killer roll, though. So out and 13-7. to seven. I have a saying that most people don't realize, but a 5 prime is almost as good as a 6 prime. It, it is. 5-6 yeah. five, five, is gonna good. It's going to be in my new book. I don't know. I think Ed should come out with one of those 6s. <laughs> <laughs> That's my old book. <laughs> The five prime is not quite as good as the six prime. <laughs> How about a six prime is longer than you think? <laughs> I always go for seven in a row, though. I love to have that. Right. Right. Yeah, I would just make the three, but... Well, the cube's already been turned. Have you had that lesson yet about uh, <laughs> you can't be too good after you've doubled? <laughs> That's also in my book. <laughs> uh, I won. He points on the four point. So his loose play paid off by leaving those extra builders out there. As he's able to make the valuable four-pointer. All right, so at this point, lots of people play only one thought in mind, how do I save gammons? But Ray's also thinking about how do I get him to crack and win the game. Right. And uh, good players don't give up. Don't give up that easy. And two more. Uh, I would. Well, I just might wimp out and play five to one. God, you are a wimp. I, I slot. Eight, eight, four. Okay. I slot. So we got three three opinions there. Mm -hmm. 
get anything. Was it five? Do we get knowledge? That's true. So you're duplicating your own fives and ones by keeping the spare on the eight. Yes, Toby, could be. Tobias's uh, insight here, which is excellent. Hopefully you want to escape the last checker, right? You don't want to build a bigger crime when you're counter crime. That's true. So like escaping is paramount, and making the three points is like secondary. You, uh, Matt Kongeyer has talked me into his play, <laughs> and Tobias as well. So Matt Kongeyer liked my play, except that he thinks it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but he liked the play, I have to tell you. Getting a second match <laughs> really hurts. <laughs> That's why Matt likes playing me. Yeah. Innovative, yes. Creative. That's I've been called creative. So Ray's looking at a big play here. He's looking at 13 to 7. I like the big play, but I um, overplay these. Might be Dennis right. Culpepper makes the big play here, and he's only good when he takes tests, though. Not over the board. He does great on tests. <laughs> Michi even pointed that out in the lecture yesterday. Michi gave a great lecture on his new book, which I highly recommend. I think it's one of the best books from in many years. That looks very reasonable. Looks very reasonable. Ooh, Especially if shot. the other guy doesn't roll a doesn't you might see it roll a five and not see it too, you know. The three point here. I doubt it. I have to tell you, I got an email from Marty Storer last night about a position, and he said, by the way, I've been watching Ed. He's playing brilliantly this whole tournament. And that, you know, Marty Storer doesn't make compliments very quickly. So Ed really deserves to be here. I won't say what he said about Ray, but, you know, if you can't say anything nice. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not saying anything bad. No, I wouldn't say anything, bad. Say anything bad. No, I'm not. I, I really don't know. I really don't know. All I can tell you is, I know that, it, that he said Ed was playing incredible. In and hit. Would be really awkward the other way. Yeah, that's true. Here. Yep. That's true. Ooh, good shot. That's a great shot. That's a great shot. And that's not. That's not. Now you play to save Gammons. Yeah, 10, 4, 7, 5. Yep. Now you play the save gammons. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't say you give up hope, but you give up playing for it. <laughs> <laughs> Never give up hope. The dice gods, uh, dice gods always have a trick up their sleeve. Do you hit loose here? No. You don't want to hurt. You want him to crash. Probably not. You want him to crash. You don't want him dancing. You want his board to crash. Start, but, starting to. Yeah. And if you hit loose, the guy's dancing and he's <laughs> holding his board. I'm really uncomfortable here. I'm usually the heckler, and I'm looking around. <laughs> I'm looking around here. I'm in big trouble <laughs> with, with Matt and Tobias and Dennis. And oh my God. Wants to kill his fives is why you do that. A lot of people would make the one point there, but you want to kill fives so you crash less. And of course, so you can fill in the three point as well, Matt pointed out. I wonder if and, Ed's last play was right. You know, he could have just broken the eight point, and that way, with any six other than six one, Ray has to break off the 23 point, leaving two blots, other than six one or six six. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not sure it's trip what plays right are hard, but with the three-point board. But when there's two blots, you're right, John. You got to think about trap plays. Yeah, it was worth a look. I'm not sure what, what, mm -hmm. if it was right or not. My old friend Kenny Bond said, "When he's barely breathing, step on his air hose." <laughs> Take two off, right? I don't know. For sure? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Against the two, yeah, but against the two point, you peel more aggressively. Yeah. That's a rule of right. thumb. Right. Against the one point, you'd be more careful because you could leave a double shot. But it's very hard to leave a double shot against the two points. So right. 
you should be playing more aggressively. I, I, it's obvious to me now that everybody's told me it was right. <laughs> yes, Bill. Just like before, your play was good, but it was wrong. Right. You don't. You wouldn't take. Right, you just clear the five. Uh huh. Shot. Every time you get hit, you don't. Oh, I mean, it's also just awkward later. Now you have like one parallel. Ah, so, yeah. Like so, against yeah. the two point, peel aggressively, except when you shouldn't. Yeah. Right. 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 Okay. Well, they put a man on his ace point also, and only took one man off. So yeah. it's like, leave, um, you know, if he was taking two off and not putting a man, <coughs> could clear a point also, like no bad rolls. <laughs> Just too many bad rolls from here. Here's yeah, one of them. One of them. Here's one of them. Yeah, you would have just like taken like uh, three men off or something. Uh -huh. And again, I don't fault him for making the play, but I do fault him for playing so fast. Even if you make the right play, there's no reason to be playing this fast. Mochi's a good uh, teacher there. He's always got about two oh. two seconds left on the clock when it's over. All right, so. That seems reasonable. Yeah, you do have some bad twos. They'll leave two blots next time, but uh, that looks pretty good. Two off or hit one off. But hit and one off, yeah. I, I'm playing five to four twice and two off. It looks like Ed's leading that way, too. Well, there's only one play if he's going to take those two off. <laughs> yeah. Only one yeah, baseball more off. play. Yeah. <laughs> two more off. Go for more backgammons, right. right? All right, John, what's the back, what's the backgammon value with this score, John? <laughs> yes, the backgammon value. Uh, for all of the one viewers who cares about that subject, yeah, we'll uh, figure that out. It's obviously right around 1.0. If you go 5-4 and take the last off versus boss versus just playing that to the five i think that extra guy off is worth a lot and it's pretty hard to lose versus what you suggest five, five four and one off <laughs> just get hit with a three and then i win again no 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 i meant four to three when so you again. you meant it was an ace and you don't want to get it. <laughs> yeah, what's the difference? No, I think he's I I think he's saying four to three to two hitting to one. For no, off. no, I looked at that one too. And I I wondered how. Um, You're thinking about leaving a blot, Dennis? I, I mean, yeah. You really are thinking about leaving a blot. I mean, I you you know you said that out loud. I did. <laughs> okay. All right. Does anybody want to bet against me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, one, one yeah. That's like in a shrimp. Well, I'll take the one. All right. Ten cent. Uh, I agree with Bill's assessment. I didn't say I would make it. I was saying that's my assessment was he's an idiot. I mean, you know, to, to say it out loud. I mean, he's one of the smartest guys I know in backgammon. But I, I would, you know, there's things I even I don't say out loud. Yeah. I didn't say I would make. Wow, he's looking at oh, okay. looking at okay. taking all four checkers it's up. Worth wondering. Three to one. Three to one. There you go. I, I'll give you four to one. Look at this play. He's looking at two off. Oh, he's, he's making it. Oh, wow. He made the dentist play. No, no, no. How can that be right? How can that be right? Don't even lose that even if he, yes, even after the hit, even if he misses, he gets some repeaters. <laughs> that that probably is the right play. Yeah. So here you see two guys in the semis, and they still have a sense of humor. I I appreciate that about both of them. I saw Ed laugh once in these positions. And now he's like uh, completely lost the gammon. Yeah. And, uh, he might even somehow lose the game. Yeah. The second man. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> you know what? I think he heard Dennis, and <laughs> and he and he thought Dennis sounds a lot like Mochi, and he thought Dennis was Mochi. <laughs> he was misled. What do you got a bet on Ray or something here? <laughs> you own Ray in the Calcutta and you, you wanted to. <laughs> Bad move by it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, really Ray strange. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, if Ray had like a speed board, maybe his one, two, and three points, then Ed's play, you know, makes sense. The but... real good bet was how big a blunder it was. I mean, there's just no reason mm. to volunteer a shot when you're winning a gamut. Like, he just hits you and he says, yeah, oh, my God. You know what? I'll tell you. 
I'll tell you why I know it's wrong. I'm looking at the chat, and even Ian Terry would not have made that play. Thank you, Ian. I really I respect your opinion. He, even Ian would not have made that play. I can make fun of Ian because he plays in the shoeette with me all the time and beats the hell out of me. Wow. You play the five first? Yes, yeah. yeah. You play the five first, but on the two point. I mean, what? That was illegal, wasn't it? No, no. That's legal. Oh, it goes there? Okay. No, that's. Uh, see, that is legal. He did play it illegally. That, uh, oh, yeah, he did? Yeah, he oh, okay. Six first, yeah. Okay. All right. So he's probably going to. And, yeah, but he cost him a gammon. He, yeah, cost him a gammon. his gammon odds were really huge if he didn't do that. I, I agree. Yeah, it was like right. a 90... Let's take a time out. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go talk to Ed. I want to go talk to Ed a little bit here. <laughs> Have a time out. Say, Ed, you hit. Just hit him in the side of the head. I think Ed's well aware of the mistake that he made right now. That's why he's wearing a mask. He doesn't want people to see the grimace on his face. Yeah, he doesn't want to hear. <laughs> I mean, masks are not required. He's doing it. To, he's he's doing it for other reasons. But I mean, it wasn't a mistake where he moved too quickly, because he really thought about that. Yeah. So that's strange. No, but he did a lot of. <laughs> he didn't move quick enough. Toby has said, right? He didn't move quickly enough. It, it's only when you think too long you make mistakes like that. Wow. Oh, oh my oh, God. Oh my God. There it is. Oh. He had a four. He rolled a four. He had to have a six or five with it. Four numbers. Oh no. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Never wow. 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 Holy well, cow. The viewers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what would we have to talk about if he did, if he had just played normally? This made it much more interesting. I'm going to thank him later for that. Tell him he made the commentary a lot more fun. You got to keep that in mind when you're playing, by the way. Yeah, what's good for the commentators? What's good for the game? Right? What's, yeah, what's good for the game is make it exciting like that. Oh, my God. All right, the, check, the take point changed by one-tenth for both players. <laughs> That's very important to know here. John, I was sitting with John O'Hagan. He taught me all, everything I know about take points. Uh, he says it's easier to calculate them over the board and take 20 minutes than it is to remember memorize the take points. All right, so just make the five here. He didn't. I think. Those... Wow. It's, it's coming up under the gun quite a bit to make that play. Got nine numbers... 10 numbers that point on you when you go up to the 20 point. Yeah. Did I miss something? No, it's 10 numbers. Oh, you're right. Yeah, but you also have to fight for an anchor after he... Yeah, that's a good uh, point. Yeah. I mean, I guess you can just build your board also. Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's an early you game. Want to fight, you want to fight in the race, you also want to build a board. Yeah. So here's like a third or fourth role play where several people are not sure or at least disagree. That shows you this game has not been solved even by the Giants yet, That's or right. by the bots. 4-1, in and hit. I would have made the five point, but... Uh, dance. Ooh, Ed Cuban. Swing. And Ed's look how long Cuban. he thought about that, you know. One second. Yeah, right. He, he can't find the... He can't find the two. <laughs> he can't find the two. the opposite of four, but doesn't know this trick yet. Double, now, <laughs> when I'm in a shoeette and I think my, when I'm in a shoeette and I think my opponent has an easy take, but he just rolled double sixes, I cube real fast too. But in a match against a giant, I don't know that that ploy works real well. I think it's... Yeah, it may be a good cube, but why not think a little bit? Nine, the nine numbers point plus double ones is ten. So uh, looks like a. I don't see Ray. Uh... Yeah, this is a take. <laughs> got the 18, he's got the 10. Ray likes to take. Ray, Ray is a taker, yeah. He's a taker. And uh, so, and I think this is I think it's a, 
Mm -hmm. uh, good double and a good take, I say. So on the stream, they asked who's going to L.A. I'm going to L.A. John, you're going to L.A.? Yes. Matt, you'll be in L.A.? No? To Toby? No? Dennis? No? Just Phil. I represent the team. 90%. Phil and me. Oh, yeah, and John. <laughs> don't I count? No. No, you don't count. <laughs> They're interested in the really, you know, everybody, there's a lot of top players. There aren't too many players like me. <laughs> He's thinking about it. I, I, I will be surprised if he passes. Would you take, though? Let's forget yes. about it. He passed. He passed. Wow. I am. That looks like a take to yeah. me, but I think his attitude now is he doesn't want to take until Ed gets to a bear off because he saw how Ed played the last. <laughs> he saw how Ed played the last bear off. That's right. <laughs> He's got a different strategy now. That's that it. really might have worked. <laughs> Three to one. Well. All right, let's talk about something that's a little uh, off the off the subject just by a tiny bit. Do you think they hedged? Uh, I don't think they did, but I don't know. Okay. You you know Ed better than anybody. I mean, you you've stayed in, you've stayed in probably some of the worst motels in the world with, <laughs> with Ed. <laughs> You're famous for that. <laughs> in, even in the wrong country, I understand. <laughs> you booked a because the room was six dollars cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not making this stuff up, by the way. You can't. Uh, is, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, they were they were in the wrong country, but the motel was six dollars cheap. But but the uh, you had to take a ferry across for twelve dollars each way. <laughs> uh, hey, people have different priorities. In this game. Oh my God. I'm staying in a motel down the street for twenty five dollars a night and it's really worth about ten. I, I <laughs> oh, they're playing. Oh, oh yeah. I'm sorry. I'm not sure about that three. <laughs> he could play uh you know, twenty three to twenty, or he could have played thirteen ten. Instead he played eight five. Oh, I don't know. It looked a little conservative. Maybe it's right. I he made my play. No, I would have made that play. <laughs> What is he thinking? Thinking about doubling. Oh, they use the cube here. Okay. 40, 40. Yeah, I've been doing that. I've been looking at the chat. We've got... Uh... <laughs> Matt can do the pip count for us. Uh, it looks pretty close. Jeez, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I mean, when I asked for an extra pip count, I could have said it looks pretty close. In fact, I always say it looks pretty close. Uh, it actually looks pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> I a little bit, okay. But, uh, I would consider doubling anyway because if you make the four of these or something, uh -huh. then you can mark it. Well, Ray certainly had a much better structure, and like Matt said, it might have been a double. In fact, he's committed to say he's almost sure it might have been a double. <laughs> yeah. Now here, Ed cannot just settle for the 24 point. He needs to make a bid for something better. So bar 21, I'd play 24, 23. This left five point. I don't think so. I think 24, 23 is the right play with the one. <laughs> These are tough. Uh, that that way, if the uh, I agree. I, I don't think it's right, but that, that's what he did. Yeah. So that's a good point. Dennis brought it up. If you move from 24-23 and he gets pointed on on the four point, you have a much better chance to make the 23 anchor, which would be very, very valuable compared to the 24 anchor. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's huge. So, and now also uh, the blot on Ed's five point is both good and bad for him. Say, say that uh, you know he gets pointed uh, or gets hit loose, and he hits back, but uh, he doesn't also cover. Then the blot on the five is. I would have double there. I absolutely would have double there. Yeah. Yeah. 
And so does Dennis so, and John. Yeah. So do you point so be, or do you double hit or just single hit? Neither. You single hit. I would I would, I would make this play. I would do the single hit. Okay. Could be right. I don't know. Just because there's such a thing as double tiger doesn't mean you have to do it every time. That plays clear. You have a choice of hitting your opponent on his five pointer on the outer board. There's no question which one you want to. You get more pips and you stop him from making the five point. That's not close. And you can always get the other one later. Look at that. Yeah. Three, two, in and I'm hit. Hitting. Yeah. In and hit. Fight for the five point, yeah. the golden point. Yeah. In uh, and where's the one? Probably 10 9. The only other one would be 6 5. That right. doesn't look as good. Now you have a builder for the three point. But you also get hit more when you move 10 9. So I wasn't, I wasn't sure. But John... I don't think you get hit more. I think oh, you, you don't? Hit... Oh, I think okay. it's the same. Oh, if it's the same, then there's no question. Yeah. He's he's begging for the cube. Give it to him, Ray. When somebody begs you for the cube, give them what they want. What cube is this one? Look at that. I'm not sure I would have doubled. Oh, I. It's a good cube. I would have doubled so fast. But Dennis wasn't sure he would double, and Stepan agrees it's a great cube. So, but Stepan probably just doing it because he heard me say I, it. I dance. Yeah, it's true, he said. 6-6. Six, six. Not a great shot, really. Well, it's a pretty terrible shot. Maybe one of his worst. Not sure what he's supposed to do. Make the ace, or does he come down play? I come down. Come down, down slot. Slot to three. I come down and go to the five. Oh, is it starting position? Or give up Here's the, the starting, the starting position. position. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do. I just, I think you play it quietly. You leave the blot on the, on the nine point and play everything I else. I think you're right, Phil. But two down for shoot from the mid court, right? Two down for me. For two, shoot. Yeah. So this is the this is the part of the play we're all sure of, and if you have a part of the play, you know you're going to make do that and then look around. Now, to me, it's I would just. That's it. All that's my play. Yeah, that, that's that's my play. Yeah, yeah. And as uh. you, you know, he's not going to roll a five, and you know, even if he rolls a five, there's a blot there. Oh, why he roll over? Was it cocked? No, no. Ed oh, rolled double five. Oh, he danced. He danced. He oh, oh he, he danced. yeah, make the three point for sure. Here. Oh, no, no. Way. Oh, wow, really? Oh, come on, man! If he, wow, it's can't be right. That can't be right. That wow, can't be bad right. play. Everybody agrees that's a blunder. You make the, it's so important to make Look interboard points, wow. especially when your opponent's on the bar. Making interboard points is a high priority. Yeah, yeah but this was thirteen eight. I think that was obvious to make it three points, right? Yeah, obvious play to step on. And congratulations, step on. He just beat uh, Jonah. What? 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 What was that consolation? You beat Jonah in Constellation? Congratulations. You beat the hottest player in the world right now, Jonah Seawald. Ed, is really need, Ed really needed an ace there to get a second anchor, but he didn't get it. I come out with a four. That's right. You want to you wanna get hit, and hopefully you make the two or the three point. Right, right. Ooh. I hit two. Which two, though? Those two. Those two? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One block. Well, one block either way, I guess, but... No, it's, it's no. You hit two. Other way, it's the other way. It's it's more blots. Right, it is three blots. It's three yeah, blots. Just one blot looks right. I would play from five points. You should let him double anchor with two numbers. Yeah, that's right. All right, the consensus is Ray made the right play there. That's one. Ooh, ants slams the heat clock. Uh huh. That's a lot of gambles here. Well, again, 
All right, come so in from the behind. It's a miracle, double ones or threes <laughs> from the in. roof. That's here it. To, Let's just come in to uh, turn this thing around. Double three six dice on the checkers count here. Yeah. USBGF rules. Here it is again. What's three five. three five. So he's going to hit loose for yeah. sure, yeah. and then seven two with you the. You don't five. want him to anchor. You get that second anchor. He's got a heck of a game. Yeah. So if Ed rolls a three, he's got a chance. If not, it looks really good. Three or double ones, he's got a chance. Or double game. ones. A three or double ones or double fours. Just yeah. maybe. Oh, just yeah. a simple three. Wait, he came in. He came in. And we're playing legal moves. And Ray, as a good sportsman, right. pointed out that you got to make the legal move. Right. right. Whether you like it or not, you got to help your opponent. Ray loves that rule, by the way. I think we're going to start blocking on the ready. <laughs> It's going to break that one. Yeah. yeah. Bill Royals pointed out we're going to have to have a spare clock for when Ed breaks the one by pounding it. Look at he, look at him pound that clock. He mashes it. All right. This is a pretty sure gambit unless uh, unless Ray has some problems. All right. John's going to the ladies' room. He'll be back soon. This looks like a gammon, unless there's a shot here. And the odds of the shot and the hit are pretty small. Ooh, this is not pretty. There's no nice way to play this role. But that's the nicest way. Okay, 6-3. All right. Two. No two. Clear the six. Make it easy. Sure. You got a gambit pretty much for sure. You just play safely. Bring two in. There's always a chance, but all yeah, right. It's a for sure gambit, and almost for sure if you don't leave a shot. Come on, step on. Don't be that much of a pessimist. See? Ooh. Oh, Ooh, there you go. There you go. It's not on that roll. <laughs> six, five, six, four, five, four. Six rolls. Yeah. Six rolls are bad. So six rolls. And then you got to hit it. It's about 3% uh, chance of leaving the shot and getting hit. And if you leave a shot and get hit, you still win the game sometimes, but... He had no 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 choice but to make that play when you roll a one. And the dice gods never want to make it easy. You want to make it more fun. I wouldn't take too much time on my clock. Look at this. He's taking time on the clock here. He didn't think about the double at all. <laughs> the first couple doubles. And he's taking a long time on this double one play. There's no play that's going to matter more than point oh oh two here, is yeah, there, John? I agree. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Ridiculous. I wouldn't use two seconds on my clock for that. Right. Yeah. Gammon City. Gammon City, population Ray. <laughs> yeah. I do? Yeah, Oh, no. <laughs> give some, why don't you give Dennis the, the microphone and let me go play my speed gammon match? Oh, I'm playing you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why you want me to forfeit. Your commentary is so great. Yeah. That all the viewers would miss you. Well, because you you're playing me. Step on, step in. No. No. Well, John can handle it. I can't. I can't forfeit, a, especially when I got an easy match. <laughs> How can I forfeit? I love speed gaming. It's my favorite game. By the way, my PRs are always better in speed gaming than than regular. All right. Let's know. We'll use my board. I want to record it. Okay. All right, Bill Riles is going to take over. I got speed gaming with Dennis Culpepper. Why don't they cancel this match and show my match? Yeah, they More should. More important me. <laughs> I think so. Thanks, Thanks, Jack. All right. So do you want to no, join? Go ahead. Uh, well, I need to change. Okay. All right, uh, five to three, Ray. Five to three.
right, so the first few plays have been obvious. Now, 4-1, not so obvious. You can play 13-9-6-5. You can play 24-20-6-5. You can play 13-9 minor split. Not sure what's right. Extra builder on the 9 looks reasonable, and this looks good, too. I'm not sure what's better. 6-2, just run out. Since he doesn't have an anchor and he's outboarded, only has one man back. The right play is just to run. In the red roll of four, he does. Probably keep it going to the nine, I mean to the eight. Or he could play the one, 24, 23. Those are the only choices I see. And probably a real close call either way. Six, two, obvious. 13 to seven. Mm -hmm. Typical Ray roll, two, six from the ball. Yeah, yeah. Didn't do anything this time. Though. Right. Six three. All right. So positionally, you make the twenty and uh, start the seven, or you could make your three point, or you could point on the two point. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Could. I think it's one of those three plays. I, I would make the. I, I I would do this play. Won't like it if he gets hit, but uh, he's got the 20 point. 6 4. All right, 13 to 3. Be the right play. I don't think so. No. Uh, he's down in the race, and covering isn't really a market loser, most likely, in my opinion, anyway. So uh, I would be inclined not to double. Yeah, that's true. He is. And it's good to think about it. Uh, I get 144 for white. <laughs> 134 for uh, Ray. Yeah, I was right. Yeah. <laughs> What's the race? I don't think it's. Uh, he's down. If I counted right, he's down 10 pips in the race. Uh, it's it's long, early it's in the match, match, though. Yeah. Early in the match. Yeah. This has got to be a take. I'm up nine, I'm up nine, I'm down Can't be five. too many gammons here. Ah, uh, he's taking this. Or so we thought he was going to take this other one, too, earlier in the match. But, yeah, only one checker back currently. Um, even if Ed covers the seven or makes the three or the four, uh, Ray still has a lot of play left in this game. Yeah, I, I would definitely take. Okay. Six four. Six four. All right, seven and the nine. Didn't get much better than that. That was a no double minus zero point zero three. But oh, has a commenter said yeah. okay. Uh, someone commented that it was a small no double. Five two. He starts the sixth part of his prime. And okay, Ray doesn't hit. So, probably two checkers off the mid, I guess. Oh, you just see, he wants to keep the midpoint, does that instead. Uh, okay, you be right. None. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two. Okay, covers. And now Ray just covers his ace. So, yeah, duplicate aces by going to the mid. Yeah, that old saying about uh, you should, when you're playing against one lone checker back, the uh, generally, all. Uh, it's right to attack, whereas if you're playing against two or more checkers back, it's generally right to prime. But there are lots of exceptions. I mean, after all, if you make a six prime against one checker back, it's virtually impossible to lose. You know, you're just an overwhelming favorite. So there are a lot of exceptions. So. Well, with one, this exact sequence. One yes. game rollout. <laughs> That doesn't mean anything. Oh, it's lucky. And actually, somebody 
commented that they put in XG and it's a small no double. So it's first. Huh? You lost? Okay. I'm going to turn it over to John and go get the other semifinals set up. Uh, it's going to be um, Chuck Bauer and Antonio Scumbato from Italy. So uh, carry on, John. Okay. Will do. Uh, I can see this. So. All right, double fives, Ray, and... Uh, Okay, now Ray has some numbers, so he has to leave another checker exposed here. Five, three, five, four, four, three, numbers like that. Probably a few others. Four, two, four, one. So, well, now it's not as many. Still got a few. Oh, okay, 6-1 just plays the ace. Uh, I don't know. I think you're supposed to hit, actually. Should hit him, I think, because he's got a lot more numbers that come in. Yeah, a lot of his numbers that enter will force him to crack. So I think that this is a small mistake. Like that. Okay. He would have been forced to hit with the two and then play the five, six to one. Then Ed would have a six from the roof and he would have hit. Okay. Now Ed can hit loose and probably plays the five, six to one since Ray has a blot in his four point. Ray doesn't come in. Five two, just play to the mid. Five two. All right, there's the shot. He doesn't get it. Okay, Ray saves the block. That's worth talking about. Ah, they've, uh, so a just quiet thir group here for thir thirteen to two. Just hit. Or I'm I'm sorry. He's he's already played the five. Now he's got a six. So. Five three no moves. Five for sure, and the six either cover the two. I think I'd cover the two. I think. Trying for the gammon is just too much of a pipe dream. Too much of a long shot. Yeah. Could come out. Maybe if it's gammon go, you, you might want to risk it and play 20 to 14. Not much can go wrong here, but uh, he decides not to cover yet. That looks reasonable. Okay, one. Chance of finding a second checker here is pretty remote. So, two, the, again, does he just hit loose or does he just close the board? I don't know. Doesn't matter much. Four, three, dance. In these sorts of positions, uh, if you're playing the white side, the numbers that are usually the big problems are double fours and double fives. So you kind of want to, if you have some random play to make in the outfield, kind of check and see how those numbers play. I have four in and take one checker off the four point. So Ed wins this like 98% of the time. And he wins one or two percent G's. I think I'd go for the gammon here. Yeah. I switched four, four off twice and then six two five one. These are old. Not it's very likely, but you never know. He just goes total safe. Uh, that's reasonable too.
up to be five to five. So ten away, ten away. Some slight chance for Ray here now. Slider by the moment. Huh? Not sure how many he's got on the ace point. Looks like he's got. Looks like a double, double row. Yeah, it does. Yeah. All right, five to five. <laughs> the nice tight match we might have anticipated. They've been quite playing. Close to an hour now, and it's five to five. Yeah, yeah. Break time. Taking a break. Okay, five to five. One third of the way through. Now we have uh, started on stream two, which is the streaming at uh, YouTube forwards YouTube dot com forward slash APBG live. And that is uh, Chuck Bauer versus Antonio Scambato. Um, he's from Italy. He uh, apparently works in the banking industry. Worked. Uh, he grew up in in Naples. Uh, worked in London for a number of years, and now he's in New York City with uh, Citibank. Uh, this is, I think, first tournament in the states. He's played in in, in Europe some. Apparently, he's a a regular at uh, Chris Trencher's uh, Schuett, which uh, Schuett uh, Trencher holds at his house once a week, I think. So he knows Trencher. Justin Noel is typically in that Schuett. Um, he's played Victor Oskanazi. Yeah, I played uh, Antonio in the uh, first match yesterday, and he killed me. Is that right? Yeah. So he's a fairly accomplished player I yeah guess. yeah and we both played in the fours so uh very good uh, interesting i was visiting with uh antonio scambato you know before the match here half an hour ago or so really nice uh Fairly young guy. I don't know how old he is. Maybe he's 35 to 40, I guess. Uh, very well spoken. Uh, so, yeah, uh, hopefully a nice addition to the uh, American backgammon scene while he's here in the States. You know, he's getting some uh, some good practice and experience in if he's playing yeah, Trencher's, yeah. uh, Trencher's Chouette every week. So. It's, I forget who else plays in that. Uh, DiMaggio, Frank DiMaggio, uh, Justin Noel, Trencher. Uh, so that's uh, you know that's that's a good grouping. Ian says Blake plays uh, perhaps in that as well. Hmm. So there comes uh, Ed and Ray both back into the room. So it uh, looks like we'll not have an extended break. We'll uh, get right back to it. Okay, five, five to five. Five, four. Okay, four, one, good play. Yeah, 
Get loose on the five, looks right. Right for the five point. Five four makes the twenty point hitting. He hits twice. I don't think that's right. Ray's got an anchor on the twenty point, so you're not gonna be able to blitz him. And in the abstract, the twenty point is way better than the, your own two point. Everything else being equal. So that looks kind of like a questionable play in my book. Five two runs away. Three oh, two. That, yeah, Jim. Uh, Ed Corey says Jim Stutz plays in that shit as well, and I do remember seeing Jim's uh, picture in some of those, uh, or being in the pictures that shit uh, trencher posts of that shit group. Yeah. yeah. So that's a that's a a strong shit there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I, I think here after entering you play eleven nine twice, and then I think. You just come under the gun a little bit, 23-21. Or failing that, 24-22. I would go for the 21 point, but not 100% sure by any means. 6-6. Six, six. Well, it's not really a great shot. Maybe go out to the 18 and three checkers down to the 7. The thing about uh, an advanced anchor is that once you make an advanced anchor, like the 21, the 20, or... Even the 18, you can more readily give up the midpoint and still have a playable game. Whereas if you're stuck back on the 24 and you get up the midpoint, those checkers are so isolated that uh, it's just not frequently playable. Okay, so he's thinking about giving up the 20. Eh. He wants some presence in the outfield. I guess that's possible, but I don't like giving up the 20 point there. Could easily be wrong though. All right, 22 to 12 hitting. Two one in and hit. I think these lottery turns. A lot, but, a lot of blots. But, I, but uh, uh, I think that's the play. I think that's the play. Yeah. Sends the second checker back anyway. Three three. All right. So he gets to remake his. Well, he gets to make his five point, and he's got one more. 23 to 20, 20 or 13 10. 23 20, I suspect. Um, well, yeah. maybe not. I don't know. Uh, 13 10. 13, either, 10. either play looks pretty good. Uh, this has less danger of being pointed on. Could be right. Probably is right, actually. All right. I think here the uh, 10 point and 13 11. 14, 10, 13, 11 looks better than making a four point to me. Four point is too clean, loose. Cleans up some of those cleans blots. Cleans up a lot. Yeah. And making a four point leaves those three blots. And uh, I think that's too much risk. How about you, Bill? I agree. I'd, I would make this play. It's just, uh, you know, Ed's got a developing good board over there. Yeah, good double, I think. Using the Woolsey rule, are you sure the opponent has a take? According to Kit, if the answer is no, I'm not sure, you always have a double. Now that refers to money games and money-like scores, which is what we have here at 10 away, 10 away. I think it's a, a good cube and probably a good take. I think so. it's a double take, yeah. That looks right to me. Not much of a roll. Not, not much of a roll at all. So maybe you want to hit to take away half a raise roll or not, I. Maybe, but that's kind of ugly. You could just play 13, 9, 10, 5. That doesn't look too bad. And hope for something mm -hmm. better next time. Yeah, I think yeah, I'd do that. Yeah, Ray wants to make another point. Yeah, Ray's got a lot of good numbers, though. Well, that's not a great number. He could make the four point, or he can run out 24 to 14. Probably wouldn't want to make the two. And could just make, make the deuce. But I think he makes the four before the deuce. Anyway. Yeah. I think so. Uh, and running out is a real candidate, too. But, uh, yeah, I think I lean towards that, but uh, not with a whole lot of confidence. Let's think about backgammon. You know, you, uh, you ever miss, huh? a lot of times you just have to go with what feels right, even if you can't really uh, verbalize exactly why. Everybody has a lot of... Uh, Difficult decisions and 
Uh, you have a limited amount of time, so you do your best. You use your time wisely. Uh, but sometimes it's, it's just kind of mind-boggling to figure out. You know, oh, in, in the times, seven foot. Uh, some people uh, just have different styles of play. Yeah. You know, they prefer to play in a sure a certain fashion where someone else might prefer a different fashion. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. One four. Okay. Ed's big play is paid off as he's favored to make the seven point now, and he does. And he probably just makes the twenty two with the one. I think. Yeah, it kind of keeps uh, minimizes that that way he's some always damage got, that Ray can do to him. Yeah, he's always got a six out to escape. That looks right, yeah. Okay, six five. So do you bury two checkers to make the deuce or do you just run off the twenty three points? Hmm. Do something else. I think the DMP play, in other words, the play that wins the most, is 23 to 12. It might lose too many gamuts, though. But I... Making the deuce. How does that look? That doesn't look so good. Oh, that's a tough play. Hmm. I think he runs. You know, he keeps the good structure in front of yeah. Ed with the potential of making the four or the five. Yeah. Uh, he may get attacked. Yeah, but, something uh, I learned from... Backgammon player Stick Rice is when in doubt, make the DMP play. Make the play that wins the most. Okay, okay. and uh, so he re anchors, so that's worked out. And, and then I to think the 22. 22, yeah. yeah. 24, 22. Positions at where it can uh, escape. Yeah, so he can, yeah, escape. That's the key, I think. I mean, it comes under under the gun a bit yeah. more, but it's all right. Uh, the that's numbers okay. that point on the three point are good shots for it. Ed, anyway, if he also points when he's doing it, the swing is it makes a good shot even better. Well, that's not a big swing, really. Now, this is interesting. Duping some twos. I don't think I'd do it, but uh, yeah, I, I think twenty four, twenty two is the right idea here. I don't know, Ian. I, I haven't seen Stick, although I saw uh, Harder posted a Facebook picture of, uh, apparently, maybe he's staying with Stick, and they had uh, had dinner together or something, and he posted a picture of Stick with a nice, oh. juicy hamburger and fries. Ah, okay. <laughs> but but we haven't know. seen him here at the tournament. No, we haven't. All right, and a one, so do, well, what do you do here? Uh Sometimes you look at the numbers that you uh, Ed needs to escape. So from Ed's check around a 20 point, gets out with fours and sixes. So you have a one to play. If you play 13 to 12, then your fours are bearing on the uh, your open point on the eight point there. So maybe uh, this way fives don't do anything. Yeah, you don't want to duplicate your own numbers. So, yeah, uh, maybe. Yeah, and there's the... One, four, so... Now he's kind of playing a backish kind of a game. So, uh, yeah, probably playing the big play like that is the right idea. Okay, so probably just 13 to 5, unless I'm missing something here. One, two. To nine, I believe the last two. Sometimes when you play against XG and it and you are playing the back game, it finds some ingenious plays that you know a lot of us humans are just not good enough to really yeah, find. Ed, uh, Ray just attacks there. Yeah, mm -hmm. five two. Yeah, might as well hit and try to go forward a little bit. And there's some ugly numbers for Ray, uh, Ed in the box like that. He can okay. he can sustain it, but yeah. next roll might get interesting. Yeah, we'll see what happens here. Uh, one covers. Look at that, and he plays a three six to three with the one. Yeah, very good. Trying to go forward now. All right, three two. Ed makes another point in his prime. So uh, Ray can Ray get can. out with a six. Ah, uh, 
Not good. Not so, not how does he play? Not good. I mean, he's going to just make the two, don't you think? And... Well, maybe. Uh, he might want to do a real bloody play just to try to get better Re timing. Recirculate. Yeah, I don't think it's doable, but I, I think this is probably the right play. Yeah. yeah. Uh, not a, not what he was hoping for. All right, three, and with the yeah, one, he probably... Sends the, sends the checker back and sets himself up to escape. I'm not sure on the one. Nine, eight, or four, three. Uh, probably four, three is safer, but... Four, two. You can still try to go forward. It takes some really good numbers for it to work, but... There you stranger go. Stranger things have happened. Okay. He can get a six. He's got some timing. He gets it. And, he a, covers. and a four to cover. Wow. wow. Great shot. Okay. I think he covers. Uh, I would think so. I would think. I think it's a joker, but let's see. Maybe he's thinking, well, if I play the four out to the mid, if Ed is going to escape, he has to hit me while he's escaping. Whereas if you cover and Ed rolls a six, he's not hitting. Okay, four, two, just nine to three. <laughs> so, so Ed's got to roll a six next roll or he's, he's got problems. Probably, yeah. Although, uh, yeah. Now here, does Ray break off the 23? The downside of that is it lets Ed point with combinations of threes, fives, and ones. Um, but if he doesn't break off the 23, Ed doesn't have to play a five. So I think I'd run off, but it is kind of double-edged. And four, three. So he hits. Well, I don't it. know. Seven, three. You or think? six, two. Or you, you just can play just two play in. Two men in, yeah. <coughs> A tough play. Ray is turning this game around. Seven, three, seven, four. That's the four, for sure. Three. This is a tough one. I'm not sure what's right. If you if you're gonna leave a a blot, I, you consider do. something crazy like four three and leave the blot on the six, but make the point on the deuce. Maybe, but yeah, but really, if you hit any two double ones and one six, basically are game winners because Ray owns the cube. Uh, Okay, so he decides not to hit. I think that's probably right. Ray might not roll a five or six. Even if he does, Ed can roll a six. Oh, he his... used four seconds on his clock and speed game, and I used three. <laughs> match is over. <laughs> well, here, sit down, Phil. I'm going to take it. I'm going to. Sure. Phil is finished. Phil is back. My speed, my speed game and match, he beat me 7 okay. zero. So that was pretty speedy. All right, so. Uh, here it's five to five. Ray owns a two cube, Phil, and he's got the edge. He's turned this game around. And uh, Ed makes his two point. And Ray has control of the outfield, and they both have a five point board. Ed has one straggler he's trying to escape. I see what you mean. If that. If Ed didn't have that little one little checker in the back there, he'd be in really good shape, wouldn't he? That's right. <laughs> if. And uh, something about if the queen had a different crown, she could be the king or something yeah, like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Forget so, the saying, uh, but that's something like that. So. I don't know. He crashes if he doesn't roll a six. You lose your market. You have to make. The I announced it. You played. You get. You used to four seconds on the clock, and I used like uh, twelve or fifteen or something like that. Three times as much, and you beat me too. Seven to nothing. No, I made a point. Seven to one. You did. Yeah. Good, yeah. You, one good point. Dennis and he, I and I and Dennis really almost played well too. <laughs> well, we can't expect much. 
Yeah. Yeah. I'd the say question no. asked, does Ed normally act this petulantly, slamming the clock and throwing checkers around? A lot of players would be fairly criticized for this. Well, you got to remember that Ed is really old. He's over 50. Uh, and you got to excuse him, but Ed doesn't have a mean bone in his body. He's one of the nicest guys in the world. We all know that. We're all friends. So we let him get away with slamming and stuff. But he does that whether he's winning or losing. That's just his style. There's nobody like him. Can, can Ed roll a six and get out? <laughs> yes. He does. Leaves a five. Shot. And you go all the way. Okay. Yep. Yeah. 15 fives as opposed to 17 sixes. And he gets away with it. Yeah. yeah. I think so. Yeah, if he stays there he's got to weaken his board yeah, he does. and he's only getting a direct shot on a few numbers if he stays there two one yeah, two one double one and slot yeah the yeah, yeah. Right. Ooh, a direct oh shot. wow that's great yeah it's great okay everybody's rooting everybody's rooting for their favorite here why is he? Oh, he he hit the. He forgot to hit his he clock. Yeah. Now he's hitting. Okay. They're forgetting the clock. Okay. What a big roll six five was. Now now it's not such a big roll anymore. Look at Ray slamming the checkers. Slamming the checkers. He's taking a lesson from Ed. Yes. <laughs> how to how to move the checkers. Slam them, baby. Yeah, six Look, off. you got to have passion in this game, and as long as it's not intended to be mean-spirited, which it's not for either player here. How about that, too? Aren't you just supposed to break from the back? Seems like. Why wouldn't you break from the back? Because then you're know. more likely to keep a four-point, a five-point board longer. Yeah. If you break earlier, a lower point, and you roll a five, or, well, you roll a five, you come out. But you roll a four, then you break, you, you break again. Six, three, he's out. All right, so it's just it's just gammon save now for Ray. Yeah, and he's a big favorite to succeed in that endeavor. Big favorite to not to get gammoned. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, they took him quite a few while to roll that six. Uh oh. Uh oh, it ain't over. It ain't over. I don't hear a fat lady singing yet. Uh -huh. There you go. Here's the difference between me and Ray. There's a few differences between me and Ray, but Ray will remember every one of these misses for the next ten years. And and I and I and, yeah, and remind everybody. And I I would I forget it two minutes later. I don't even remember. I, I intentionally block out. Uh, Albert Schweitzer said, "Happiness is good health and a bad memory." <laughs> and in backgammon, you better have a bad memory. People, people walk up to me and say, Phil, don't you remember I played you so-and-so? Uh, -so? I said, "You well, you must have beaten me because I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. Not if they won. If I, re if I won, I remember every move. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Seven to five. Ed takes commanding lead. He's a... Uh, what about a 58% favorite to win the match now? 60-40? Uh, not quite that much. Let's see, 10 away. He's ahead by uh, trailers. That 10 away, and Ed's ahead by two. Uh, Are you using Neil's six, numbers? One. Yeah. Neil's numbers. Oh, Hagen can compute this. Five but, and a third times two. Five and a third times two. Oh, I do that kind of math all the so, time. So like 61. 61. 39. I said 60-40. See, okay. Pretty close. yeah, but look at all the brain power you had to waste by coming up with the right number. Fifteen seconds on your clock. Right. He just said about sixty. Boom. Yeah. That's and you know how I learned to do that by working with with John. I just lost the screen. Some something happened here. Okay. Uh, no, I think he makes a positional play twenty-one and five. Make the twenty-one point and the five point. Oh. Yeah. 
want to remind everybody who's watching to hit like and we're trying to read your comments if you've got an intelligent comment and you can say something smarter than me or john i want to hear it yeah right. or a question or a question we'll uh, be happy to try and answer it ed made a good play in his last uh move with uh five three made the anchor with the three and then he left six uh fly shots uh, yeah. out there in the outfield and played 13 eight rather than the safe 11, don't you six. slot the five here i do okay because you're unstacking you need that point you haven't got another good one anyway yeah. you don't want to just go behind Two one. Ooh. Hit and thirteen eleven. Yeah, you gotta hit. You always fight for that five point. Except when you shouldn't. Right. Right. Okay, four one in and hit. Uh huh. Twenty one and, and five X. So. And then is there a thought about a cube here? Should Ray be thinking about a cube? I would not. No. You would not. You're down in the race by I mean the match by Two whole points. Yeah. I get desperate at that. I mean, the opponent's got the advanced anchor on a 21, so you don't have many market losers. Okay. Even like 5 4 dance. I mean, you'd be, uh, White has no other blots, so. I see. All right. You're right. He rolled. He rolled. And what if you don't hit? You're, yeah. you're right. It's not a cube, but I was thinking about it. I think Ray was too. He was a little hesitation there. Ooh, look at this. Okay. Ooh, how do you play this? So make the seven and the five, then your back guys are kind of isolated. Uh, and one out. In, I go out. I don't go in. I go out. Yeah. yeah. Go out. John and I go out. Dennis goes in. Uh, Razor is somewhat duped. Yeah, he came out too. You're outvoted, Dennis. I, I sit correct. Yeah. Ooh, that, <laughs> that's the fly shot. Look at that fly shot. Flash you got to do it. You got to take your medicine. Yeah. That's a big miss. That's very, very big. Oh, it oh. wasn't a miss. I didn't see the six out there. Yeah. It wasn't a miss at all. He's thinking about doubling. Yeah. Oh, there. In and work on the outside. Hit on the outside. Yeah. On the outside. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, okay. The dance here, and you think about oh, oh, oh double, double hit, double hit. Right. Yeah, if I was playing Ray, I would be screaming two six from the bar. That's his favorite saying. Although Steve this, Mellon claims he he this, he coined that that way before Ray did. Double. This looks like a cube to me. He did double. Is it a take? Oh, he's not going to take. On one second, he bell. Dennis says pass. Phil says pass. Yeah, I think so. John says I think so. He took it. He took it. There, there's still a lot of maybe play because left. maybe because you're down a little bit in the match. I don't know. Yeah, I'm yeah, dropping that a quickly. Of, a lot of play left here, actually. I mean, if he, he needs some luck, like now, if he can hit back with a four, he's right back in the game. You know? So, uh, Ed might want to get another a six cover by playing the ace from. 11 to 10. He's looking at that. I, I would. I think that's right. That's a good point. I Calvary think that's right. Yeah, both. Yeah, yeah I, that looks pretty clear, actually. Uh, yeah, I didn't see that. I'm still playing speed camera with Bill. Right <laughs> yeah, how'd that work out for you? Five. Okay. You beat me too quick. So now he's got... All right, so that's easy play. Hit cover. cover with the four and then hit. Yep. They say backgammon is like war. You're fighting for territory. Well, anchor just stops gammons. But he's not. Yeah. I'm playing for builders. I'm bringing this. I'm bringing the three up front. I'm playing 24. 20, that's my six, and the three from the back. All right, well, he, that's a builder, too. It's another builder, I guess. So you don't mind if your opponent makes a 1-2 back game that's not timed. Why are you thinking here? Five is automatic, and then you look at the one, but that's... Six primes are actually pretty good. Most people don't realize that. <laughs> For two... You hit Dennis? Yep. I'm not sure. I think so, yeah. You think hit is clear? Yeah. 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 Yeah
change something. Yeah, one five is a bad return. Good mm. fan. And then you anchor on the next hole. Keep some timing. Uh, I'm not sure. I wouldn't have just give it up. What else is there? Come up with the three, don't you? Why would you come in with the three? Up, up, up. That's it. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't hurt to look. It's funny where people spend their time. Ed was taking lots of time on things that to me are automatic and then going real, real fast on oh, tough ones. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Barely. I hit two. It, you can hit two, and uh, you can, and that's that's Pasco's play. By the way, I'm not sure it's not my play. I hit two. There are cracking numbers. That's one reason to make that play. It's saner. There are some cracking numbers. If there's cracking numbers, it's almost always right to play for the cracking number. But hitting two had a lot of charm there. Definitely the Pasco play. There's a cracking number. Cracking number. The threes okay. and fours. So you, when you have cracking numbers, they're, it's huge. Oh, Speaking of cracking numbers, uh. make the ace of slot the five is, is forced, isn't it? Yeah. I don't... You could leave a checker outside and go three to the ace. And you're going to hit. You don't worry about his timing here. Hit him. More gammons, more back gammons. Hit him. Hit him, you chicken. I'm sorry. You you good you great player you. He hit him. Okay. And the six. I don't like it. Why do you leave yourself double fours? Yeah. Don't leave yourself any cracking number. It's the only thing that could go wrong. Oop there oop oop. Yeah. I mean do you really need another checker to stay back there? Especially when he had the spare on the six on the six point. If he didn't have the spare on the six point, I liked Ed's play of staying back. But that made the difference. You know, I played a match in Monte Carlo, like uh with a position something like Ed's here. And um I had some random play to make and I just made some you know, random play quickly. And I didn't even notice, but it left me with threes blocked everywhere and I went from having like a five prime down to like a you know a uh, crash board it was just awful so oh. it, it does pay to uh to look look out for the uh horror numbers when you have a big edge yeah you tend to you tend to get cocky with a big edge by the way john john was in the finals of monte carlo and i think he is one of the lowest prs i ever saw lose <laughs> when you played it like under three pr loss no no, no? i played like uh I don't know, 3.8, I think, or thereabouts. You outplayed your opponent, though, quite a bit and lost. Uh, Yeah, he played, I forget, five something, maybe. Yeah, yeah. You, you outplayed him. Wachtel had the same thing. I think Wachtel played, came in second, playing yes. like three PR. So it's some consolation to know you played well. So all you can do is control your play. PR is a performance rating, which is a, a term that I coined when we developed Extreme Gammon, because error rating, ER, was the snowy method. Four, four. All right. Six, one. Six, five. There. Before, I understand. Okay. Me too. That was forced. Yeah. All right. Do you leave with one checker? I leave with the front checker because otherwise you're I just agree. throwing checkers away. I you leave agree. with one one checker off the twenty three. Yes. This is pretty automatic in these positions. Yep. And if uh, by keeping the other checker back, if if uh, Ed does leave a blot, you get a few extra hitting. You might get a double shot if he rolls a 6-4 or a 5-4. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, might as well cover the deuce. Play that. Yeah. yeah. Hit the clock. Okay. 
Six, Ooh, six, that's big. Two, three, four. Now yeah, I would come off the 24 points so that ones and twos give you a shot. Although yep. you do risk double ones and double twos killing you, but I think it's worth it to come off the 24 here. What do you do, John? Huh, that's interesting. I think you're right. Um... Probably not going to win. That hit may give you enough uh, uh, to, to save the gamut. Well, I would come off of that. Yep, yeah, he does. Wow, he must be a genius. He made my play. <laughs> Somebody asked, is Snowy still around? Yeah, there are a lot of people who bought Snowy for 400 bucks who are stubborn and won't give up and buy Extreme Gammon for 60 only 48 if you're a USBGF member. There's a single All right, shot. here's the shot. There it is. It could yeah. save the gammon with an ace. Oh. Well, you still might get another shot. you got to stay back for the shot. Because you can't get them both out anyway. Wait for the shot. He needs a one here or doubles. Doubles would have uh, been a backgammon. And he did. There's a hit. He can pick up another tripper. Yeah, you might be slot. Well, you slot your five point. It isn't that much that difficult. You you definitely do slot here. I think. I'm not sure. You're not it's sure. So unlikely to win anyway. Yeah. No, you hit the second checker, Dennis. I don't think it's right. You hit the second. You hit the second checker. You have a very good chance to win. Two on the bar and a closed board. You're 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 a favorite. Well, let's see where the checkers are. And also, he's behind in the score. That's another reason to gamble. I'm slotting the five. I'm sorry. Dennis and I don't agree on this one. I, I'm slotting it, and so is Ray. I think uh, you are correct, Bill. John likes John thinks it's right. I would slot right away. Yep. Now you can close the board. Now you close the board because you guarantee to stop the gammon. I took that lesson from John. That's why he agrees with me. Okay, John. Let's say he hit the second checker and got to a perfect bear off. Isn't black favored? Uh, if he had. With, with if, two checkers up? Well, when you say perfect bear off, you mean spares six, five, yes. four? Yes. Yeah, he's about a two to one favorite. Yeah, he's a big favorite. So but, that's why you go for the second checker. But you, but you couldn't get to a perfect bear But you couldn't get to that. Ah. That's so it'd be. Yeah. Well, I could have gotten to a perfect bear <laughs> Okay, so now he can play aggressively and leave a shot and not uh, have much downside because if he hits, he gets a shot at Ed's other checker. So, yeah, six off and two off or six off, six four. I'm not sure. Six four. I, I take two off. I, I take two off because it's so much fun to win that way. Oh, it's pretty tough, really. Can't be a big deal. Six more is better if he fans. It's better if he fans if he starts hitting hits. I would have too. So he leaves two blots. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I would have left three blots. But these are hard. Now you take one off. You just take, just take, no, just, just take one off the five, five point. Off. Just yeah. take off, yeah. off the yeah. five point. Right. Right. Well, Hit somebody. Oh, oh, goodbye. Hit covers. One more. That wins. Game over. No matter what rolls, it's over. Concede. 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 Impossible to win. Oh, great roll. If I was that, I would complain the guy rolled doubles. All right. Nine to five. So they're both unhappy. Ray's unhappy that he lost, and he's unhappy that he didn't get a game, and Ed's unhappy he didn't get a gammon. That's backgammon for you. You're both both upset at the end of the day, That's and right. you're both convinced. I, I've always said you could hit, you could take every player, most especially intermediates, not experienced players, they can take a lie detector test, and they both swear they roll much worse than their opponent. That's right. Every time. True. Very well. The good players are able to see it more objectively. Ray's not happy with that 3-1. You can see that right there. Yeah, he played like he was mad. Yeah. Wow. Darn, darn 3 Look at that. And he hates that 4-2. He hates that 4 
Yeah. See, he's still thinking about that last game. He should be thinking, he should be thanking heaven he didn't get gammon in the last game. Instead, he's really mad that he lost. That's, uh, that's the optimist. He's an eternal optimist. He's always expecting to win. And I think sometimes that's good, man. Help you win. You're looking for, see, like here. Hey. Was it a double? I don't know. You don't know. I wasn't. Easy take. Uh, easy take yeah. Ooh, I'm not slotting the bar. So yeah. Structure is good, but Ed's way up in the race. So. I did, yeah, I didn't think it was a double, but Might especially a, since this is such an yeah. easy take. Uh, a lot of threats over the next hole. Yeah. Something really good. Three point. Okay. Still haven't lost. Yeah, uh, Ooh, that's a great so roll. Twenty-three and seven, or just make the five. I think twenty-three, 23 and, and seven. seven. Yeah. Twenty. <laughs> Yeah, doing something good on each side of the board is usually better than oh. just doing something even better just on one side. The word and, you taught me that, John. When you do two things, you're, you're using the word and, that's usually right. Yeah. yeah. means you've done two things good. Yeah. Uh, that was big, making the seven. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would uh, keep that checker going to the 14. I, I don't think you want to be uh, leave a real... What's he not hitting for? What's going on here? Did he here? not see that? He didn't see it. He didn't see it. Oh. He didn't see it. He didn't see it. Unbelievable. Wow. I don't think he saw it. Well, I'm sure he didn't. Yeah, because wow. that was He didn't obvious. see it. Oh, my God. He just didn't see it. He thought he was primed. No. He no, thought he, he was primed. It. Ten to four, obviously, here. Wow, a player of that level. Okay, here's here's why I tell my students, before you roll, say out loud the number you know you need. That way you won't miss it. Yeah. Ed should have been saying, give me a six, give me a six. Yeah. There's no way in hell he would have missed that shot. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, Can I say hell, by the way? Is it right to say hell? No, he's thinking about sliding. This is too big. Yep, too big. Just 10 to 4. It's 10 to 4, that's right. Yep, keep going without this risk. Yeah, you don't have to. Keep it's way too big. Yeah, circuit, no, I don't. <laughs> this, is not, this is not chess. We do not cheat. We. This is not chess. We don't cheat in backgammon. They cheated chess that's right. with the hearing that's aids and the. But backgammon, we don't cheat. There are honest people in backgammon. This is amazing if he... And bridge, they cheat, this. too. They've been proven to cheat. I don't think we've ever caught anybody uh, cheating in backgammon at a very high level. And, I beg your pardon. At a high level. I mean, at in the finals or in a major and event. And it's extraordinary uh, allowing somebody to go for the outlaw. Legal move. Oh, yeah. Ah, this is just 13 understand. numbers it's are just kind of, devastating. Well, not he, devastating. He but on a front and you throw a six or a five over there next roll. I mean, he's, he's not, even when it works, you know, you still have to cover next time. And yeah, nice some, of, some of your covering numbers with the other half of the number, you have to give up something else. Yeah, this, this play might be the right play if Black had more timing uh, to not crack. Yeah. But but since since Ray is brittle and could can crack very easily, you don't yeah. need to play this, this big. It's just awful. Yeah, if he ends up choosing this. What's going on with the color? Uh, There's sixteen numbers that don't get in. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, it, it's working. It's fourteen oh one. Like By the way, the clock looks funny to people, and they're commenting about it. Uh, it's just about the lighting. It, the clock is working properly. The lighting is just uh, making the yeah, LED look funny. Huge play. You can see that the clock is running properly if you look real closely at the numbers. Yeah, this is. Oh, Ed, 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 don't pick up your, don't hit the clock, Ed, please. <laughs> And it's not that I'm rooting for Ed to beat to beat Ray. I just, I'm rooting for both of them to play well. Yeah, it's just. Uh, you put some tape over that part of the It's just. Uh, I'm not even sure if this is right. Yeah. It, 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 oh. I, I don't think it is. Uh, it's terrible. Yeah. 
And he's punished. Talk about punished. Oh my God. That's two, that's two blunders. Well, I don't even think it's not as big a blunder as not hitting with the six. It, it's not a big as blunder as not hitting with the six. It's two huge blunders by Ed this game. You, you, you actually want to see Ed get creamed here for those blunders. I like to see justice. Chris coming back. Well, Ed, Ed let him in. Yeah, he. The, that not hitting with the six is, is I, I can understand making the slotting play, but I. I've never missed a shot in my life. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Of one that you saw. I yeah. Until they pointed it out, I've never missed a shot <laughs> uh, in my life. Two and hit on the ace. So I can get a ace deuce back game going. This game's gonna take another time. Minutes. Ed needs a, like a one six or two six to to give himself some kind of a game. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just kind slot of the slot the two. Slot the two. Yeah. Automatic. Break the bar. No. More checkers back. Well, you do want more checkers back, but not that way. I have six. Probably just keep that checker going to the fourteen, or I guess you play fifteen nine. <coughs> Probably doesn't matter much. Probably out. Close though. Like Joe, uh, John said, I don't think this matters much. And uh, somebody said, made a comment about using the clock. I gave a lecture just last week on using the clock. If you think a play is relatively close, then don't mess with it. Just make the play. Flip a coin in your head. The only time you should take time is if you think there's a real difference in the plays. Right back. Four, three. I keep doing that, I'll run out of yeah, I'm. I might make the Pasco play here. I might make the two point and then hit loose from from three to one. I I make. I, I play big. I play big. I I play three to one, and hit six two and three one. Not not six two. No, I play seven. I play the seven in, and three to one. Maybe you're right. I'm winning just, winning nine to five in the match, I think you're right, Dennis. You don't play this big. Just, just, just clear the bar point. Could be right. Yeah, I would, yeah. Yeah. If I was back really behind in the match and gambling, this is my play if I'm gambling. I'll, this, this, so he's gonna try to win this game. See that that's my play. That was my play. I, you know, the good news for Ed is he's got a four-point lead. Yeah. No, I don't hit. I come in without hitting. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but, I, you know. Luckily, the crash. I, I think hitting is right. No, I'll tell you why hitting is wrong. Now, Dennis, thinks, Dennis thinks hitting is right, and I'll tell you why it's wrong. The guy obviously wants to get hit, so why give him what he wants? Now, be, just be mean. Huh? Just, be, just do it to yeah. be mean. All right. Hey, six five. He's going all out. Some of you might think this is crazy for Ed to be doing this, and some of you might be right. <laughs> Because, you know, yes, he can get his timing, but then what? He still loses. So. If this was a uh, UBC match, Ed would be in trouble on the PR big time. Uh -huh. <laughs> UBC meaning what? Uh, ultimate backgammon championship. That's where uh -huh. you get one point for winning a match, one point for the lower PR. Uh -huh. And just think what Ed's going to get for not hitting with the six. And then that. Slot. Uh, Five for a slot. Yeah. Wow. And then a couple of these, and then all, these, and these plays. plays are probably wrong too. These plays are probably wrong. Yeah. So. Okay, everybody, we're watching Giants here. We're watching some of the best players in the world, and we're they're clearly making lots of mistakes. And we're sitting here very smugly talking about it because we don't have to make these plays over the board. It's much easier when you're doing when you're watching to find these things. But the the real lesson here is no matter how good you are. Nobody's mastered this game. You're going to make mistakes. Mochi made a huge blunder on a cube earlier. Uh, 
a couple days ago. Everybody does. So we're not making fun of them for making these mistakes. We're just pointing it out. All right. He saw the hit that time. Remember there was a block and, uh, <laughs> you know, in this game, nothing is hopeless. I mean, Ed can still somehow win this game. Not very likely. But I, I won a game last night against Sam Ahmed that I almost couldn't believe. I had two checkers on the 24 point and the other 13 checkers on my own one point and I won the game. Oh. <laughs> so you never know. <clears throat> well, I rolled four double sixes in a row to gammon a guy for money one time. <laughs> and he, and the cube went into the window. <laughs> it did, he, he threw the cube right to the window. Matt, it was Matt, the Turkish Matt, you remember him? Yeah. The last person I wanted to beat that way. <laughs> I thought I was going to die. I thought he was going to kill me. Yeah. Four double sixes in a row. I looked it up later. One million seven hundred and sixty thousand to one. Yeah. Ah, he danced. That helps his timing. Oh. Oh. Ray's thinking he's very unlucky here not to hit that last checker. Yeah, right. He rolled his favorite roll. His favorite roll. His favorite roll, and he's just mad that he didn't he didn't hit that second that last checker. Yeah. At least he didn't miss it. I would bring him in. Bring him in. That's good. Yeah. Pat Gibson's yelling, break the bar. And uh, I I thought it was the right play until I heard until I heard Pat yell it, but <laughs> now I'm not sure anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm not sure what's right. I might have just come in with one. I, you know, I made him left one on the bar. And brought the other one in just because you want to bring your checkers into the higher points. Because you are less likely to, you're more likely to get more checkers off before you leave a shot. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was a good roll. Bring it, yeah, you want to bring checkers good, into high uh, places. Okay. Now the odds of, uh, the odds of Ed getting a double shot at some point is very high. Right. The question is whether or not he'll still win or save the gammon when he does. Yeah. He's got enough checkers that he can have a fighting chance of saving the gammon and some small chance of winning. I, I clear the five point here. I like that. I often write to clear the five point. The point cleared is a point not to be feared. And this this gap is not the worst. He's got no checkers off yet. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah. Right. that's right. That's right. As we say, Ray can still get gammoned here. Not anymore, though. Floor off. I take it off. And probably. I, I peel, peel. I guess. I peel. Yeah, yeah I would peel. Yeah. When in doubt, peel. That's one of our. He's got a three left. They made the grammar class. Mm hmm. It's either that or hit two, uh, Dennis. Uh, either take take one off or hit two here. You know what he did. Oh, that was interesting. That was his good point there. Yeah. But this you know, gotta take him to come Pick on Patrick. It took me a long time as I was growing up to understand that. It's clear. Yeah, I didn't like his last play. I would have left three checkers on the six and yeah, taken more checkers off. Yeah, and he's punished. He's punished. And he's going to block double sixes, right? No. Yeah. I wouldn't block double sixes. I would. You would. Yeah, just like he did. That's right. They were blocked already. Oh, yeah, Dana pointed still. out they were blocked already. I'd rather you, spread out the outfield. That give you two numbers to make the six. Right. Threes and double sixes as right. well. Right. Right. That's pretty huge. That's another reason. Yeah. 
I still like spreading them out. This is one area where... She did a one plug roll out. We've done two. Oh, okay. I won. That's got a lot of ways to hit. He wants. Oh, not anymore. He stays on the five point. Oh. Ray was thinking about hitting there, maybe. Maybe Ray was thinking about hitting. This is a so bad roll. Probably make the midpoint. That gives him uh, 6 2, uh, leaving a block. Yeah. It leaves a block, too. Yeah, but they both work. One. Make the midpoint and go 3 to 2. Yeah, I think so. Well, wait a minute. If you made the outfield, you'd get a shot on the scram for you. The midpoint, are you saying, or the 14? Yeah, you made the midpoint. What's the, would you get a shot on 6 2 and 14? Well, not 6 2, because that, that'll nah, go. Nah, Ray, the, okay, one, okay, the one thing you don't do is come off the 24. I think that's got to be wrong. I agree. That's got to be wrong. You don't come off the 24 there. That's your last vestige. Ooh, a shot. No. No. Only no. A Only a two. Only a two. Yeah, that's you right. move the back checker. Here. Interesting. Oh, oh. Uh -uh. Double shot. Don't give him that second check. I just think it's backgammon 101 not to come off the 24 point there. I can't I can't understand that logic. Yeah. Well, and John agrees with me. I agree. Trying to push three. Ooh, can't hit. Now I come off the 23 point. Yeah, with, with both. both. Yeah. With both. Me too. And so does John. See, John copies me a lot in this I game. Yeah. Especially at force plays, John does exactly what I do. Isn't that better coverage? Play right here. Or this. Okay, this is... All right. That's... Uh... I hate giving up the 24, though. All right. Double shot. Threes, fours, and sevens. And he hits. He's only got one man off. If a little luck uh, in, in this game. And more than a little luck. Yeah. That's true. I come ooh. Ah, Kit Wolsey pointed out that staying on the twenty four isn't that valuable when you have a crunch board. What does Kit Wolsey know that I don't know? Everything? Just about. Thank you, Kit. I might have been right here, but it's not as thematic as we're waiting for shot. I see. Oh, he's, he's looking at hitting. Look at this. Wow. He, I uh, hated it. I hated that hit. Wow. I hated that. And danced. Wow. You got to cover those. See, that's the problem with the hit. That's right. Well, it's a repeating problem. An Ed roll of two or double ones. Or there's another number two, isn't there? Double sixes. double sixes. Double a two. A two. Now he's now he's working with two checkers. That's why that hit had to be wrong. Because even if you don't get hit back, you got to cover it. He's gonna hit again now, Nate. Yeah, it'd be consistent when you're playing wrong. You should be consistent. Right now, it might be right though. Now it might be right. He's already got two in play. Wow. Kit said it was the right play. Kit liked the hit. Okay, so. Oh, he might make that 24 again. Yeah. That's right. There you go. He heard us. When's the last time Ed paid attention to us? I, yeah, I think you go to the bar and try to safety bunch one of your checkers. Coming out, you still got both in play on. Yeah. I... How can you not? The two's automatic. Huh? You double hit it. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> The two's automatic. You do that and then look for the four. I'm not sure of the four, but I go to the bar. Yeah, I do this because you, if you get away with it, you're more likely to get the checker home to safety. And you got built. If he dances, you got more builders for the ace point. Now, look at this. Look at that. That was a big dance. There's those builders for the ace point I was talking about. Make it. Make it. Well, Kit, there's the value of the 24 point for you. Oh, five, five. What? So out to the 15 twice. With twice, yeah. Come out with two. Out with two. That was a that's 
Might not turn the game around, but that's a joke. What a game. What a game. How would you like to play this game at speed gaming? Need more than four seconds. You need more than four seconds, Dennis? Yeah. Yeah. It's easy to play. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing to think about. Uh, every one of those hits would have been, I would have thought about those. All right. All right. Well, like point, Virtually like, everything like, hits now. Yeah. Does it, that miss? It hits. It hits from oh, the it back. From the 20. It, it's from the 20. It hits. It hits. It hits for the 20. He sees it. I predict a really interesting game. Yeah, yeah. This is basically what I'm trying to do. What are the options? Yeah, so make the 11 and then play split. 15, 14. Yep, split. It does give him the 5-5 five, five joker, but I think it's got to be right. Well, at least you get a shot with the 5-5 five, five joker. Five, yeah, you get a shot. That's true. That's three. Wow. Uh, I don't think you come out here. No, four to one. Yeah, you want to get hit inside and have a return shot. There's fewer shots. This hits. Gonna, you have to hit. Or you can make, make a, a or make a point. I think you hit. This is... Gammons matter. Don't hit. Then you don't hit? Yeah, yeah. Ah, Kit points out this is better for saving gammas, too. Yeah. Yeah, look at this. Quadruple shot. Now I'm done. Ooh, you got him. You got him. The five is pretty much forced. You don't want to leave a direct inside shot. How can you leave? How can you do anything but play with the bar? Because um, you can still get gamut. It's not clear to me that uh, mm -hmm. four points. My inclination is to go to the four. Up. A five. A five. Play the two bars and do this. Four to me. Still got him contained. Four, six four doesn't hit. That's a good point. Oh yeah, that's cool. Six four doesn't hit. Does five four hit? Yes, five four hits. I'd be right. I have to play the, the big one me. first? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. I hate it. Oh, uh, like I said, 5 4 does hit. Yeah. He gets you got it. You got it. If Ed wins this game, this could be the. Let point come in handy. This could be the. the the game <laughs> that he's won with the worst PR. Got it. How about making two points? Kid would not hit there. He would make the seven point. Kid's still thinking about saving gammons uh, as well as winning the game, which is not a, a not a bad concept, especially when you're in the, ahead in the match nine to five. He hits again. At some point, you say to yourself, "How do I not get gammon?" Look at him as builders, not blocks. Right, here we go. Well, I'll tell you what. No. Here we go. Nobody. Oh. Point. Five or the six? What do you do? Six point. Six point. Why the six? Six point. Six point. Sure. You got to say, Ed played this game so big. Nobody ever played a game bigger than Ed played this game. Right. right. I got You ought to respect that. That's right. That's, he made it fun. He made a couple of monster blunders, but he also played it big. I have two. Now I come out. Out to the 18, yeah. Yeah, now I come out. I don't want to get hit inside and pointed on. Yeah. And just get home. That's right. Wow. I'm stealing Kit's words here. Hope you don't hear Kit and you'll think I said it. By the way, I invented Woolsey's Law, too. Good play. Wow. Wow. Remember when Ed was leaving all those blots and playing wild earlier? Wow. I pay off. Four three. I I I play to the twelve. 
I would go to the 12. And Kit finally agreed with me on one play. We both go to the 12. Yes, Making the bar is, is really kind of impotent here. The, you you take away hitters if he comes out. Kid would make the bar. No. This is my this is play C for me. Worked out well. Six a one or a two. Yeah. Well, he hit him. I'll tell you what. Dana predicted we'd have some inter an interesting cube decision in ten minutes. He was wrong. He was wrong. It only took it only took seven minutes. <laughs> yeah, to get to Dana's point where. Uh, no, I don't know. You would do that, okay? Or it looks reasonable anyway. All right. No blots. You still got several yeah. several ways to make your five point. You to make your four mm -hmm. point. Let me go inside and interview Ray right now. See how he's feeling. <laughs> Uh, oh, I, I, I'm a masochist, that's for sure. You know the difference between a masochist and a sadist? A, masoch, a, a, masoch, a masochist says, please, please hurt me. And a sadist says, no. <laughs> What's he got left? I think this is the whole move, and now they're and probably, now he's thinking about books. what was the original, oh, and I don't remember. Here and here. Okay, and Ray's showing him the original. No okay, way. this is the original. I have to hit you. One, two, he's hitting for sure. Two more. I I I like his original play. Or one. Uh, uh, you stay there. Yeah, you don't want to give him. Six is the hit as well. You don't know, come under the gun. Two, threes, and sevens. Oh, Lunkasaurus. So two, two checkers <laughs> off the seven. Two, two off the seven? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, he's thinking about playing it bigger again. Nobody played a game bigger than Ed played this game. I mean, that's right. That's six, for sure. Six numbers, or you might get G. Nobody played it bigger. All right, now he's. All right. Now Ed needs to win the race. It was a great effort. Where's Riles? Am I being paid by the hour here? I hope so. I hope so. Wow. There, Nine to seven. That's that's big. I mean, <laughs> we're gonna start one. What a game! This was a game. I don't want to tell you the PRs for both sides, but I I know, I know uh, Ray outplayed Ed because of a couple of those blunders, but the Ray's hit was really questionable to me, and I really thought it was wrong to come off the 24. But if Kit says it might not be, you know. Okay. Antonio Scambato is beating Chuck nine to two in a match to fifteen. And I have to go in the play. other semifinal. I have to go play a consolation match. John, you're easy to replace. I mean, you're hard, impossible to re <laughs> replace. Uh, so. Reports being well, you're recording it as well. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, being streamed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, John had to go play his match, and uh, we're joined again by Bill Riles, the master streamer. Bill and Tara. That's the master streamer. He's a streak. He's a streaker. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're they're still playing, right? Okay. I wouldn't have been surprised had they uh, taken a break after that. They've been playing right at two. Wow. Hours. Ed's miss hit was only a point oh six one blunder on the six, according to Ian Terry. That's amazing. We all thought it was a super blunder. Which one? When he missed the six hit. It's only a point oh six blunder, according to Ian. He, he ran it. That's amazing. Well, that's because after he hits, he still doesn't have a great game. He's behind a five prime yeah. with, the other checkers. with the other checkers. Bill Finneran said during that that we should mic up Ray. I don't know that that would have been a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, Ed's band. Do we want them both band? I've always loved Bill Fitter his sense of humor. <laughs> Bill's Bill's one of my favorites. Always a dry, but you can count on him to be very funny. And the idea of uh, miking uh, Ray during any match, I think that would take backgammon off the air. <laughs> Especially that game. Oh, my God. Especially that game? Eddie lost. It. Oh, my God. I... But it doesn't matter whether he lost it. In the, mi in the middle of the game, it he would have been mad. <sighs> All right. This is a very common situation where you're holding your opponent's bar point. And uh, one of my great teachers and uh, friends, Grant Hoffman from New Zealand came up with a formula to know when you double in these kind of holding games. And uh, it's called the rule of four. But he's getting off this double game. Part of the rule of four is you got to be up 15% in the race to double and you got to have four or fewer checkers on the midpoint and a landing place. But we didn't get there. And obviously it was never a double even though he was winning the race. Ed kind of invited the he, Ray to run. He invited Ray to run, but, you know, he, I, I think Ed's still winning the race, so he doesn't care that much if Ed runs, does he? I mean, if, I, if I'm miscounting, I think I think Ed's got a little edge in this race. Yeah, it's but almost... That doesn't mean it was wrong for Ray to run. It was probably his best game plan. Yeah, I clearly... Ed was winning the race when Ray ran. So it's kind of a red herring to let, give your opponent a chance to run when he's losing the race. And now the race is over. And the game is over unless Ray performs. Right now. Right now. Yeah, this is going to be double pass. Yeah, count to make it look like you're not sure. I would count to... Two or three times, I would hesitate. I would say, oh, man, I don't know what to do. Oh, my God, I'm in such trouble here. Sale, huh? And then I'll reluctantly give the cue, but I know it's a big pass. It's interesting. They have almost identical amounts of time left. Yeah. Oh, no. got 70. Yeah, it wasn't close. And the, it was just it was just good poker to take a while. But again, do you want to waste? He's not that for poker. He, he wanted to be sure. Herb Roman doesn't say doesn't think these guys play poker. I don't. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I I'll tell you I take a longer time on those. They're taking a break. I would take a longer time because I know I'm winning. I know he's going to pass, and I want to agonize him a little bit more by waiting. So the more agony you can provide, the better. We'll take a little break here, and looks like the winner of this is going to be in the finals against a complete unknown, which is uh, really, really fun and exciting. You know, at the beginning of the tournament, the, we, the Calcutta, if you look at my Facebook po post, I, I showed you that there were, there were 12 giants that were separated, and I was willing to bet that this tournament would be won by somebody other than the giant. Uh, however, uh, I could be wrong, because if the winner of this match wins and wins the final then he it, then he will I would have lost that bet so actually my bet looks pretty bad right now my bet looks actually bad right now because one of these guys is going to be favored in the finals against either Chuck Bauer or the other guy you know, didn't you uh, love the amount of work that Roy put in the randomization the randomization yeah right but it, it is it's so easy to find people on the Calcutta sheet they're in alphabetical order <laughs> Oh, I didn't even notice that. Oh my! I didn't even see that. Oh my God! The Calcutta, the Calcutta sheet was alphabetical. Alphabet, except for the except for the seeds. Yeah, and intermediate. Intermediate's the same thing. Wait a minute. The seeds. Alphabetical. Oh, that's right. I never. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! So 
here for those of you who can't see what we're talking about the the seated there were there were six seated teams the first team is dana eight, and dennis six, eight. Uh, eight okay the, the first team was dana and dennis the next one was ed and frank notice the alphabetical order of the first names the next team was john and jonah then then jurgen and and jurgen's with a j jurgen and kit then uh mochi and matt and then michi and ray Roberto and Steppens and Steve and Tobias, all in alphabetical order. The we whole thing's that way. We all thought uh, there was some thought put into these uh, things. <laughs> and there normally is uh -huh. to try to balance them in some regard. Yeah, see, what I would have done is I would have made an alphabetical order by their third letter of their first name. That way nobody <laughs> would know. Nobody would know. <laughs> nobody would ever get that pattern. And, and it's still random. Well, you know, it's interesting, and I know yeah. you were involved with us a little bit in Monte Carlo one year. It's kind of an art to try to balance the teams as best you can. Yes. You know, we, uh, in Monte Carlo one time with a huge field, we tried to divide it into four quadrants and then take one player from each quadrant for each team uh -huh. to, you know, to balance it as best you could. But I don't believe it's right to balance. If you want to try your your idea is to maximize the interest in the Calcutta and the mo and the amount of money that's bid, I think you should have some lopsided teams to make it exciting and and to for higher bids. That's what happened this time. The, the Mochi and Matt Kongayer went for more than any other team by a lot, and they went first, obviously. Okay, here we go. Ten to seven. It's anybody's match. Five away, eight away. As Pat Gibson and I both chimed in, you look at the away score and back. That's a great roll. John Barnes, who we all have a lot of respect for, he apparently knows uh, Antonio from London. Antonio lived in London. Oh, he Barnes says, says Antonio's better than either one of these guys. Uh, you know, it's hard for me to believe that somebody I haven't heard of is better than Ed O'Loughlin and John and, and uh, Ray, both two giants. But uh, we'll see. There's no hiding your skill anymore when you look at PRs. And by the way, don't look at the PRs in this match. <laughs> These guys have both played much better than this. They're much better than well, you what know, you're seeing. If Antonio holds on and wins, and he was up 9-2 a moment ago to 15 against Chuck Bauer, but if he holds on and wins, then he's going to be playing on the stream with the winner of this yeah. with commentary yeah. recorded and obviously be We're going to know how good he is. Analyzed, and the world will see, you know. Which I think is great for the game. It's great for the guy. It, uh, you know, he's apparently a fairly accomplished player. Here's a question for you: Is there a lot, is there a stream two today, Bill? There is a stream two today. There is a stream two today. Okay. It's on uh, YouTube.com forward slash APBG Live. That's YouTube.com forward slash APBG Live, and that is where the uh, Chuck Bauer Antonio Scumbato match is going on right now. Now, the championship final will be on stream one, which is the Galaxy Count. Now, this is a very, very bad roll for Ray. He has to break. That's one of his worst anti-jokers, which Ray will tell us about later, I'm sure, if he loses. He... Boris. Boris says Antonio plays in the Chris Trencher shoe. That's at the uh, uh, Athletic Club in New York. So he's not completely unknown. He's just unknown to us here on the West Coast. Well, we're sort of on the West Coast here in Vegas. I'm for y'all's attention, too, we're playing these two uh, semifinals now. The final will actually be tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon? Okay. Uh, so we'll... Uh... Uh -huh. But if you really want to tune in, you can see my last chance tomorrow as well <laughs> you can catch me in the last chance now we do and and we'll try to pick up some consolation matches and what have you through there's the some great day. cancellation matches and going then on tonight the uh two semifinals of the masters jackpot will be played at, at uh -huh. 8, 8 p.m pacific tonight I, I need to go look and see who i know matt congar is in the in the Master Jackpot? In the semifinal. Yeah. I can never make it to the semifinals of the Master Jackpot. Maybe i got to enter that tournament sometime. Okay. That was, that was a good cube. I think that was a very good cube. And I think an easy take at this score. Do some things. Carter, come join Phil if you'd like. 
Sure. I'm going to be joined by my fellow Chicago and nemesis and friend Carter. Carter Maggot. Oh, the his... part was scary. <laughs> nemesis seems like a word. Well, Carter and I have a love-hate relationship. At every just about every tournament, we have a hundred dollar bet on who goes further, and we take ten percent of each other. I didn't happen to make it to Cyprus one year. Which is one of the biggest that was an regrets. Awesome year. Yeah, awesome that year. Was an awesome year. You saved ten percent by my not being there. Ooh, what do you do here? Do you make the ace point? Yeah, I guess that's the best play with the least amount of blocks. Yep. Two five. Yeah. Pretty ugly, but I come out. Yeah, it's you're duping the six anyway, so what I'd rather be hit outside than have make the two point inside. I you, just, you only get hit 24 times. You get missed 12 times. Although uh, the fives hit also, though you're leaving that. Right. Well, the fives five. are hitting anyway. So. Yeah. Well. Six three. Maybe he's right. I would have come out, but we'll see. Now you get the bonus four six. Yeah. If you flunk here, though, you're in big trouble. But Ray has a signature roll. Yeah. No, that's it's, not the signature. That's not the eight. It's the <laughs> wrong eight. Oh. And uh, <laughs> oh. that's going to wow. work. It cover. It that's it, going to cover. No, it's not. It doesn't. It's it's going to it's going to cover that outside hitter. I'm put a five on the Didn't he roll two double fives? Oh, I see. It's important as a commentator. You actually I see covered. the dice. Too. I would cover here. <laughs> right. If you shuffle the checkers enough, maybe. Yeah, I would have. All right, Ray is in desperate need of a two. You have or... to learn how to move the checkers with your elbow, too. I've learned that in Chicago. All the techniques. Yeah. Oh. Uh -oh. That's uh, looking Coitness. like Ray's... It's Courtney's Myrtle. Yeah. Cover with the four. I don't know. You can just make the four point. No way. He's got the loose checker. You... No way. Man, the double four response here is really painful. I. Okie dokie. I wonder what Ray just said. When you're blitzing, <laughs> when you're blitzing, the two point is as good as the four point, and you don't have a blot. You don't even ever have to make the four point to gam to win the game in this game. No. No, but Ray will get off on double fours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you just. I think you. I think yeah. Continue. This is fine. You yeah. really want to. You can make shifty plays. Yeah, don't be afraid of ghosts. No, the other four. The other four still hits the outside. Look at look at from the thirteen. the outside. Eleven point. Yeah, that's usually wrong to make to make the point and lose your builders. Right. To stop the joker, unless your opponent has a really great board and it kills you. Uh, in this case, that's not the case. We, it's got a two-point board with a blot. You don't worry about the double four that much. All right. This looks like oh, yucky. No. Oh uh, yeah, if you play it as a six, it's it works out okay. Yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's face facts. That's the five. That's Dude, the that five. That three-point is getting a little heavier. I like this play. Uh, is Alan better Tish, than going four Alan to Tish one? likes this play. Alan had a great tournament. Is it better going five. You almost cash, didn't you? Oh, you did cash. Oh, uh, nothing. Oh, yeah, nothing. Well, yeah, it's early. I hope you brought your cards with you. Oh, I got a chance. We'll play some gin rummy. Absolutely. I'll All right, be... strip it down. Right, make that heavy three point. That's what I say. Oh, okay. While Ed is figuring out the best way to torture uh, Ray right now, the Masters Jackpot semifinals tonight at 8 is going to be Stefan Nunez versus Matt cohn -Geyer and Armando Balbi versus Jorgen Grandstedt. So we have a, uh American and... Uh, Non-American. <laughs> and a non-American. Non -American. Well, Bobby's Brazil and yeah. uh, Jorgen Sweden, so yeah. And Jorgen, for those of you who don't know it, is the only three-time world champion. But a distinction. Well, you know, it is kind of like shuffling deck chairs on the Titanic. Ray doesn't have a lot going here. Oop. 
However, that might save a gamut. His signature two six gets rolled by uh, Ed next. That's a mean thing to even think about. I'm just saying, don't we want to make this competitive? Yeah. Evidently not. Game over. <laughs> Game over. Ooh, look at that. Look at that grimace on Ray. Well, I think five out. I don't think down yet. Yeah. It looks like it's going to be... Okay. It looks like it's going to probably be Crawford next game yeah. for Ed. Yeah. However... Not going, ge not going gently into that good night. Come on down. Right. Well, no, he took off two. So he's got four off. But uh, yeah, this would be. Uh, both people would feel bad about this. And that's a. Uh, it's an impressive when both people are unhappy with the result. So Ray needs to set. And not that set. <laughs> hey, two crossovers is two crossovers, baby. Yeah, if I'm yet, I get mad and say, "Oh, you rolled a set." <laughs> yeah, just no. You would go, "Oh, how lucky!" <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> how lucky you rolled a set, man. All right, uh, Ed needs. Oh, look at this! Look at this! One, two, three. Oh, the the my worst God. is when you. The, the worst is when he comes. This is nothing, but if you roll that weird two three, four one, he's off. He's off. So he's easy. Off. So easy. That was big. That was a huge save for match equity. Wow, huge save. Now he's got a. He's got <laughs> he a turns into chance. thirteen. I think Ray would want you to put that back. All right, three away, eight away. Is there any question why they're in the semifinals if they can roll like this? No. It was that alphabetical card. Uh, yeah, Rory's got his finger on the pulse of Calcutta. Oh, wait calling. a minute. Don't we own Ed in the Calcutta? Ed, you and I? Whoops. Is that Ed? Is Ed a partner Ed? D.E. David Dennis? I thought we owned it in the Calcutta. All right, back to the game. No, wait a minute. Wait, this is more important, card. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, for, I gotta forgive figure me. Out, uh, I believe Ray has a cube next roll. I, I got to figure out who I'm rooting for. This is more important than that. It's going to be a cube. I, I, I think you ship. You got eights. You've got some priming numbers. No, no, no. What? Oh, this is Ray. Oh, yeah, yeah, Ray. Ray on roll. Here. He passes, sure. Right. I thought I thought that was a roll. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, you know they they both have such a such a mild manner about them. Yeah. There are there are giants that you just can't tell if they're winning or losing. They're just always happy to go lucky and smile. We're not getting that today. Yeah, there's not. A, <laughs> this is not the. This is not who we're watching today. And I'm not faulting these guys. They have a lot of passion. No, you can fault them a little bit. I mean, if you're <laughs> representing the game, you know, you really should try to be more of a diplomat. But they also there's history, you know. Oh, turn down the mics. Was Ed swearing again? Because yeah. as amazing as it is to the people listening out there, I wasn't the one citing for swearing. It was Ed O'Laughlin who had the problem. So What the F did he say? <laughs> a lot. There were a few bombs. <laughs> uh, speaking of... All right, back to the game. I think he's just making the board five. inside, right? Uh, I, what, make the ace point? I I just make the three point. I just play 13. I play Hell 13 to three no. twice. I play 13. I play mildly at this score. and. Oh. <laughs> hey, raise finger bang in the cube. Unless he said adjusting. Unless he said adjusting. But I, I think you make two points inside. Two points inside? Yeah. Why not? What are you like? What's he gonna roll that you're not cubing out or blitzing? That's terrible. 
That's that made... is why you're not in the finals or semifinals. Now he's anchored. Now you still have the straggler. That you know what? You wouldn't have been short of wood when he was dancing, buddy. And he would have been with the three five. Right. Anybody out there got XG? We got a big debate on that double five. I would have made the. I would have made the three. All right, points. Ryan, run it. What were the five? Yeah, I I would have made the three point. I would have gone. I would have made the three. I play thirteen three. Double fives. I Carter would have beaten the crap out. Carter of and Allen would have made the two inside points. Yep. Oh dear lord. Uh, well, considering that Antonio's leading Chuck nine two last I saw, I think Antonio's okay. Make the two and hit loose on the one. Why not just run all the way? Oh, no. <laughs> Do you see those other guys that are stuck back there? Oh, well, and Chuck finally scored another point. Chuck beat his buddy Frank Frigo to get there. It was, fun. It was a great match to watch there. I watched that one, too. All right, it looks like a down and cover, right? Yeah, give him a one shot and then make it. A ones and nines, right? All ones and six three, right? Yep. Just give him a one. That's yeah, right. but it's just it's going right to the six point. You're not helping it. I don't want him to scoot up hitting. I'd like him to crack there so I get return shots. No, the other way, <laughs> shot lets him move up. I like I like that play. I would have made the play that Ed made. All right, it's five four. Yeah, mo lose the thirteen point. So Making did, the ace points not going to be helpful. Enough. Alexandria said, "Usually Phil is wrong, so it's not a big deal." <laughs> Does he really know me that well? Because he's <laughs> <laughs> he's right, but. <laughs> hey, all I know is that Dane. All, all, all I know is that Dane, you know, voted well, for me. So I think I'm at least safe. I'm wrong in a fun way. I mean, you know, you gotta have fun. All right, what are we doing <laughs> with the five four here? Wow. He played him. Yeah. Uh, nice. All right. I'm taking it to score. Yeah, you really, it's not that easy for Ed to clear those four away. And Ray would love access to a four cube. Yeah, I dropped this for money. I take this at the score. It's only the score that would make me take. Yep. Steve Sachs is here, and he doesn't think about taking or dropping. He just likes to count the pips because he's so good at it. So all he does is count the pips. So 21 pips. And he's always right when he counts the pips. 21 pips. But what is about the cube? Right? You're an excellent counter. But what about the cube? <laughs> Dear Lord. I would have taken two. Yep. All right. Is this a 6 2? Yep. Immediate Welcome shot. to the two point. <laughs> yep. Yeah, <laughs> not a lot. Did, did Mary Hickey come up with the name Dilly Builder? Is this somebody? Hey, where has Mary huh? Hickey been, by the way? Way before? Oh, Kleiman's book. Okay. Maybe it was Kleiman or Barkley Cook. Yeah, we need somebody as old as Herb Roman to tell us. Right, it was exactly. Cook. Why, when when he wrote that book, Herb but just bought that shirt. Come on. <laughs> Her, right, exactly. her play with the Romans? It's, his name's not so much Roman as a moniker. Oh, wait a know? minute. Like it's it's wait a more minute. like a... Like you can uh, escape here. Do you escape? Catherine of Russia. What's the race? Of Roman. Steve, is the, ra would, is the race reasonable? No, he, he stays back for the shot. Yeah, he's got to stay back. Well, I don't know. If the race was reasonable at all, I would have come out. Hell to the no. Look at this. The race is... It. Three, oh, six. three six. Oh, yeah, so he can give it three shots. He could shot. run. He could run. Uh, and it might be right. It might have been right. Hey, your Dilly Biller, Alan. My Dilly Biller couldn't play. Alan knew the Dilly Billers out here. Now all you need is that 4-3, and then you got to fade the two, and then 
How could Ray take this cube? Uh, I was just couldn't believe he could take this cube. Of course, I would have taken it too. All right, but... so what do you got? You got the 46 and 41. Mm. Only two? <laughs> All right. Uh, Herb, two people are looking at you. We need Herb for the commentary. Match. And Herb, <laughs> three people are looking at you for money. <laughs> All right, you may as well make the builder. Make the board, Make I mean. the board, yep. And now, well, prayer sets in. Prayers are not answered. Wow. Well, considering Ray saved a much worse game in the last game, I feel like he's still okay. Ooh. No. I think clear. he's clear. At this I mean, score, four numbers is really big At this big score, here. the gammon value is not that high. I don't go for the gammon. Yeah, you're going to get – it's going to be Crawford as long as you At a different lose. score, I'm ripping. No. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let your – no, Let your demons guide you, Ed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just give him, just give him six five, just as the ultimate like f you. Oh my God, Steve did you get Sachs? hit? Nope. Ha, that Steve's that breaks the soul yeah. of your opponent. Steve Sachs left two shots in a situation just like this in Paris. He said, and he didn't get hit. <laughs> I think you clear the six. I think you clear the six. You're giving four bad numbers right away. That's not for money. Absolutely, the gammon value is point five. Or you're giving Here, no I think bad the gammon value is less. And... I think the gammon value has to be like point three. Because you win by not winning a gamble, and you're such a big favorite in the match. Anyway. Look at how mad Why Ed gamble? looks at only taking one off. Now I kind of want a double four here, you know? Oh, double two. Well, I wouldn't have made that Ooh. play. I don't make that play. I play purely safe. Wow. I only take one off. You take four off. <laughs> Well, I mean, if you guys are so... <laughs> why leave Why leave it odd, Steve? Okay. This doesn't make sense. Oh, ooh. It's like, it's like somebody just said something in school. Ooh. Yep. So Boy. how's my play look now, Steve? Boy, this three is going to look pretty bad. God, I wonder yeah, what Ray yeah. is saying to Ed right now. <laughs> oh, to be a fly in the room. Yes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ray's thinking about the redouble. I think Ray. I think. I think Ray just talked hedge. Ray. No. Ray. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And zero with mine. He's one away, seven away. Uh, I don't think you got a recube. You can save gammon here. What are you gonna do? Wait till next roll. <laughs> Plenty of people have come back from one away, seven away, sitting right around. All this I table. can tell you is. I would redouble here, and I don't care if it's right or wrong, because it's so you got a great story to tell when you redouble and hit here and win. And a great story is worth a lot in this situation. You know, it's an even better story if he just gets so lost in the position that he ends up like timing out. <laughs> like that's a much better story. Uh, the internet, <laughs> it, it crashed from all the viewers. <laughs> Okay. Magic hands. All right, Ray. Oh, this is going to hurt. I would redouble. I don't think you want to give the game. Why not? You know why you redouble? Cause Ryan I, does it, Ryan, did Ryan run it, or is Ryan just thinking it's a redouble? He's thinking it's a redouble, but I'll tell you why it's a redouble. Ray's got a senior match with me coming up, and he wants to get to me as soon as he can. So I, <laughs> he wants to end this match quickly because he cannot wait to play me. There you go. Shake his hand, Ray. 
Yeah, yeah that's coming. <laughs> You're supposed to play that. Yeah. <laughs> well, you like getting off the gamut doesn't mean shit. <laughs> All right, well, that was an ignoble end. Oh, I like the end. I like that cue. Yeah. I loved it. Wow. Okay. All right, so that was uh, Phil Simborg and Carter Maddock doing the end of the commentary. Helped with a Alan Tish. Right. Oh, wait, do you want me to put that back on for you? Hold on. It was right. Yes, yes, it was great. Congratulations, Ed. Hey, wear that mask right, Ed, and congratulations. In the picture, Ed. Congratulations to Ed, who almost played mediocre. Thank you. <laughs> no, you, play, you played great. It seemed like you guys were just true gentlemen to each other, and the banter was probably really spirited. Yeah. That back game was one of the most aggressive I've never seen a guy play bigger in my life. Than you. All right, for those watching at home, we'll be back 8 p.m. Pacific watching the Masters Jackpot semifinals. It's going to be Stepan Nunez versus Matt cohn Geyer, Armando Bobby versus Jurgen Grandstadt. So we're going to have a great semifinal and also a great final. Whoever wins. Let's hopefully see you then. Bye-bye.
Okay, Bill Rowles here. We're going to do a, a bit of commentary on this second semifinal. Uh, we won't have the commentator cam available for this Stream 2 match, which is now being shown on Stream 1 also. But um, this is the second semifinal of the main undefeated bracket. Antonio Scambato who was born and raised in Naples, Italy, worked in London apparently for quite a while and is familiar to all of the UK players, and is now working uh, for Citibank in New York City and uh, apparently has been playing up there some. He plays uh, in Chris Trencher's uh, weekly chouette, which uh, you know, includes people like Chris, who's an excellent player, Justin Noel, Jim Stutz, Frank DiMaggio, um, maybe Boris. Boris uh, was telling us of the fact that uh, Antonio played in that chouette. So, uh, you know, apparently a bit of an unknown name to some of us, but uh, apparently a uh, fairly well-known, accomplished player in, in some circles. John Barnes from the the UK uh, was saying that uh, you know Antonio lived in London for some number of years and and played there and is quite well known to uh, to the British players. Uh, John had made the comment earlier. Phil and Carter were uh, you know talking about Antonio being something of an unknown and uh, you know that maybe the winner of the Ray Ed match might be a favorite, but John said he would. Uh, Great uh, Antonio is perhaps a favorite over either Ray or Ed. But uh, in any event, here we are at 9 6 to 15. The winner of this match, hey Rory, what time is the final tomorrow? What time is the final tomorrow? Okay, Roy's going to look at that so I can alert y'all to what time the uh, the final is tomorrow. Um, and somebody's just asking about that. Jim Young, uh, Roy's checking that for me right now. So uh, I'll pass it on to y'all. Now tonight, 8 p.m. Pacific, we have the Masters Jackpot Semifinals. Uh, Stefan Nunez versus Matt Congar and Armando Balbi from Brazil versus Jorgen Grandstedt, the three-time uh, world champion from Sweden. So that is at 8 p.m. Pacific tonight. Those will be two great matches. And then the winner of this match will be playing in the final against uh, Ed O'Loughlin, who just uh, completed uh, a win over Ray Fogerlin in the other semifinal. It's really, uh, and I, I forget exactly, Ed's 82, 83 year olds, years old at the moment. So, uh, you know, he's, he's still playing at, at quite a high level. And uh, I'm sure it's exciting for him to, uh, to have made the finals of this event. And uh, He, he seems to be, Tara has been in the streaming room. She's standing out here by us now. She said uh, Antonio has a, just a very focused presence over the board. And uh, <laughs> Okay, so we're at uh, Hey, Rory. 
Roar. Do you want? Okay, so now Chuck's got a fairly strong position and down by four, so he's uh, extended the cube to Antonio. I, I, it's a good cube. Um, I personally would hesitate to take this. Uh, you know, I've, I've built a four-point lead. This. Uh, Position has quite a bit of volatility into it. You could be, you could give away that four-point lead pretty quickly. So I might uh, give up the one and uh, play another game. I'm trying to figure out the logistics. We've got a Amici Stefan consolation match about to start, so we're. Trying to decide what is the best thing to do with regard to, uh, you know, this is a stream two match that we're also showing on stream one right now, so we can offer some commentary and and uh, hit the larger group of viewers. So I would almost prefer to let this match run its course and uh, then start the other, but that's. Uh, Rory's tournament, Rory's call in certain regards. <laughs> I, I would let it go. <laughs> Michi, Stefan, it's a late consolation round. Yeah, he, he let this go as uh, I thought he might and Frank Frigo sitting behind me, he, he had said it was, he thought it would be a difficult take as well. So 10-7 Antonio, 5 away, 8 away. And you can also see uh, course 15 point match they started with 30 minutes of bank time so antonio's down to 726 and chuck is at 1554 so chuck's got considerably more time neither one of them are well antonio being a lot less he's not really in a time crunch yet but he needs to be uh, aware of the clock and certainly if chuck <laughs> begins to mount a bit of a comeback and we uh you know, play uh, a number of additional games, then we may, uh, you know, he, he, he needs to be aware of that clock. I, I, I would rather leave this one up for right now. Yeah. I don't know if she can do that. You can ask her. I think she probably can. I, I wouldn't. I don't like to disturb a match at all. You, know, you just don't know how players react to that sort of thing, so I don't like to change anything. You can ask her if, if they can play on one and she's streaming on two. She's got the switching capabilities, but. Okay, sorry to uh, be uh, 
He did win our Texas tournament uh, 20, 2015, I think. The first year we had the Jeffrey Parker. Whoa, in a dance. I'd, I think I'd play on here. Yeah, it's too uh, it's too volatile for the guy to take. Yeah, Ian, I agree with Ian Terry Cube for sure. Uh, well, I don't know. I think he's got a free roll at least, huh? What do you think, Frank? Yeah, he, he Yeah, it's 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 not uh it's not obvious one way. Well, the guy passed the previous one with a little bit of volatility and this one probably has more volatility. Yeah. What are we going to do? Can we post a link to stream uh, one and two in the comments? That'd be great. Hey, folks, this is Rory Pascar, the tournament director. Uh, we are currently streaming on both stream one and stream two. Um, and we're going to be start streaming another match. So we are going to move this stream only to stream two because it's currently on the stream two board. I know that's kind of technical. Actually, so we're going to continue streaming on stream two. Tara is actually... I thought we were continued on stream one. No, no. We're going to continue the stream on stream two because they're on the stream two board. Um, and then, so if you want to continue watching this match and you're watching it on stream number one, you want to click the link that's currently in the chat that Ace Point just posted. Oh, well, it's not a link. Oh, so it's youtube.com slash... APBG live. So we're not ending this stream at all. We're it's it's on stream one and stream two currently. If you're watching on stream one and you want to continue watching, you just want to switch over to stream two. Which once again the link is youtube.com slash APBG live, which is already running. There's two simultaneous streams. We're gonna stop streaming this match on this channel and continue streaming it on the other we will continue streaming but it's going to be a different match here yes it's the quarter final of the consolation 11 point match between michito kagayama and stepan nunians okay here we go and uh, sorry for some interruptions. We're... She can she can switch them either way. Now Scott Johnston, who I suspect put it into uh, XG, says that that prior cube was point oh four one too good. So not surprising it. We all thought it was relatively close. I didn't. I I halfway know what we're talking about, and I didn't understand what he said. 
but everybody we're all trying to work to right. present uh you know as many good matches for viewing as we can and sometimes you know with this kind of format um you know matches end at different times and other matches we're trying to get started as soon as we can so it's kind of a logistical uh challenge at times five two very nice nice roll from that position you know typically you don't have it set so five two makes the nine point the, but it, it worked out great here Now, this is an interesting position. Chuck uh, could get aggressive here, but he, he decides to roll on. Okay, so after... I thought he might have cued the prior uh, roll. Frank said no. He, then he rolled the 1-5, which was advantageous, and uh, sends the cube now and gets another drop. So he's gotten uh, three consecutive drops, uh, I think. So now it's 10-9. Uh, Okay, they didn't fix the scoreboard, did they not? Yeah, there we go. Chuck got it. So. Yeah, I think it was 2015. Chuck won the uh, Texas Championship. I think he beat Simborg in the final. That was the first year we had the Jeffrey Parker sponsorship, and Chuck got the first uh, of the very well recognized texas uh, championship boards and that was the year that the first year we had a uh, two inch checker board and uh, since then we've gone to one and three quarter inch checker boards to make the board ever slightly smaller slightly lighter so chuck's got the the one uh, monster jeffrey parker texas championship board now y'all still have an office where that board is somewhere or did Okay, he's, he, he's, he's, uh, it was at one time with, uh, I guess, Frank and Chuck were business partners in a garden. It was set up in an office uh, in an, where they officed, but now it's apparently at Chuck's house. Okay, so, you know, early on it was, uh, 9-2 Antonio, maybe even 9-1 Antonio. So Chuck has uh, kind of turned the tide, and now we're back to 10-9, almost an even an even match. So, uh, you know, it's interesting how various players might re react and respond to these sorts of things. I mean, uh, you know, there's the fact that Antonio had the huge lead and has lost it and does that rattle him somewhat? And certainly maybe uh, Chuck gets, uh, you know, has the momentum going his way. Maybe that builds his confidence. And uh, so we'll see. It's it, I always enjoy the uh, emotional and psychological aspects of the game as well. Okay, the... So that's it. Uh, Scott Johnson had ran that last one too, so he was slightly too good. Slightly too good two in a row. Uh, but so close, I, I mean, you can't fault. Uh, so fun. Yourself. Okay. Are we going to still be seeing this here? Okay. 
uh, in a. Uh, yeah. Oh, how are you? Okay. Tar's going to switch some uh, stuff around, so I'm going to quit talking for just a very few moments, and hopefully, you know, within a minute or two, we'll resume the commentary. So, um, just some streaming channel logistics here, so I'll be back shortly. This one is lips coming. You know how it comes? Oh, what is this? Uh, or you can. I want to go around. Uh, Stefan, or you can use. I don't know. I hate socks. I am enjoying this, but you know what? If we agree, uh -huh. sometimes dice doesn't come same time. Comes with delay. What is mm -hmm. this? It's going to be count? Uh, no. So let's get yeah, good cups then. Uh, so, okay. Yeah. <laughs>
Yep, good one. Bobby too.
Machen wir. Ja. Choice here. I don't know. <laughs> it's quite good choice, bro, but it's not really good one. So this is my option. Hmm. Wait, I will stack. We can go over. This is my option. And this is my other option. Okay. I have a lot of options.
Yep. Vacuum cleaner here. Yeah. <laughs> go. Enter first.
double take with you. I might help you in this shit. <laughs> I want to help you. No, you don't. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens. See what happens. Let's see what happens. It is. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, I'm going
Okay. I wanna dance. I mean, four is fourth. Yeah. Five is forced. Yep. So it'll be my three. Thank you. 
didn't want to show anyway. Double shot if I roll six four or six two good six four is a double shot. What else? Uh, okay, let's see what happens. Uh, would be would be miss. <laughs>
three five. Let's take a break. Sure.
Hello, yeah. Baggammon fans. Bill and Steve back in the saddle here. We got Michihito Kagayama, commonly known as Michi, playing Stefan Nunez. And uh, this is a consolation quarterfinal match. Okay. The winner will be in the final four. Yep. To play Brandon Macklin, the other semifinal will be uh, Patrick Gibson and Dana Davis. Nazarian. So, Brandon uh, Macklin, the winner of the uh, Sunny Florida this Sunny year. Florida. So, yeah. quite a okay. quite a match here. I don't know if anything I can uh, want you to drink. Oh, we got match the, up to what we just saw as far as excitement well, goes. <laughs> no, that is absolutely true. <laughs> no, here. Oh, do you know your starting position, sir? <laughs> do not have three on the nine point. <laughs> Steve and I uh, were just here, calling huh? that uh, Chuck Bauer, yep. Antonio Scombato semifinal, which Antonio won. What a match that was. Joker so, after joker after joker. Uh, <laughs> so, um, Tony Scombato from Italy, lives in New York City. We'll play Ed O'Loughlin at 11 a.m. tomorrow morning, Pacific time, for the... Oh, that's uh, a Las Vegas Open Championship. And immediately after that, we'll have the uh, Masters Jackpot final. There you go, lady. So here, Michi and Stepan, this is a battle of battle of titans. So, um, Michi got a 6-5 to play here. I think I come out and okay. just play to the eight, duplicating twos. I really don't see any re other reasonable play. Let's play that. <clears> hmm. <throat> Hit and escape. Duplicating fives and twos. I mean, if Stepan doesn't come in, or he comes in and doesn't anchor, then Michi might like, you might Michi might be thinking about QB, especially trying to get two points in the match. A little bit loosey goosey being outboarded, but he does have a race lead and some attacking chances. I don't think I agree with that at all. I mean, well, he's got uh, stepping into the teeth. A lot of, the of things for uh, Michi to. Shoot one, three, here, go four, after. One, a, four, six, is threes, and fives. This is a missed opportunity. I don't understand why he's not doubling here. He knew he could put two up. I would. Would do that over making the two point. I mean, Michi was ahead in the race and had stacking opportunities further away in the match. Maybe he thinks Stepan is just going to take deep, so he doesn't double now. You know, playing on the two, it just leaves so many opportunities for, uh, for Stepan to, to anchor up there. Yeah, I agree. Oh, that was an interesting move. He could be be thinking like, "Don't get hit, and then I have a cube." But a cube now. Yeah, I agree, Philippe. Yeah, it's, uh, like all of us uh, standing here thought hit two, and hit two is becomes the the choice. Yeah, if Stefan doesn't perform. And he performed in well, a, he'll in wait a sense. Now. He'll, he'll probably wait now. Yeah, I mean, you've got two loose blocks to clean up, and he only has two covers. Uh, Stepan's got a great uh, offensive structure. Hmm. To make the ace? No. Yeah, you've got to make the ace point, otherwise you're going to have to leave a double shot. Shout out to Chris Trencher. Uh, seems as though your chouette is well represented in the final, Chris. So uh, congrats to the... Hey, Chris, there. wish you were here. <laughs> hey, again, deuces and fives are duplicated. Pretty good tactical play. 
reversionary play. Step on off balance. And your other alternative is what? Take the three and then leave a double shot in the outfield? I think so. He's going to look at it, but I don't think he's going to do that. He can make the three-point safety a checker, yeah, but not the case. We hope everyone is uh, enjoying all of this uh, streaming we're being able to provide. We've had some great matches. A couple more tonight with the Masters Jackpot semifinals at 8 p.m. Pacific. Stefan Nunez, who's playing here now, will play Matt Congar. And Armando Balbi of Brazil will play, play Jorgen Randstad, three-time world champion from uh, Sweden in the other semifinals. So How many three-time world champions do we have? Uh, he's the only one. He's the only one in the modern era. Certainly yeah. Tim Holland. Yeah, no, that's true. Two. Tim Holland did win uh, three times, I think, three times in a row. Three out of four, I think. There was one year where they didn't have the championship and one year where I think right. Dallas Topping won. seen the history on her yeah so uh anyway some some great matches were uh in and out appreciate rory and the las vegas open for bringing us on to to provide the streaming uh streaming on the primary stream is on the galaxy channel uh but we appreciate their participation here and they provided one of their earth reports which you see a uh, being played on here for uh, for that stream. And I can attest to that board is a fantastic board to play on. Okay. I've heard that from, from several. I've not played on one, but Love it. Uh, several uh, Love the wooden board. have uh, mentioned that. And I'll uh, I'll share a little bias, but uh, I think... Uh, Par just does an absolutely amazing job in uh, the streaming production. Of she these certainly matches. does, and she never loses her cool. She's well composed, does a great job. Really appreciate her. Looks like a really nice play. A setup for a possible cue if uh, Stepan doesn't anchor. The, the funniest one, one more aside, and we'll stay with the match, but I was laughing on uh, Monday, I guess, we streamed our first matches, and Roberto uh, Litzenberger teasingly sent a message to, mm. to Rory, and he said, hey, man, these, these streams are so good, I've decided to cancel my trip and just stay home and watch. <laughs> a real couch potato. <laughs> uh, you don't that, even... that was... Uh, that was very, very nice of him. And of course, everyone likes to tease Roy, so. Too many shots, huh? Okay, nice play. Doesn't take too many chances. Doesn't need to take too many chances. 5 2. Wow, what a shot here. Making the 20 point. Canceling Michi's chance to cue. Uh, the moment. Yeah, it's going to be tough to come in against that. Absolutely. All right, got a safe play here. Ten to nine, eight to four. Eight to four. Yeah. That's why we play shoe out with you, Philippe. You don't find the safe place. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm just no, 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 wrong idea. Just slot and then bring a builder down. I don't care if you're hit here. It might even help your timing. But might you want to make help that your four timing. point. That's a dot. Not a nice roll. Uh, you can either bring two down or make the three point. Uh, double shot either double way. Double shot either way. I yeah. personally would just bring two down. I would bring two down. I mean, because... And then you pretty much, you, you're done with it, you know, Well, you're going to make a point you... on the next shake if he doesn't yeah. hit, and if he does hit, he's got to cover it. It's not that easy. Why you make the oh, oh with the... I don't think that. I mean, I think he made the right play. 
Stefan rolled a, one of the very unusual numbers to stay in the game. All right. Can't say necessarily making the three points wrong. At least if you're hit, you got a more, one more point. Yeah. Forward. Look at that. That's an Nichols. interesting number. So much for timing, huh? I think I'd come out to the 15 with two. And I might not have covered Yeah, and Michi's Mich just... got to do, you come out to the 15, he's got to do something with that blot on the eight. Yeah. And uh... Well, he probably should not make the deuce. He should play eight, uh, 13, eight, and then come out. Hmm. And then let Michi, like, deal with bringing his pieces in. <clears throat> That's the problem about not looking at the whole play, making part of the play, and getting stuck with it. No, it's... Oh, you want to keep the back. I, I think you keep the back. Absolutely, Bill. I think this is wrong on so many levels. I mean, he breaks the back anchor and leaves a shot. And uh, he earned that In, cube. Invites the cube. Yeah. I mean, Stepan's not chicken. He's going to take it. I just think he would give himself a little better chance. Wow, what a swing. Hit and cover. Only got a few return shots here. And then come in. If you could just so jump this... into the lead after uh, the situation here. <clears throat> wow. That's interesting. Oh, six. Wow. How many numbers is that? Two, five, three, five, 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 five numbers. I think I leave it where it is. I don't and know. then play six to three? Well, maybe six to three. I, I, mean, this I don't is, have a this real is three problem numbers. with it. I might have brought it all the way down. Oh, it is a hitter. Just it's a little such an easy, here, such an but... easy game, you know? Yeah, right? Like playing chess. Just move the checkers where you want. Oh, wow. Okay. Last away. Head loose. It's all or nothing. Or you could come out and just leave the uh, three shots. I'm, I'm coming out. If you 14. if you hit it loose, then you got three blots. You're, yeah, but you're, he's you're, also got four blots. He's got four blots himself. Yeah, but you're kind of gammonish if you I mean, get hit, though. It's absolutely gammonish, but the score's in favor of maybe taking the chance like that i get faced with these decisions and i go like oh that's too many blots i don't hit then i look at it later it's like oh, i should have hit it's, it's a super super volatile position here take it one more time Ooh, meet you gambit it was here. uh high risk Kyrie. uh I reward. Oh, can't do both. Can't hit and cover. But you got to cover. I would cover and play 4 3. Yeah. Pick up those blocks later. Got a five point board. Very strong. 5 1, 5 4, 5 5. Nothing. All right, one by one, he's going to pick those blocks up. Four and hit again. I don't come out one by two. He's got, <laughs> hey, hey, he's got some back aiming chances here, like yeah. 8% maybe, 5%, 5 to 8%. That last block, plus the two guys in the 20. Uh, yeah. Maybe just, uh, well, mm. I, I think I agree with this. Yeah. It's an absolute tragedy if you got hit with double fives. Yeah, again. Are you anxious or something, man? <laughs> Who does? The fine comes. You got to play the Masters tonight. We got right. uh, Brandon Macklin standing next to us here, who was the winner of the Sunny Florida ABT Championship event here a month or two ago, whenever it was. And he's awaiting uh, the winner of this match in the uh, Constellation semifinals. Oh, yeah. I think there's, that was a little bit of awkward uh, Baron there by Michi. So uh, some good play going on by uh, Brandon over the last couple of months here. Big roll. Big roll for Stefan.
Oh, we shook it one time too many. Might be a backgammon here. Uh, he's not going to get the backgammon. I just he? said might. <laughs> he's going to get the gammon. Oh, um, no. He's going to win the race, too. Gammon's all, so all but a certainty at, to take we're a 5-7-5. 7-5. Seven, seven, mean tree. Yeah, I was, uh, I mean, I, I didn't care for uh, uh, Stefan's play right before getting cubed, the double fives. Big, big swing in this match here. Okay, conceding a gammon is like a gentleman that he is. No, I'm I'm fine. Thank you. That's right. You're supposed to run with six four. Wow, good shot, Mr. Stefan. Well, you make the twenty two. You split to the twenty. No, I go to the twenty personally. Okay, that seems reasonable. You only getting hurt with double one and double three. You got a good chance to make the twenty point. How about you? You go to the twenty. I agree with that play. Don't it's not terrible, but not I terrible. think it's the wrong idea, especially yeah. when you have a better board. And, and then he makes shot. the, the I mean, forward but, anchors. I mean, Stefan is kind of punishing himself. But, uh, okay, just make it later. Make, no problem. Make the 20. 6-4, slotting the 3. So in these involatile positions here, uh, Stefan doesn't have to be in a super hurry to double. Uh, come down and slot the deuce. Yeah, I would come down and slot the deuce, and then uh, he still has to release the uh, 16 point point before he can think about cubing. But I would make a break for it, if given the opportunity. Jailbreak. I'd just do it now. Yeah. Otherwise, what's your play? Oh, making the bar? I don't think so. I, I mean, you're going to leave so. a shot. Why not break I, the outside I, I jailbreak. Come for it. There from you go, 16. Bill. Oh, punish again. Hitting. Making the five point. And? That, that seems reasonable. Double yeah. four is super joker for Stepan. Hit, hit, hit. And cover. Oh, but the wrong eight. Hit, 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 and cover. Actually, enter, hit, hit, and cover. And now, what's the cube? Still a wait. 14, 10. Bustles are even. All right. Okay. That could be a market loser. And just make the 10. Can't move that checker on the 12. So if he fans here, it's going to be a double and probably a drop because of the blood on the deuce. I don't like that play. 5-4. I think it's a cube. So, 50, 80, 8, 133 for white. One twenty two for black. So 11 pips, you have them outboarded, you have the back, yeah, advanced anchor to fall back on, and your opponent's got a blot on the deuce point, so they can't get back into the game that easily. And well, although he is your, leading. Uh, and you're four away. Ah, uh, yeah. Game I mean, and threat for the match, It too. goes both ways. I mean, you're four away, which is incentive to double for the match, but you're only six away. It's maybe incentive to wait. But, I mean, Pond's pretty brave, so it's not going to get... Double that when it's a take. I mean, she's got to be very sure it actually is a double. And he has an anti joker, double fours, like how double fours plays. He does double, Mr. Michito Kageyama. Kageyama. Excellent double. So what do you do, Bill? Pressure's on. Take her pass. I'm going to play for another day. I'm going to drop it. Can't say that I blame you. And if it weren't for that block on the two point, if that was block was on the six, much different situation. 
Even the seven point would even be better. I I want to I want to keep playing. I don't want to get gammon for the match. Yeah. And, and there's a lot of play in it, but a lot of risk too. Yeah, I mean, like I said, Michi's got only one really really bad number. It's double fours. Well, three. Well, threes plays fine. Far. Yeah. Ooh, pardon me. Look there. I think I'm on a team drop at this score. Mark Olson. We're up over 200. Good to see Mark back in the room again today. Hope, what, you're, we hope you're feeling well. Yeah, Mark. Speedy recovery. And um, <clears throat> 200 watching. We're often quite a bit more than that, but I think most of the Europeans have gone to bed today. Yeah, they, <laughs> they should be up. But uh, anyway... As Mark would always say, smash that like button. Smash it. Smash it. I like to see Stefan taking his time in this cube here. <laughs> I like Dimitri. Easy for you rich guys to take this. <laughs> yeah, Dimitri and I went to the same high school in Latvia. Is that right? <laughs> he was top of the class. I was like the dunce. He made me sit in the corner of the room with a dunce cap on, facing the wall. I need to be sure you're gonna uh, While Dimitri was playing simultaneous chess exhibitions, I was eating cheese sandwiches and Pringles donuts. or something. Else. Yeah. Uh -oh. All right. Hey. Okay. Gambling take. Did somebody put it in? Uh, I don't know. They haven't put it in yet. Anyway, jumping Most out. Most people. Uh, I think like Dimitri, Mark Olson, Brian oh, Rubello, Marty Storer all wanted to drop. And Bill Riles. Yeah. And Bill Riles. Yeah. We all wanted to drop. Yeah. It's that blot on the deuce. It's that one little poison pawn there. Is this? Ah, what you going to do now, sir? Uh, yeah, the three. Now that you came in. Now that the three is just. You can uh, hit, diversify his numbers like for the world. Now ones, twos, uh, fours. You got to just play that. <laughs> you you can't. Yeah, I mean, you could consolidate. You could survive an attack somehow. <laughs> With the two blights, he's going to attack you now. Don't you Absolutely. Think? You're uh, you got your pants down around your ankles here. These two blights on your board. Double eights would be interesting. Oh, two, two six. six. Got to come out. I think you just make three points. I mean, coming out is like. Well, you're asking for it, but the world. Megan, the three point, you're or two point. Oh, you're oh, he wants to put another blot in. I understand. And it's just it's too easy a road home, and also. XG Mobile. Somebody says uh, it was a two eighty eight pass. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, it's because of that bang blot on the deuce point. <laughs> I'm going to switch here. Three. Two three to one. Give him a single blot. Oh, oh, Michi Genius. There you go. Now you get the extra cover. Now he gets the cover. I love it. Extra cover, yeah. Those it. are hard plays. You have to... They're hard plays for people to learn to see. But... Uh, He's looking at my play. I've got fewer covers this way, but a little better structure. And he's duplicating his own threes. Threes to hit, threes to cover. So maybe his initial instinct is correct. It's an age-old question, structure versus uh, functionality. <laughs> Different perspective. One guy said it was, it was a great take for the spectators. <laughs> uh, a want, want to see how the game, uh, want to see how that game played out. Yeah. Huh? You probably went to the... I, I, I like this, uh, I like this play where he has the extra... Yeah, play. I didn't see it, but it, it could easily be a, the best play. Big roll for Stefan. He does not come in and hit here. He might be losing the match. And out of the tournament. We got uh, Brandon loosening up behind us here, I think. <laughs> he's rest. He's just resting. <laughs> I'm relaxed. I'll play anybody. Go ahead. doesn't matter this person's name. you got to beat him to win. 100%. There you go. Yeah, I really had fun in this tournament here. I, I only got to play... Michi in two out of the five matches that I is that, that right? Forty percent of my matches were against. Oh, was, I'm sorry, not Michi. Mochi. 
It was only forty percent of the matches were against the number one player in the world. It was odd in all of the events. The the Super Jack five K, whatever it was, the uh, Masters Jackpot, the the main. It seemed like a lot of great players were getting paired early on. Well, you know? I mean, but in the in the five K jackpot, it mostly were like superstars. Yeah, but still. Anyway, I was lucky to go one and one against Mochi. Gentlemen, though, we got to win over the match. Discussed our interesting takes on positions. What's going on here? I don't think he's thinking about a Riku. I mean, I understand he's killing Michi's Gammons, but he's outboarded. And he, oh, look at this. He is redoubling here. All right, I don't think I think it's a mistake. I don't okay. think it's like a massive mistake, but uh, 028 to play on. Trencher says it's hard. It's hard. Oh, huge, huge roll of the match right here. Come on. Oh, this is this is a match. Absolutely. Comes in with a joker. He's winning the match. Probably Gammon double four. Yeah, and if he misses, he loses the match. Yeah. Might have been getting Gammon anyway. I don't think I would have Oh, yeah, yeah. It's curtains. I mean, Fogelin did the same thing in the last match. Exactly. It was right to redouble. It was right. But I think that was a more. We want uh, Brandon start wow. start stretching, son. Oh, <laughs> Michi to Kageyama. Okay. He's very composed. Never seen me. Brandon. Michi Brandon get upset. needs to loosen up the shaking arm. He's up soon. Yeah, I'm bringing it in. So are you and Michi gonna play quickly? Uh -oh. Yeah. So we may have Brandon and. Uh, he plays the winner of this. Yeah. yeah. Nice play. That's totally up to y'all. We work around the players. <clears throat> okay. All right, Bill. Hitting for sure. Are you going to lift or just leave it there? No. Just leave it there. Oh, yeah. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? I mean... Well, the worst is little twos, but I mean a single deuce is not a travesty. Yeah, and if you get hit, you get chances at another <laughs> blot over here. So. All right, massive super joker double twos is all that can save Stefan from elimination. Like Squid Game, you are eliminated. <laughs> that was a pretty violent. There show. it is, covered up, curtains. <clears throat> wow, it's. Uh... I, I notice uh, this right. rather large woman. Uh, Exercising her vocal cords over here on the side. All oh, right, proverbial fat lady. <laughs> I said it, so you didn't have to. Tara's and Tara, at both of us. I'll take Y'all shouldn't talk like that. I'll take it. <laughs> she has a very talented opera singer. Got to give her that. <clears throat> Six five is the only number. He did not roll it. Six Too three. Safety it up. It's. Uh, that's it's the last curtains. thing you wanted to see. Curtains. Uh oh. Okay. Dance one more time. Uh, 5%. Oh, that's Forget it. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you for playing. Okay. Good nice match. match. Well, we'll see. Let Michi and uh, Brandon talk. See when they're going to play. If they're going to play now, fine. We'll stream it. If not, we're uh, we're out of we're out of business too late. Okay. My pleasure. Thank you, Tara. Thanks for everybody watching. Hit that like button. Mash it. Okay. And uh, Michi and Brandon are going to discuss when they're going to play here. Brandon would rather play later. Had Stefan won, Brandon was going to have to play Stefan uh, immediately because <laughs> Stefan's playing in the limited jackpot or the uh, master's jackpot. Final at 8 p.m. Uh, Michi got a little bit more flexible schedule, perhaps. Again at uh, at 8 p.m. tonight, Pacific Masters Jackpot semifinals: Stefan Nunez versus Matt Congar, Armando Balbi of Brazil versus three-time world champion from Sweden, Jorgen Green.
So his name is uh, Brandon. Brandon. Macklin. M A C K L I N. Could you say it again? <laughs> I know. I looked. Oh, you said it was winter between Gibson and Dana as well. Gibson and Dana is the other semifinal. Oh, they're in the semis? Yeah. Dana beat O'Hagan. Oh, was it the quarterfinals? I thought. No, this Dana and Patrick is the same match as this. Oh. Wow. Okay, so we're on, Stevie. Sir uh, Riles. Bill Riles, Steve Sachs here. Yeah. Fixing to start a championship consolation semifinal. Michi Kagayama against Brandon. Okay. Want to. Uh... Anyway, they. Uh, this should be an interesting match. I mean, everyone knows Michi Kagayama. Um, Maybe a lot of people don't know Brandon, but Brandon's a good player from Baltimore. He won the Sunny Florida uh, tournament tier six, eight weeks ago, whenever it was. And here he is in the Constellation semifinal. So uh, I think this is a great opportunity for some exposure for Brandon, people to see him play, know who he is, and uh, he deserves it. Nice guy. Really nice guy. She's super nice also. So, uh, this should be fun. You know, and I don't think, uh, you know, you could imagine that some players not as well known, this, that, and the other, might be really intimidated playing Michi, but I, I don't get the feel that Brandon will be affected in that sense. He's, no, I don't either. He seems to be pretty calm, laid back, unemotional in playing. So this should be fun. Yeah, if I ever get stressed out during a match and think like, oh, this is too much pressure, I just relax and think to myself, okay, every move is a question in the mochi quiz. Don't think about what you're playing for. Okay, this is a question in the mochi quiz. Yeah. Do the best you can yeah. and move on to the next one. And I'm ready to Let's roll the dice. <laughs> okay. Natar has told them they can go ahead. 4-3. Meet you's ahead after one roll. <laughs> Boxes. All that bar hopping. Boxes. Here we go. So, uh, three. Good, good counter. And would you? I don't know. Lift. I guess Michi likes the lift. Let's just slot uh, Some some nice rolls from both Hello. early on. Here we go. Two shakes into the game. Brandon, well, he gets a bunch of pips. I was going to say if Michi doesn't get a bunch of pips, Brandon might. Uh, oh, it's got the race. Is, but now. Uh, One twenty-two for Michi. Yes. Twenty-one twenty-seven. So. Yes. That's after Michi's roll, huh? So. Yeah. He's so he's five. up ahead five. So Let's does he go. just just run, huh? I believe I would. All the way to the eleven. <laughs> so, uh, welcome everybody. This uh, Las Vegas Open live semifinal championship consolation. Brandon Macklin, Michi Kagayama, they. Uh, the winner of this match will play the winner of Patrick Gibson and Dana Nazarian, and that's being played uh, in the other room. I ten minutes or so ago, I looked at it; it was one-one. So early in that match, so Patrick, who's been around forever, and he's won a lot, and he's won a lot. He won the Michigan tournament. He won the Las Vegas tournament. He's uh, and then and Dana Nazarian from uh, the Bay Area, just a superb player. That was a really and, interesting move by Michi. He was ahead five, but yet he chose to maintain contact. Usually, if you're a 
hit four, it's like break even. So yeah. one extra pip. You would think you would have made a break for it, but and then uh, what? Brandon got three, so yeah, it so kind of closed the gap. So it's pretty pretty even right now. Seven? I don't know. Who's up seven? Brandon? Believe, yeah. After those threes. 119. Wait a minute. I think I got that wrong. 23. You know, this is good. And for whatever, there were some, uh, I guess, some technical problems in uh, in Florida for uh, Brandon's uh championship match there ended up not they weren't able to stream it oh man. so that was he was disappointed by that i've talked oh, to him a little uh, bit hello and uh so i think he's really excited about playing on a stream here yeah. he's playing a player you know a renowned player like michi um so this is great for for brandon i'm i'm happy for him great for backhammer Okay, so obviously Brandon's going to be able to double here. What's the race count? There it is, right on cue. Oh, what, how many has he got on this six? Yeah, that's question. Eight, seven. Yeah, he's got eight checkers. Okay. Twenty-two, forty-two, six, ninety, ninety-nine, fifty-two, sixty-seven. 48 115 pass yeah i do a whole pass okay. how much different was it 16 16 yeah. different okay yeah. so uh brandon gets that early lead which is probably i mean it's it's not that significant in the grand scheme of things an 11 point match but um you know being the big the big underdog and the new kid on the block it's probably nice yeah. to get on the board early you know Hey, the same stuff. Right. I played Victor Ashkenazi online finals, 15 point oh, match. I never got that first point. <laughs> right. <laughs> and <laughs> he's a great player. <laughs> but you know, it's like, you know, if Brandon were to get down early, four nothing, five nothing, six nothing, something like that, then, you know, maybe he starts doubting himself or, or whatever, you know. But here, yeah. he gets on the board early. That's great. I think it'll maybe, uh, Relaxing, help his confidence, whatever. All right. Oh. A nice game. Uh, Michi's got a good board developing. Uh, Brandon's got the advanced anchor. So, uh, looks like we're set in for a little while here. Okay, reasonable shake. I enter, come to the 20, and make the two point. Mm -hmm. Some people might, might not want to come under the gun against uh, two blots, but uh, for the most part, uh, Brandon can only point on one of those checkers. Well, Michi coined the phrase double tiger. Is Brandon going to use it against him? <laughs> it's definitely hitting eight to four. The question is whether it's on the five point. This is. This is reasonable because it establishes structure, and it hits a checker. So a little, little blockage, a little bit of uh, back, and a dance. I don't think but it's uh, quite how, a double. How yet. aggressive does he get? Sixty. You know, you got to figure. You know, thirty. The less experienced player, kind of an underdog, perhaps. Uh, sometimes they want to seize uh, seize opportunities early and mm -hmm. and take it's advantage a one against a. You know, a, a very renowned and experienced player such as, as Michi. So it's a one-point pip differential. And Brandon's got all those numbers working for him. Twos, fours, sixes, cover, one streets, and fives to hit. I don't think this is bad at all, necessarily. Uh, um, I still think it's a little early. But, you know. He's got Mi the he's got the anchor. Michi's going to take. I mean, this is got good structure. Brandon's got two checkers back. Uh, he is no doubt going to take his time. And then take the cube. And he does. There Both of go. those things. Like the play on words. Take his time. <laughs> <laughs> a little hesitation there. there nice, for nice little, yeah, so nice little roll. Go. Two checkers on the bar. 
Ooh. Ooh, now we now we're talking. Yeah, good chance for a win, even some kind of chance for Six a gamma. Two, nice. Okay, nice shake. Make the eight, huh? Yeah, it's pretty good. I just and I'm not at all familiar with Brandon's game. I've known him over the years. I don't know that we've ever played, but he seems to just in a short time here. It seems like he plays rather quickly, and yeah. he also plays confidently. You know, which yeah. is important. He's got to, you know, any player they got to believe in themselves and what they're doing, and uh, and he seems to play with confidence. A shot for Michi making the counter prime. Brandon's giving up the cube. He needs some help. He does get a six. That's a really nice roll. Does have a checker in jeopardy. Being attacked, but he will bring it down to the 10 point, duplicating 5 3, keeping his checkers in play. Okay, so. Uh... We're at a Starbucks here. Crowd milling about in their lattes. <laughs> Interesting that uh... keep in the prime. Okay. Okay. That's okay. All right. Now, me, uh, Brandon kill his sixes by playing to the eight point. Doesn't want to play sixes and then play four to three. We'll come to that conclusion in a moment. Does. Oh, okay. Michi's in decent shape owning the cube here. That's a pretty poor shot. That's a pretty poor shot. What's he? Just clear the nine. The nine huh? Yeah. Keep your builders intact. You gotta leave a shot somewhere. You're not breaking the six point. I don't know. I I don't like that so much. No, I don't either. I clear the nine and. I mean, if you get hit, you still gotta escape. <laughs> now you give me a chance to hit and escape. <laughs> All right, bye, fraternity boys. Well, that was uh, his name's escaping me. It's Stefan's son. Let's Vadim. 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 Yeah. Okay, Michi's really uh, not confident or certain about what he wants to do with his four three, but I think that's the play. Yeah, he's just being thorough about it. Looks like he made the right call. Okay. There's the uh, Great shot by close Brandon. to an escape, but he picks up the checker, positions himself to escape. Yeah, also and, his numbers play well from here. Level fives would be only like anti joker. Ugh. I think I'm just gonna play six to five to one. Yeah, you you can't. Um... I mean, if he if he doesn't hit and Brandon rolls double fours, he's gonna have to break his board and leave a shot. Yeah. Uh, Double fives is a, so it's got to be one of oh. This, I think it's definitely an overplay. I don't. I don't like that move. Yeah. You want Brandon to move. Look what a swing that was on double fives. Yeah. I'm like sixty percent calling these jokers and anti jokers today. Come okay. On out. You got to go. You might want to cover yeah, with yeah. the five, but you got to go. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. He, he you has to have hope a, to get missed here. You'll be in you'll be your favorite. Has to have a lot of fives. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. All right. I mean, hey. I, it's, it's reasonable, but still, there's a lot of fives to, a lot of fives to, to get these checkers out. I would have done, I just would have ran. Yeah. You have the anchor. You're not necessarily even getting gamut if you get hit. I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I'd have played it inside. Mm -hmm. Four two. I don't know. I just go to the ace, but he's gonna hit. He wouldn't hit before. Yeah. I don't get it. 
I guess he's figuring that his fives come out, his sixes are killed, it's for some of his force play. Yeah, Unless Ryan was... Rabello says not running with that 6.5 was a 2.30 blunder well, on yeah, XG Mobile. That's what we said. That's what we said. You just had to go. I mean, XG Mobile is often wrong, but not that wrong. Yeah. Dance. Three, two. Means you got to have a five in the worst way. Two, one. All right, that's interesting. <laughs> I don't think I want to leave two blocks. I mean, this is a pretty play, but I don't want to leave the extra block. I was thinking about it. I might not even leave a block. Well, there you are. You can play four to one. Yeah. I mean, your fours and threes don't play that well, but not necessarily a disaster. Right. Brendan's saying, okay, I'm willing to be patient and not come in if you're willing to be patient and bust. <laughs> it seems to be an agreement here. Okay. Now this is this is a, a really yeah, crucial roll one here. Is terrible. Two one barely plays. That's a good play. Now six two doesn't leave a blot. Brandon again staying out. Brandon, he's favored to come in, but it's like four in a row. Oh look at this. There's a five. Barely okay. play. Okay. Okay, here we go. Nice shot. There we go. Hit it. That's interesting because you but, might want to come to the 20 to confront that blot on the 18 a little bit more. Yeah, and, and it's like you're going to have to move anyway, so that was an interesting move. Really good shot for uh, Michi. Probably not going to win, but he's not going to get gammoned as often. In and out. Got to give him the six shot. Okay. Well, your shots here in this yeah. situation. Two one. That's you know, it's kind hit. of ironic, but I think he made the right play anyway. And I think Brandon's got a very reasonable chance to win if PC busts another point in this board. I mean, a gammon. A gammon, yeah. If he can get all his pieces in without Michi getting a piece into the outfield, well, it's too late yeah, for that. Too late for Probably that. not going to be a gammon, but very reasonable, excellent chance for Gam uh, Brandon to win uh, the game. Standard. Most of the time, it's just a straight win for White. All right. Hey, sis. Oh, Take two off and play six four. Yeah, I would do that. Huh? I would. Yeah. Can't really be cute and save your builders because you're compressing them all to the three point. You might as well just take two off. Yeah. Okay. So uh, and I'm gonna hit hit the road meet here. You gotta go. It's a curious deuce here. If you bring it in, it's efficient, but then you give your opponent a little more confidence to play aggressively because you have a blot in your board. There you go. Yeah, that's fine. Fine shot. Gammon's back in play. Okay, rub them off. Clearage. Yeah. Brian Rebello, Steve, how'd you do an attorney? <laughs> How did I do an attorney? Ask him not to remind you, huh? No, no, that's okay. I played poker and won twenty dollars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was that was really like not likely to happen. Mostly lose. Okay, I mostly so, win it back in and I didn't. I mostly lose a poker and I did. So, there's so the flip flop. Single game win for two points.
Yep. Yeah, play to the ace gives yourself a pick three off with double aces now. Doesn't matter too much. Doesn't really matter, but but just be, But it's good discipline to sure. You know, it might matter sometimes. Might matter sometime. The most curious thing is, is when playing an opponent, they've got two on the three and one on the deuce. They have an ace to play. It seems like half the time they play two to one, mm -hmm. and they deny themselves the double two win. Right. Because ace deuce twice loses. And again, it, like we said, yeah, you know, it more often than not, it's meaningless in yeah. that situation. But you develop good habits and uh, discipline. You don't make the mistake when they uh, when it does matter. Dennis, I was playing in a chouette recently where we got to a position where a uh, player had a checker on the 6, 5, 4, and 3 on roll against 5 on the ace point. We didn't know what to do, and it was like uh, somebody redoubled, and then they took. And then, like, six games later, there was a guy on roll with players on the checkers on the 6, 5, 4, and 3 against 3 on the... Three, one on the deuce, one on the ace. We're close. I mean, for such an unusual position, but and so we knew what to do. If we'd already looked at it. All right, this time meet you with the quick double sixes here. Consolation match, Alex. This this is a a champion in this tournament you, it's just a straight uh, knockout bracket more or less so but once you lose one match you uh, you go into the consolation and continue playing forward and it's a progressive consolation so the further you go in the main bracket before you lose the further advanced you enter the consolation bracket yeah it didn't used to be that way i really think it's a very a very fair system yeah and then uh, you know if you lose a second time then they you play in what's called the last chance and here in Las Vegas and in many tournaments, it's a fresh start, last chance. Everybody starts from the same position, regardless of how far you might've advanced in the consolation. Yeah. Bob glass calls it the no chance. Yeah. Now one thing we do, and, and I sometimes wonder why I do it, but in San Antonio, uh, Texas backgammon championships, we actually do progressive consolation, progressive last chance, Bravo. which is, uh, which is great. The it's just a lot of work, yeah. though. There. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> All right, I like Brandon's uh, play with the double deuces, staying back and making the interior point. And you got a great shot, uh, making a point and uh, exiting. However, Brandon also moves forward. Nice shake. I mean, she's looking at the position. I mean, yeah, you're in reasonable shape. But well, you're it's six not five. double elimination, Alex. It's. Uh... I mean, you can only win the tournament with uh, last person undefeated. Um, so the championship bracket is strictly an undefeated bracket. Uh, then the consolation plays out to to a winner, and multiple pl places are paid both in the uh, undefeated bracket and the consolation bracket. And then everyone who wow. doesn't cash in either of those. Speaking uh, of cashing, Michi just rolled uh, double aces and made a six prime. I saw that. So, uh, so that was interesting. I guess now he, he just plays on for the G. Not necessarily. You're blocked on six points. Also, it depends on what Brandon comes in with. He's just taking a picture or a call or something. Yeah. Yeah, but they're not all disasters. I mean, double six closes the board and then you just double. Double threes, you know, and even something like four one, five one. I mean, it seems like a pretty safe play on here. Even double fives, it makes the point. Six five. Yeah, I mean the the bad numbers aren't all that bad. So I take a shake. I mean, it's and the more you're down in the mesh, the more you can generally afford to take a shake, take some risks. Not always, but. Again, I'll I'll have to check the specific times, but this is to uh, for the consolation final tomorrow. I'll have to see what time that match is scheduled. The championship final, one p.m. Ed O'Laughlin and uh, what was his name? Antonio Scott Mudo. S I can't forget. 
Scombato. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, All right, double three. Let's play. 11 a.m. immediately followed by the Masters final. Um, I still play. Okay, so he still. 6 just, 5 just is not as good this time. Playing on. Double fives uh -oh. is not as good this uh -oh. time. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon comes in. It's a no cube. If Brandon stays out, it's interesting choice. I would say double. Might be a double take. Uh, I gotta think it's a take, huh? Yeah. I mean, it's not necessarily. Honestly, you're so you're so far down the race. You're outboarded. A little bit of gammon threat, and there's not that many anti jokers for. Uh, well, but what if he rolls? I mean, fives don't play anymore. Numbers. Fives threes, don't play anymore. Double three. Yeah. Double three isn't all that terrible. It's it's not. Yeah, nice, nice play by Michi. He's going to fade the fly shots in order to keep his pieces connected. Boxes would be a massive joker here. Oh, Hello, ladies oh. and gentlemen. Steve has been calling that stuff. I know. All like, I'm, up, I'm up to 63%. <laughs> this is. Uh, so, now uh, Brandon can think about playing on play here. Uh, yeah. Well, you're going to make the bar and then. Make the bar. And uh, I think I just come out with the last one. It's duplicating ones, twos, and three, twos and threes. Yeah, I say duplication. And, and, and it's only playing with one block too. Yeah, exactly. I I agree with you. Come out. Nice play, Brandon. Yeah. Okay. One six. So he and you, you has can still a play. You can still play. Here. chance to pick up a second uh, second checker. It's a safe play on for at least a roll. There's a second right. checker. Hits and comes to the six point. Get that extra attacker in there. So now, man, what a swing. It's a free roll. He's on a free roll. Free here. roll for a G. What do you roll? Four what? Oh, we all six, want to know. Four six. Bill, you got x ray vision? I thought it was a six. I have no idea. Six, yeah. Four. I think it's a six four. <laughs> I told you. I Thirty should believe seconds you. ago, I should believe you four. every time. I should absolutely believe you every time. If Michi's board was a little worse, you could consider hitting loose there. I don't think that I would. Okay. Michi having a five-point board. What do we got? Three, six, six three. Make, make the it. ace. Thank you very much. Still got four builders to make the eight. The deuce so that Michi's going to flatten that checker up. I knew it. <laughs> Played with him many times. Wow! So, <laughs> so it's a simple cube. It's a simple cube out. And it says no harm, no foul. Oh, he owns. Oh, well. Dimitri got in a, a funny one here. I'm sure. What do you say? I don't know. We should have thought of this, Steve. We should feel embarrassed. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't say it with the you didn't say it with the act with the Latvian accent that I like to hear. <laughs> That's funny. Wait, I, I mean we didn't. I we just redoubled now. I just re yeah, I would redouble before. I, oh no no, well, no, no you don't. I'm not sure what the motivation is. I mean here. he he's got racing equity now. That was interesting sequence. He just got it. Have more up. He's still sixty for white. Twenty-five, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-two. Man, he he's he's a clear favorite. Crossover is to his advantage. Probably gonna fill the gap in in the next roll or two. But he or maybe much. he was playing on. He might have been playing on that whole time because if he's looking at this, but wasn't doubling before. I think he was trying to uh, gammon. Yeah, that's even, what I'm saying. Well, even, definitely. Even the previous roll. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I I don't think it was right, but that's probably what he's doing. Well, particularly once he cleared the ran with the one, with one of them. Yeah. I think his gamma chances were nil. And they weren't like nil, but it was just, it's appropriate to cube. Approaching nil. He rolled a six two. Okay, you got to um, do that. Yeah, but now he he let Michi roll. If Michi rolls a big set, everybody's in agreement. Um, that's that's what I was. Thought. You have an extra checker anyway, so I think the question is probably was correct. I agree, Dennis. I bring a piece in. 
Because the three gap is naturally replaced by checkers on the six. Yeah. All right, so okay. they're rolling so fast, I can't think about what the recube situation. One, two, three, four, one, five. Nine, twelve. He's a checker up. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. In 20, 30, 40, 10, 20, 32. He's up eight pips. Ten. I don't think uh, 14, Mickey would be too excited seven about pips. taking a four cube from, you know, from a player who's probably, he's got to consider himself a big favorite over. One, two, two, three, four. I'm not sure so. if Michi wants to. I don't know that. I don't think so, but he might take a cube from the middle, but I don't. I don't think he takes a re cube. He might take a middle cube. We'll find out in a moment. No. I think he's going to think at least a minute on this one. Yeah. There's so much. Uh, I don't think it's so much. <laughs> I think it's past. <laughs> That's six rolls for worse. I think yeah, I think I think you should pass this one. Brandon's Lux Hockey was most likely off in five rolls. And then Michi misses one time. He's not off. From Baltimore. I'm sorry? He's off in six. From Baltimore. Yes, Brandon's from Baltimore. He's been around a long time, off and on. Yes. <laughs> well, you were right about how much time uh, Michi was going to spend It's an important this. decision. It's a huge decision. <laughs> And Michi's a, a, you know, he uses his time very discriminately. And, um, you lay those candies in front of me and then exp so I can't eat them while I'm talking on the. <laughs> I don't want a Milky Way. I want them three musketeers. Oh, they're all Milky Ways. Uh, you can have you can have them all. <laughs> Michi did drop. He did drop his. Uh, so yeah, Brandon looks thoughts. like he missed a, a couple of cubes there. Steve Reichel said Mobile XG was said it was a huge pass. Everybody thought it was pass. Do these people who are at home have to use Mobile XG. You don't have your laptops. You put it in a regular XG. Yeah, I don't know. Come on, do some work for us, people. Yeah, work for us, people. Somebody. Get your computer cranked up. Okay, Brandon with a 5-0 lead and the opening shake. Everything's uh, going Brandon's way early, and, and he's taking advantage of those opportunities. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Michi not coming out with that 6-5. Was that in the last game? Yeah, that was, that was a that big was deal. Big. That was big. 5-1, make the 5 point. Six two. Steve wow. Rackle says, off escape. my back, Sax. Hey, buddy. How you doing? <laughs> Oop. Enters, hits, and makes the four point. Hits and make the make twenty that isn't so bad. Four. It's possible to make the twenty, but could step up to the twenty. Yeah. I, I like the four. This is you know a lot of pressure. I mean, if Brandon comes in awkwardly, well, or I think he's got to come to twenty. It's not so bad, okay. Mike. Okay. Okay. It's not so bad. I'd, I'd do the other one, but, you know. Oh, no swing there. Thank you very much. One, and then make the point. Yeah. I mean, it's seems like natural. It's absolute natural. You don't want Mochi, or Michi, I'm sorry. You don't want Michi attacking you on the other side. So 
No, 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 no. Brandon, I think I make the four point here. This is two gentlemen back to back. We're not making the four point when it's advised. Oh, maybe Brandon okay. will. Brandon will. Okay. okay. So, and this is why he's leading five nothing. Huh? No, I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, okay. One four. Okay. Now I'm gonna hit. Oh, I don't know. I hit an inside. I don't. Hit, I did not hit on the outside. Where, where to hit them? Hit on the four. Uh, hit on the four. Hit on the four. Yeah, I mean, you got the anchor. Can't give up the You have anchor. a worse board. No, 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 no. And you're no. diversifying your opponent's numbers here. Ones and fours and fives. When you're outboarded. And Michi met read my book. Don't break the anchor. Somebody in says, uh, look, watching uh, Brandon play, it looks like he can hear us. <laughs> Thinks about different things and then makes the move we're talking about. Well, but, and we're uh, geniuses we can... and he must be a genius too. Yeah. I'm not sure. Probably come out. I would come out too. Yeah, because it's not Maybe that. It's, I mean, yeah, it's just two strip points he's not happy to hit with. You don't want to hit on the outside. No, I don't like this good. now. Uh, I come out for sure. Okay, 6 3. I don't think Brandon's doubling here. And he very quickly agrees. Oh boy. Hit an escape and then either play to the ten six, or the three. Six three. Huh? Oh was yeah. Yeah. I don't mind this too much. I think playing to the ten uh, is probably a little better. No. Now I, I think want, I double here. I double here. The one point now. It's not too good. I just double right now. Really? Not too good. No, play, absolutely not. The the, your opponent and, has the no, five point the made and the twenty point anchor. No, point. no, I don't do that. I play to the four and the Whatever no, that is, 15. Hitting, no hitting. No, it's massive to hit. And I'm still on a double as Brandon. Maybe he knows something I don't. Wow. Okay, make the ace. No, you got the Yeah, ooh, make the deuce point. Make the deuce. And then... That's uh, right, it's blocked, Dennis. You're right. Two ooh. down. Come down to... No, come to the, two down. To the bar. I, I bar. think this no. is... Oh, yeah. This bar. is fine. I mean, he's got a direct yeah. cover with three checkers on the bar. Right. You can bring the checkers down later. Now it's got a massive play on here, and look at this shake. Three down, one in. Huh? Well, you could also bring two down and make the ace twice, but... Not a bad uh, to make the ace at I mean, it's pretty safe to just kind of Getting bring out it out of that corner. Bring it home. Hmm? I think you should... I mean, it. maybe, I mean, you don't want him to hit it hit with an ace, and then you're very unlikely to make that point. He makes the anchor. And the cube, you still have the okay, cube. He's got one just, more to play. Two more. Two more. I'll go to the three. I mean, you could be right. I would just switch. It's not going to work out really well if you don't get hit. Does not get hit. It's going to be perfect. This is this is going to be ugly. Okay. Covering and making the bar. I don't think so. No, that's correct. No, it's uh, not correct. You want an extra landing spot. No, you just check it on the boss. It doesn't matter. You want to bring no, your piece? It's, it's going to... You disagree with me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in shock. Steve's, Steve's not used to this kind of treatment. It's, you know? it's okay. Okay, six, four. And bring eight to four, eight so to your four. double threes four. plays all right. Yeah. What is okay, Brandon's... Pretty solid favor to win a gammon here. All chance at a backgammon. Okay, three and two. Excellent. Don't give yourself a bad double threes. Let's right. try to bring it in. There you go. Oh. Probably just, just bring the one bring in. Bring it in and take one off. Huh? Yep. Rip it. Go for the gammon, backgammon. Not likely. Clearage. Clear it. <clears throat> You're going to gamble him anyway. You don't have to worry about it. Okay. Paid. You got paid bent of dividends there for making that correct play. You might want to take, oh, uh, you only one on the bar. I mean, you could take a checker off the 
We're going to play three to two. Yeah. This is like 16 times four. 64 out of 1296, you leave a shot. What is that? Nope. It's like a, about 5%, exactly. Oh, almost came true. Isn't this supposed to happen all the time when we do that? Yeah, of course. Look oh. out, look out. Every time I say it's possible backgammon, nobody agrees with me. Oh, yeah. One? Nobody agrees oh, with me. Gracious. That, wow. that one would have played if a single one would have been a bitch. Five three. So he, does he does he have a shake at the he BG? He did it to me a couple of nights ago. No. Escapes. Now it's seven. Seven zero. Now this this is uh, Michi uh Michi's seen enough of this. <laughs> is he taking a break? He's taking a break. Yeah. I always wonder about when players are gonna take a break. And uh, both Michi and Mochi are the type. When they take a break, they take a break. Oh, I noticed that. Like yeah. 10, 15 minutes, probably. So we, uh, you might just be uh, stuck with the, the musings of yeah. Bill and Steve okay. and others okay. here. You, hey, <laughs> hey, man. Special. <laughs> <laughs> They're taking a break. Okay, and, I am too. And normally, I mean, Michi normally takes a pretty long break, so we'll see. But uh, kind of a, in certain regards, perhaps a surprising match here, but... Uh, you know, give give Brandon a lot of credit. He's he's gotten some roles. He's gotten uh, you know things are going his way, but he's taking advantage of every opportunity. And uh, you know, he's built a seven zero lead against the uh, number two ranked giant in the world. So uh, this is great. And uh, of course, Michi is a grinder, and uh, he'll play to the last second and the last ounce of equity so uh match is far from over but uh no nah, i'm fine babe. but you want to talk for a while is off yeah okay great and uh go in there to see up at the front table what dana nazarian and patrick are doing I was going to go check on the Dana Nazari and Patrick Gibson match, which is the other Constellation semifinal. So the winner of this match will play the winner of the Dana Nazari and Patrick Gibson match, which is ongoing. Again, we'll uh, remind you that 8 p.m. Pacific tonight, we have the two Masters jackpot semifinals. Let me get my cheat sheet here. One is Stefan Nunez versus Matt Congar. That'll be a super match. Uh, nice to see Matt out, out and playing again. And Stefan's had a, a nice run through the through the week here. And then the other semifinal, it, it's kind of interesting. We have an American semifinal and an international semifinal. So we have Stefan and MCG. And then on the other side, we have Armando Balbi from Brazil against Jorgen Grandstedt, three-time world champion from Sweden. So a couple of great matches. Okay, and the other semifinal here in the championship constellation, Dana Nazarian leads Patrick Gibson 7-3. So, uh, you know, a, a nice consolation final shaping up the two winners, this match and Dana and Patrick's match. And uh, we'll see what happens. At 7-0, Michi has 14.6% uh, match, e match equity at this score. So... Uh, it's interesting, you know, now, obviously, at this score, Michi's going to play his game, but he, he's got to be a little bit more aggressive and assertive than he would be at an even score or with the lead in, 
and Brandon, you know, he can't, you know, he, he can't uh, pull in all the horns or whatever. He, he's got to keep playing. But, uh, you know, with the 7-0 lead, he, he will play a bit more conservatively than what he might, uh, again, where the we're trailing or where the match uh, match even. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, anyway, this is, uh, is going to be good. Yeah, Dimitri, the, uh, after this match is over, we'll be at effectively at dinner break. And then at 8 p.m. Pacific, we'll have those two, uh, Masters jackpot semifinals, and we'll put, uh, I'm sure, probably Stefan and MCG on stream one. Or do you want to? The other pairing is Armando Balbi and Jorgen Grandstead. <laughs> not a, not a safe call, or not an easy call. We haven't streamed Jorgen at all on on one. And uh, Stefan and MCG have both been on a lot. So, uh, I don't know. We'll we'll decide. Uh, maybe y'all can throw some of y'all. We got 163 people watching right now. You can, you know, vote, your, vote what you'd like to see. We'll take that into consideration as well. You can, both will be on, will be streamed. It's just which one will be uh, on stream one with the commentary. So, uh, Stefan Nunez and MCG versus, and well, Stefan Nunez versus MCG and Armando Balbi versus Jorgen Grandstedt. So, uh, and we'll try to get some expert commentary for whichever match we're uh, commentating on. So if y'all have a preference as to, uh, which match you would prefer to see with the uh, expert commentary, you can let us know. Again, Stefan Nunez versus Matt Congar and Armando Balbi versus Jorgen Grandstedt. 8 p.m. Yeah, I'm, we're, Tar and I are leaning toward putting Jorgen on uh, stream one. And Armando Balbi, he played mochi the other night uh i forget must have been the first round second round of the main or maybe in the masters maybe it was the masters first round and balby uh beat mochi like 15-3 he got he got a lot of good dice a lot of good rolls and uh proved to be a very competent player and uh you know here he is he's advanced to the uh to the semifinals so uh gibson is trailing dana seven to three that's to eleven. That's what I heard. Tara went and looked oh, well okay. ago. So we've uh, we brought him up to date on that. And uh, <laughs> yeah, we agree. Uh, I'm not sure who mop up is, uh, but we uh, we tend to agree. Again, you know, we try to, and we're a bit at a. Uh, we're at the mercy of the pairings and, and who who's advancing and so forth. So, but we do have some flexibility, um, but we like to mix it up a little bit, to, you know, have different people on people from different countries like to use different commentators at occasion. So, uh, yeah, it's nice here. We got meet you playing Brandon Macklin, who again, uh, you know, Brandon is a very accomplished player who probably isn't as well known or, and hasn't gotten the exposure that he deserves. So uh, we were happy to get him on the stream here <laughs> and, um, yeah, boy. And this, is it the first time we've streamed Michi? So it's the yeah. first time we've streamed Michi and obviously first time we've streamed Brandon. And no, to, been yeah, he's been streamed one. before. Uh, yeah. Cause he played somebody in the, yeah, uh, he had a big he had a big match played, uh, in the 5K another, match. Another played. Uh, Japanese guy. Okay. And then uh, there's Scotty Kellen joined the crowd. Hey, Scotty. Hey, Scotty. How's it going, man? And then uh, 
But tonight, I don't think we've we've streamed. How about Jorgen on stream two? But I don't think he's been on stream one. No, he and Balby was on the stream too, so I think we put those two guys on stream. No, 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 no. What do you think? Stream the beginners final. Stream the beginners final. Final, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. anybody we know? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know <laughs> if they have more than three players in the beginners. I don't either. Wouldn't that be a hoot? So we'd probably put uh, Balby and Grandstead on the stream one with the commentary, and uh, so that that should be a, an interesting match. Uh. I, I don't know Balby. Uh, again, I saw him play Mochi the other night. He played very well. Competent match. Uh, Grandstead, super nice guy. Incredible backgammon talent. Three-time world champion. So uh, I think people will... Uh, we have a lot in common, Grandstead and I. Mop-up is Mona in the house. Oh, they saw her walk by the camera. Oh, I'm right here. Mona in the house. The camera is right Hello. <laughs> Hello, friend. Who said that? So, Grant I have a lot in common. How's that? He's won Monte Carlo three times. I've gone three times to attend. Uh, oh, okay. I mean, who? Grant Stitt. Jorgen Grant Stitt. I play Scotty K asked if uh, says Steve, are you causing trouble again? I don't ever stop causing trouble. I don't mean again. <laughs> So, uh, what's the equity? you know it's it's great. I mean these uh, the matches have been fun. The commentary has been great and informative and entertaining. But uh, you know the players, the commentators, and all the people watching and and on the chat line, and all, we're all having a good time too. And, and what it's, it's all been, about. It, I mean the how the Ray and Mate match last night with Carter and Phil commentating was was a hoot. I mean it was it was a good match some good insight from the commentary but man were we having some fun <laughs> and I mean, it was uh had to be entertaining for uh, for some of the uh viewers and carter and i did commentary in one of the other matches we actually agreed a few times really a few you and carter you're not now, uh, is your game declining or is carter improving uh it could be converging to the point of <laughs> infinity <laughs> there's one exact moment we're going to be equal I don't know when that is. That's kind of like the, uh, back in the day, the old uh, falafel mat uh, weight contest. You know, who... Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> I think they met at like... 178. It was that in it? Yeah. Or 178 and a half. That's incredible. So, uh, you know, maybe Carter and Steve are converging. Uh, you know, S Steve will go up to a average 5 PR and Carter come down to an average 5 PR or something else. Could happen. Oh, ho, ho. I don't mean to brag. I'm Actually, I do mean to brag. But I played four matches that have been transcribed this week. I played a 3.5, 2.9, 2.8, and a 2.6. That'll work. And won one of them. And won one of yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> Stick tells me unless you play under two. Now, did you uh, did you outplay your opponent in each? Uh, no. One was both of my matches against me, Mochi. He outplayed me. One by one tenth of a PR. One by one and a half PR. Excellent for him. The other two, I, I did all right. Mop up. They they do on occasion. Some of them, particularly Mochi and Michi, for whatever reason, and I'm not knocking them, but uh, they like to take. Uh, you know, significant breaks. And I think the if you read the rules, you actually get like what, two ten minute breaks in a match of this length. As long as they're uh, following the rules. As long as they're okay. following the rules, it's not a big deal. So uh yeah, it's it's a little boring maybe for you to have to sit here and look at Steve and myself in a and an idle board and, and listen to our banter. But well, uh, we're the we're the two finalists for the cover of next month's GQ. Is that right? Yeah. Hey. It's down to us, too. So <laughs> the fans can just look at us yeah, for the yeah. next 10 minutes and say, what are we going to vote you're gonna for? You're going to have to vote right here, yeah. you know. Is it me or Steve on the cover of GQ next month? Yeah. It's the back cover, not the front cover. Back cover. <laughs> Probably inside back cover. <laughs> <sighs> you don't want to 
when it's showing on the newsstand, you know, or something. Oh. All right. Time to get some more water. Want some? I'm good, Steve. All I'm right. still nursing the last one you brought over here. Okay, my pup. I'll get him to respond to that shortly. He stepped away for just to get a glass of water. One thing that, you know, the closer PRs that people play, the, the closer they are in skill levels, then, uh, you know, luck becomes more and more a factor in, in backgammon. You know, with great disparate skill levels, then, uh, you know, in average luck, the, the more skilled player is going to win much more often than not. But, uh, you know, when it's equal skill levels, when you got Steve playing Mochi or Michi or whomever, uh, luck has a considerable contribution. One guy was asking Steve, said, Steve, how much is luck a factor in backgammon matches with those low PRs? Oh, oh, um, yeah. it's a variability depending on the differential of the PR and the length of the match. But I was saying, you know, I mean, if you got two essentially comparable players, yeah, that you and Mochi or Michi or O'Hagan or whomever, yeah. then luck's a huge factor in there. I mean, Mo Mochi's Mochi's a good one point two PR better than me, so I wouldn't call, exactly call myself comparable. But thank you very much. But I I would probably think that I would win forty five percent against him yeah. with that, which is you know it's worth it for him to play. <clears throat> oh, I thought they were fixing. They both went back in the room, but now oh, I guess they right. both left again. So, but I think we're fairly close <laughs> to uh, to resuming. Again, this is going to be interesting because uh, you know, to me, it's interesting to see if Brandon can uh, keep it going and hold on here. And of course. Uh, you know, everyone's got to expect uh, Michi's not going to roll over here, so there's going to he's going to rally in some fashion, and it's, it'll be fun to see how it plays out. I mean, I don't have the match equity table in front of me, and I don't feel like trying to figure it out, but 7-0. It's 14.6, someone said, Steve. Yeah, so, okay, 14.6. So, I mean, even if Michi's, like, super, super talented, he's still not up to 20%. Yeah. Maybe yeah. he's sixteen percent, you know, seventeen. I don't know, but that's a long shot. It's a long shot. But he's gonna fight. He's tenacious. He's, he's he never gives tenacious. up. He's gonna. He grind never loses it. his composure. And uh, he's really like one of the all-time greats. So, and we'll see. I mean, is is how much does Brandon pull in his horns, you know, and how conservative does he get? Yeah. Does that we'll, hurt him? we'll see once uh, Brandon gets to a gamut position and he's four away, whether he cubes or not. Yeah. Might happen. Okay, Michi. Michi does make that play. I even seen him make that play at zero zero. Oh really? Three two. Yeah. He likes that play. I man. mean, for sure, down seven zero. But I, I've seen him do it three zero. All right. So twenty two and ten. Duplicating six three and six five. Okay, he's gonna get. You hit. Absolutely. Nice Absolutely. play, Brandon. Hit an escape. Oh, Ants. my goodness. Double oh my sixes God. here. Okay. The, the bleeding continues. 4-1 to make the five. So if Michi's fanned here, let's just see if Brandon would double. That's not going to happen. I Do you make the 22 or do you hit? Ooh, I think I just I make, make the 22. 22. Bravo, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I just, uh, you're diversifying Brandon's counterattacking numbers, and you're not gaining all that much. I think you just, I mean, he's got the advantage, and you just give him potential for more advantage. If you yeah, do. nice. Nice play. It's hanging in there on the 22 point, trying to construct a little bit. Obviously, if you had a spare checker. All well, right. He goes be, that way. It could be score based. I would not have done it. Oh, no. Oh, Brandon fanned it away. Brandon returns oh, like the favor. Okay, 4 3. 
Well, I guess you just make the bar point. The most constructive move you can make. Yeah, I mean, what else does he have? Three two for Brandon. Just make the anchor. I mean, there's a temptation to hit. But I think it's prudent. Make the anchor. Five one. There's nice five shot. point. Five point. One one. one wow, one. that does, that, 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 that just does everything. That will work. Six, anchor five. Hit, move up. Exactly. <laughs> Six to five. Six five. For sure. Okay, not so bad. Not I make so the bad, twenty-two although, twice. Uh, I'm giving up the back anchor. Okay. Hey, you did. Oh man, look at here. Now you're getting. Uh, somewhat to where you were curious about Brandon, uh, what Brandon yeah, was going mean, to do. It's a little bit more of an advantage than he's, he's going to, should turn it. We roll 4-2? Okay. Well, for example, if Michi came in with like an ace-4 danced, I would die. I would just double. Nice play, Brandon. Oh my goodness! Ace four, deuce four. You should yeah, kill. You, you're you should you're kill on, now. man. You're on. And I wouldn't even take. I would not even take. He just rolls. This score? No. Seven zero. Really? Yeah, really. You guys four away. You want to just go out? Not out. Yes. I understand. This is my opinion. <laughs> it's all I can go by. They don't allow me to have the Kit Woolsey books at my disposal at the table. How to play tournament back in page twenty six? Can I look at this while we're playing? <laughs> my lifeline. I know it's a fantastic book, though. Absolutely. Okay, so now he's thinking about it. Well, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Five four. Oh my oh, goodness! Baby. Crushing, crushing shot. So now he, I think he definitely does it now, huh? Well, I mean, he's actually borderline too good. <laughs> right. Four checkers back behind a, a five prime. Two checkers back behind a four prime. I think it's a safe play. I mean, he only has double fours really bad. It's just double. I mean, by the book, probably, yeah, but... I, I, I think I'd just he, take he it. Rolls I, 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 I'd, I'd cash. Nice yeah. I'd cash. Okay, yeah. Game. He missed a few cubes here. And Michi is absolutely going to drop this. Yeah he, yeah, he he doesn't ponder that one long. Yeah. High management's very good, this, this match, so far. Zero eight. Okay, so... Uh, Eight zero. All the comments we've made about the score and the, you know psychology from this score and everything it's it's only uh, only been enhanced. They took the break and uh, now it's eight zero instead of seven zero. Mochi's going to play the gammon go two point. <laughs> Look out six. So, uh, the rain keeps coming down. So we're in a practically never double situation here. Any gammon chances? No, I both from the eighteen. What What's do you he, think? What does he have? Five four. Five four. I just take them from. I the like 18. that, Bill. Even if you get a hit. The, yeah, it's you know, no big deal to get hit. Point. I don't do this though. Oh, this is you like it, huh? What else? Okay. Breaking I, from the back. Because you have a race lead and you want to try and get home? Yeah, just go for it right there. I mean, That's I understand there's play. a little diversification involved. Well, Kit, there's a very good chance you're right because I've only won one of the last ten times we've played against you. And I was lucky to do that one. Okay, I like that play. We'll see what happens. All right. It's two to one. Bill and Steve. Box is yes. the other way. Make the ace or escape? I don't think he escapes. That's good. No, you, you can't. I don't think you can. You got to hope for some interactive contact here, I would All think. Right. But 
<laughs> and the race is even. How do you need time? Five one. Okay. Eight to seven. You know, he's got a bigger board. It's not like a brand new no attack, really. Yeah. And we even with this little small play here, we begin. We'll see how Brandon approaches with the big lead. Yeah, he's relatively. He, he fearless. played it correct. Oh yeah. yeah. Yes, it's cool. So you probably just move up and uh, move make up the how, inside point. Move up how far is that? all the way? I mean, if you if the how close is the race here? Very close. Then I move up all the way. Right, particularly since the course is somewhat duplicated. What, come up and make the five? Oh, uh, yeah. Are well, you going to come up and 125. make five? You're going to come up and make five. It's a question. Six, just how, how far, which one five. you do it with. 128. Huh? So you're hit three pips and you have a better board. So just move all the way up. And, uh, yep. Know. Okay. Just a lot of pointing this. numbers. Okay. So what if you might see points? Not like you no know, and wins. Sometimes he does what is the roll? Four three. Huh. Make it and go to the three point? I don't think so. I would just make the four point. A lot of return shots. It does. One twenty one. You'd rather play six. at the score, I think. One twenty five. Right. I think he's doing the right thing. Possibly. I would do the other one. I think, you know, the even score is better. Eight shot. numbers, yeah. Scott Johnson, double plus, likes the point. Okie dokie, Scott. Validating oh, that. He says he corrected himself. No, it doesn't. What are you, <laughs> what are you doing? What are you hey, at first he said make the point, but make then he eight. said that 13963 is the correct what, play. What, XG? Yeah. So, there it close. is. So, yeah. huh? I, he didn't give the numbers, but. Uh, that was helpful. So, Michi could think about doubling here. Do it. Kit would do it. Okay, that's right. Give him a chance to make a mistake. A mistake? Just do a lot it. of easy take. A lot of volatility 129 here. 129 for black. It's going to be 100, race 130. Matter. So, the race is practically even. You okay, have them on board. Uh, you have fly shots on to that hit. play. 13. Matter, you've got huge market boosts. End yeah. of story. 13963 was. 29 millipoints better than that. Okay. I'm happy to make an under 0 .03 mistake. <laughs> as long as I don't make too many. I'll tell you, I, I, my prediction, if if Michi sends this, Brandon's going to drop it. I don't think no so. Way. No I don't. The no. Brandon? No way. He's got a lot of courage. He's got uh, a lot of courage, but he's got an 8-0 lead. He doesn't want to compromise so, either. So try to make it a 10-0 lead. 10-0 or 11-0. I mean, you can counter gamma your yeah. opponent. I don't know. Is so, is well, he's being thorough. That's and he's got time on his side. And yeah. uh, almost in a way, the more you think about it, the more you let your opponent like stew over the potential decision. So yeah, nap exactly. take, nicely done. Oh, fast! You're gonna like, drop. You do want to drop? Oh one. yeah, everybody's different. <coughs> so yeah, just bring it into the five. Okay. Terrible B roll. Well, it's better than a fan. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Okay. Let's see what kind of thing Brandon's got. <laughs> okay, that's. We have others uh, playing the playing on the uh, the name here. <laughs> on what? <laughs> on the name. What name? Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> Everybody. Oh. I mean, we're going to have T-shirts for twenty-two dollars a piece, and uh, you go buy ten, you get twenty of them. Two, ten for two hundred. 
Pretty raw. Okay, this is an automatic. Makes the point and hits. Pressure's on. Out of perform. Brandon here. He Boom, double hit. Excel. Amici's going to flatten those two checkers out. There you go. <laughs> I know my man. Okay, Brandon's okay. on a play on mode here for the match and a spot in the finals. Wow. The consolation. Brandon's going to ever double, basically. Uh, wow. <laughs> We're going to hit on the five. What I guess you keep going to have double hit. What are you wrong? Three, four. I just I keep going. Flatten the checkers out. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> He's very precise. I'm going to go five to one. I mean, you give him one good number, not two. Okay. A little bit of a conservative play. It has its benefits. You make a five prime. Oh. oh. Ricochet Big swing gives him on the that five. Play. Huh? Big swing on that play. Oh, hit the clock. There we go. One four. All right. Okay. Not so terrific. Choice. Sort of semi duplicates four. Semi forced, too. Uh oh. Uh oh. Bowser. Almost all his numbers are good. Wow, Three, that is super, Look super out. shot. We might be looking at match here. We might be, certainly. If not, it's a very good shot at 10 0 or more. And three. Continue. Make the three. Like Terminator will not ever stop. Everything, all the ammo lined up. Oh, behind Michi. It. Six in the bar, not quite opportune. By one, rip Ooh. it. I mean, double hit. Okay. Oh, Brandon's got he's got the game plan now. <laughs> Flatten those checkers out. What do you do if there's like nine checkers on the bar? It's like is there enough room? Uh, a six. Hanging in there with the a six. Just uh, he's got a four point four of his own. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's see if Michi comes in with one checker. It's really up for grabs. Oh, two checkers. Two. Unbelievable. What do, you, what do you mean one checker? Yeah. I'm going to go 23 twice. I'm I going 23 switch. point. I'm not yeah, sure switching I... is like too ambitious. Oh my uh -oh. goodness. What a turnaround. This could get ugly thing. quick. Ooh. Uh, switch you bring shift? two down? I think so. You got a lot of tempo going your favor. Oh, yeah. And just, yeah, that's right. Diversify. Oh Look my out. goodness. Look out. A superstar. And I guess I have Two. I have enough confidence hitting on the ace because I've got the anchor. Well, is it hit on the ace or bring the other one in? I think no, I hit on the ace. You have an advanced anchor. He's got two more blocks you want to pick up. I understand the gammons are half value at the score, but winning a gammon wins the game. Yeah. All right. All right. I mean, it might not be that bad. I would just, I would have hit though. Big swing, massive. Here we swing. go. I mean, massive swing. Coming out. Then bring two in. Okay. One king. No, now you got not it. hit. Got to hit. And I actually, I actually would have done the other one, because. If he gets hit back, the fours and threes are duplicated. I would have kept making the fives and twos good. Where's the deuce? Uh, I'm not sure about that. I mean, you could just play to the 11. Get your safety net to be able to exit. 18 point. And five. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. <laughs> Might just play to the eight duplicate fours. Yeah, I don't think you want to... Put any ah, more blocks okay, in play. That's that. fine. I didn't think about that. A lot of five twos. Five twos just growing on trees. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
again, I don't think you can. Uh, well, by breaking the 18, you can at least duplicate can sixes. Break. I mean, the gammon penalty is that high because it's, it's only half value. What are you going to do? Just stay on the 18 and wait to roll double fives? I go for it now. I would not do that. Well, he thinks it. Okay. Okay. Well, this is a good shake. Yeah, uh, four, one, two, three, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Well, again, you can duplicate sixes, but why? Yeah, just do this. And bring it around. Or you can come out with a five and slot the four. Duplicates twos. Slot. But maybe maybe you're right, Bill, because he's got a blot. Uh, Mitch's got a blot in his board, so uh, I don't think he got much else, do you? I mean, you could play to the ace and just dupe the two. That I know, way. but then you get then you got a safety the check or the next roll. So I think your play was right. Couldn't have worked, but it was right. Lift your spare five. I don't like that. I understand his ambition with that, but I wouldn't have done it. Four two. All right. And exit. Four. What are the seventeen? You go into the twelve or the seventeen. Yeah. He wants to play with one blot. Maybe it's right. I would have done the other one. Three roll. Three one. Well, he's just gonna keep it slotted. He went through really. Oh, and I now don't where like your fives that. play. Hmm? I don't he's gonna like keep that. it just slotted. Play the ace. He took great pains to keep it slotted the previous roll. Oh, stuck. Ooh. All right, move forward, duplicate twos. Dupes to two. Hits the two. Oh, okay. Well, but six goes there. I've seen there. worse rolls in my day. Three blots. Sixes are duplicated. Big shake for Brandon. Dance. Hmm. Now you might have to clear that six, huh? Hmm. I don't think so. I just, or or yeah. lift. Anyways, you got to lift. Clear you, and you lift because it the duplicates threes. What do you Four, five. Four, five. All right, exit. Yeah. Exit stage left. Yeah. Exit or you play no. six, one? No, absolutely not. No? No. Just come out. So you might get hit, you might not get hit, but you got to maintain structure. Oh, no. <laughs> this is just... Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for what? You both made the wrong play. <laughs> uh, maybe I was just uh, anticipating or predicting what Brandon was oh, going to do. Oh, then yeah. you are... <laughs> nice read, Bill. Excellent. 4-3? <laughs> 4-3. Boom. All right, down to fifty-seven percent. Make there you go. And predictions. Yeah, I know we were calling the Joker. Uh. <clears throat> All right, here's the anti-Joker six-five. Boom! Hit. Not so much. So. Okay. Oh, okay. Enter and just bring them down. So, Michi's I mean, got a very good chance to win this game, but probably not a gammon. You roll four, four three. three. All right, that's about all you got. Brandon will slowly try and remake Aces. his six point. Here we go. I keep the guy on the twenty one. <laughs> no, no. Why not? You well, make a board, don't you? You want to make it. you want to make your six point. This is a shot. Well, no, it's not. Slotted, oh, it is a shot. If you had slotted the two, you would have had more numbers than made six points. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe. Oh, I should take Maybe you're right, Rory. I'm sorry. 
Five, Ace. One. And now, excellent exit. Exit. Nice play, Brandon. Get a double shot on double four, double five, double six. Six two. Three two. Really good shot for Michi. Definitely want to hit. Take a checker off. Either have uh, Brandon fan or move forward to the 21. Absolutely, Rory. Again. <laughs> oh, oh look wow. Look Superstar out. shake here. Oh. This is what a quite a turnaround here, Mr. Rouse. Yeah, what? Whoa! One, two. Just rolls a birdie in on top of Michi's birdie. 15 and nine, 10. The last one out. No. Oh. No. No, it's the wrong idea. Unless you roll an ace exactly, that's going to be inefficient. Whoa. Take all your seven. Look at this. Wow. Yeah, but that kind of points out where the ace was a problem. Yeah. I think we're going to You want to be able to. I think we're going to transpose. You want to be able to capitalize on larger They're doubles. They're playing too fast for me to figure that out. Okay. Okay. Six five or better. Five two. Okay, he six five or better. He saved it. <laughs> Not the way you roll anyway. All right, Michi finally on the board. Okay. How about that? That was a, a very fortuitous save yeah, for it Brandon. Was a save. It was uh well it looked like it was match over. Well, that, but even at the end, it's a oh, great yeah. save for Brandon to save the <laughs> yeah. game. And too. I mean, it's a, such a long and interesting game. A lot of cool. Brandon got a two and a two for me. Thank you, Rory. And four and a four. Four and a four. <laughs> yeah, always. Two and a. Always. Two and a <laughs> Three, two, double twos for Brandon. Uh, actually, at this score, I probably do Brandon's player. Uh, nice move. Money game, I probably just bring two down. Yeah, but with those, I, I like his play. One well, of those two builders back there, he's favorite to bank the bar, the five. Yeah. And uh, so you step up to. All right. Means it a ball. And he makes the four. <laughs> two down. Yeah. And in about four seconds or less, he's going to bring two down. Uh, not so pleasant. Probably move both back checkers forward. I don't like that at all. I just move up to the 20. You might get pointed on, but even if you rolled one okay. of those numbers that made the point make, of be bad anyway. Make the three. Good call there. Uh, yeah, I just, uh, <laughs> might make the two. <clears throat> wow. Oh, I was thinking that was Michi's roll. Four, three. Uh, certainly seems reasonable. I think I'd do that. Nice play, Tara. One of those two players, anyway. Decent shake for okay. Minchie. Okay. Button up. Lock Got it a up. button up back here, huh? You can release those checkers later, but right for now. Two. Ooh. Probably going to bring two down. I mean, you still have an anchor. Slightly better board. Not that only six numbers yet. 
Get yourself active, be able to make the seven or the five. You yeah. know. Worth the risk. Lots of time left on the clock for these guys. Two one. Hmm. Not particularly what Michi had in mind or needed. Might bring two off the thirteen. Leave me. Uh, oh, actually, no. Yeah, that's my plan. Brandon got a double four. That's pretty good out. shot. Exit. Bring the checker into the three. Yeah, bring it into the three. You're only leaving a five three. Or you could play less distributionally and leave more numbers. Finds the right play. Four, six, okay. Nice. Top right. five. Doesn't do much. Hmm. Would you slot here, Bill? Duplicating no, threes? No. I would. Still have the anchor. I'm, I'm making Brandon's play. Hmm. I like the I like the risk reward ratio here. Okay. Let's see. I mean, geez, what can he do with that? I just, think you just, just bring him 11. in. Just bring him in. Make the 11 and make your five point. Yeah. Uh, Whoa! I don't know about that. Oh, he's wow. just he's just looking at his options. That's uh, that's not an option. I, huh? Yeah, not, I mean he's down the race. Not I mean, a buyable. He's going to let Brandon attack his loose blocks. Diversify his numbers. I don't like that either. Scott says XG doesn't like breaking the eleven eight two six one, which is what Mochi okay. or Michi plays. Okay, play. Make the five. Yeah, I mean he's two double, blots over there. He's double blotted in his board, and he has to give up the anchor to hit it. So I make the five. I really think that slot was right earlier. Huh? Okay, so make the make the ace point. What do you do? Ace and the five. Because now, if Brandon rolls a six, he's forced to come off the uh, eighteen point, unless it's a six one. Mm-hmm. In a direct or even double direct <laughs> shot. Don't do nothing crazy, Brandon. <laughs> I don't know what you're thinking about, but keep that cube in your pocket. Big swing. Six four it makes a nice a point, play. Though. Oh, it does make that blocking point. No, no. He doesn't see go. it, but there he sees go. it. Ooh, oh, man. big time. <laughs> That was a, his best six. I mean, other than the, the ace, which he could have played safely. But... Or double sixes would have been fine. Or okay, two. so let's see. So Michi's going to hit and unduplicate by playing uh, eight to six, giving himself good threes, fours, and fives. Yeah, That's not, totally not the wrong that idea. One. You, you wanna, it's fives and You fives. want the five over here. Yeah, he knows it. And he gives him a good double fours. Close the board and keep, keep it. He sees it. Okay, here we go. Hmm. 
Yeah, actually yeah, keep the point because now 3-4, Brandon's forced to crack. Yeah. Yeah, big time. Yeah, that's fun. Now it's a dance, it's a cube, huh? Uh, yeah, especially with considering the score. Yeah. But a take. Ninety six for white. Ninety five. You got to take though. Yeah, you know, good prime structure. I don't structure. know that he's going to take it. Oh, he it. does. He does with the three point open. Y'all know Brandon better than I do, but I. I, I, I I'm, think, I'm just talking about the position. Yeah, but I just uh, I don't know. There's very little gammon risk. Very little gammon risk. He's stuck he, behind a prime. He prom. drops it. Oh uh, well, you know. I mean, I would have taken. I just think it. You know. He, he's playing conservatively with his lead. And, uh, uh, yeah, he did. I mean, based on the couple of missed doubles and 7-0 game. He's just, uh, he'd like to just trade points for the rest of the match and, and win 11-6 yeah. or something. Here we go. Bar hopping. Up a slot. Down in the race, you need to build structure. Don't worry about splitting. <clears throat> Doesn't sound as good when somebody's rooting for Michi, huh? Vamos Michi. Not <laughs> quite like Let's Go Brandon, is it? <laughs> oh, several people, they've been laughing about that here. I'll be make the deuce. No, you make the four and slot the deuce. All right. Uh, really, it's just uh, they've been wearing that out on the chat. Just okay, Bill. This is our play. Thing. Here's the play. In the 18. We had the same play earlier. No, no, no. I think. You I mean, with the, the race lead and the your opponent's double slot in his board, just make a break for clear it. Clear the 18. He will eventually. No, 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 no. I just clear the 18. And I like this at least a little better than slotting the four, but... Well, I agree with that. But I think you just clear the 18. Okay, that's the gold medal play. I understand it's concern yeah. because of diversification. Two's hit, one's three's, four's and six's cover. And you're giving up the eight. Anchor. You got to get out of there sooner or later, though. You're going to have to 126 for give white. up the 18. It's 16 pips. Got a 16 pip lead. Good play, Brendan. Okay, I like opinion. it. Bill's opinion. Wow. Wow, nice roll. Yeah. A little frustrating when you think make the play you think's right and then they Yeah. Roll the Joker. Okay, so Wow, what do you do here? You come all the way out, you're duplicating fours and sixes. But you duplicate fours and sixes and you keep it down to one blot. So I mean I mean you could think about doubling here. It'd be an easy take. I like it. He's down a lot. I well, think I come think out, so. actually. I come out. But... The duplication and the black's got a blot in their board. Doing this, you're diversifying his numbers and you're introducing another blot. And Michi doubles. He's probably doubling either play. Snap take by Brandon. And 5-3. Pointing. Uh, I agree. I think. Are you hit outside? No, no, no. I no, think... I point. No. This is what you're going for. You're going for the closeout. It gives uh, <clears throat> Brandon too many good numbers if he just hit on the outside. All right. Look Ooh, out. Look superstar out. return Whoa, shot. Baby. Enter. Make the four. And yeah. actually, in this case, wow, what do you do with the last one? 13, 11, or 8, 6? And the 5, 6 is duplicated. The 5, 4 is duplicated. I actually do come down to the 11. Might be wrong, but I, I would do it. 
three three. All right, now we got another opportunity for Brandon to finish things off here. There it is. Hit and bring a builder down. Yep. Ooh, he knows to flatten him out now. <laughs> I think you you come down. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you're leaving him double fives, but you know, if you stack him up on the midpoint. He comes in with a five, and then you're hard pressed to attack. So. Nice play, Brandon. Three something. Three's hit, two streets and fours make the five. Not a disaster. Swing it around. Only uh, three return shots. Double ones hanging make, in there. Make the 23. Okay. Interesting game. Proceeding here. That was huge for Michi. This you. was huge for Brandon. Huge for Brandon. Super huge. Whoa. We got a six prime. Now he wants to stack. And he's got enough, got enough timing that uh, Michi may run out of timing. Yeah, I don't. I would not do that at all. I would have just brought a checker down to the uh, seven. Man, Michi looking for little numbers. Two down. Or just one crossover play. No, because 13. then double six, you got to play three sixes. This way, you yeah. only play two. Correct. She wants to bring them in and kill sixes. I wouldn't do this. Aren't that? And Brandon does leave a shot on double fours and six five. Oh boy. Just, yeah, it's an clearly idea. eight. It's I a believe. trap play, too. Not a trap yet, but it's a potential trap. I, I, I like Bill's play. You have no bad numbers, and uh, you're clearing a point that you want to clear. <clears throat> nice play, Brandon. If you pick Dana. the ice up. Ooh, he's thinking about it. Mm, well, that's an interesting you idea. Down. You lost? Okay, Patrick Gibson beat Dana Nazarian in the other Constellation semifinal. So the winner of this will play Patrick Gibson in the Constellation final tomorrow. Nice play. 4-1. Four one. Couldn't ask for much more than that. That was perfect almost. I just gave it, Steve. Did you hear that? Uh, Patrick Gibson beat Dana Nazarian. So. Uh, yeah, Patrick's a very experienced tournament player. Knows what he's doing. Dana, one of the greats, uh, but it's a dice game at the end of the day. Anybody can win. So, just break the five point. Yeah, nothing fancy. I don't like that. No. Now you got only aces to remake the four point as opposed to aces and deuces to make the ace. And you're just busting, you know? Nowhere to go. Yeah. No, this is ugly. Disaster. Disaster is right. So. It would have been bad either way. Oh, okay. This is good. He doesn't mind that. Now I'm letting him roll at six. Okay. Okay. Four one. one. Okay. Simple. I wouldn't do that. No, now you're no. forced to play threes. Why? Well, I don't understand. You're not why you're saving a three. Six to three. Keep your builders in play. All right. Now he's gonna. No, no. this is the wrong idea. Check her off the five. Yep. If you play six to five, then your six four leaves a double shot in the next roll. I'd rather just not have any of those double shot, double block plays. Smoother, too. 
there's an extra attacker. Okay, there's the with the blot over there. I mean, this is uh, oh, get big it, swing on it. Great. I know, but he made the right play. He was rewarded. He would have been punished otherwise. One, well, double blotting numbers. Our double blooding number, I guess, six five, huh? Yeah, Michi's concerned about a gammon. He realizes his game winning chances are pretty bad. I'm I don't think I volunteer a shot. Five three. Take them both to the eleven, take the no, two crossovers, I, huh? No, I would Play that three and that five, giving yourself a direct cover to make four points, which is why you left that blot slotted in the first place. Okay, okay. now, oh, now we got a shot. I'm going. Play, I'm going five four. It's I agree just, with you, Bill. You only you only have one. Uh, you only do it once. It's funny if you make the other play. You might leave it and get missed. So. You could roll six five four and leave there a you triple go. shot. Exactly. All right. So is uh. Gambit of uh, keeping that point slot, it paid off. Look out. Oh. Here we go. Like uh, Monopoly. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Get sent back. <laughs> Three, five. Very simple. Well, it does leave him a bad 6 2 5 2 4 2. If. Uh, no, but Michi's not going to maintain that anchor. He's happy to. Uh, Roll the 6-5 and potentially get off the gammon. There's your 6-2. Right. Yeah. It had been a double shot if he'd have stayed, yeah, but, but he, he, just, he couldn't Unless have you stayed. roll really tiny, he couldn't, he couldn't do that, yeah. 5-3. Five, three. Five, three. All right, come in and maybe bring the checker down. 5-4. Right. Like Brand is probably a slight favorite to win a gammon. Maybe a slight underdog because of the gap. Three. Now he's a favorite. Right, and Man. actually, no, this is not right because now double force doesn't get a checker off. You were supposed to take a checker in and play twelve ten. Okay. Do not roll double fours here. Fives or sixes. That would be the punishment. Blue. So transposition. Now if Brandon does not roll an ace, he is going to be a finalist in the 2011 Constellation Division. And is it? Congratulations, yeah. Brandon Macklin. Good match. Way to go, and Brandon. Finalist to face off with Patrick Gibson tomorrow. Nice, uh, nicely, nicely done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think so. We'll be back at 8 p.m. Uh, Pacific, which is. Two and a half hours with the uh, Master Shack Pot semifinals. Stefan Nuniats versus Matt Kungar. Amando Balbi versus Jorgen Grandstedt. So uh, that sh those should be uh, treats to watch. How were the Nielsen ratings on our I, I, broadcast I'm, I'm not sure, Steve, but uh, Brandon, my man, congratulations. Good job, Brandon. Uh, not many that we... Uh, what about the, uh, you think I should just shoot out with that 3-4? I played it down, and he pointed on me. I would have come out, yeah. Shoot out. Yeah. Yeah. It's one less block. It's great, man. Uh, Congratulations. Thanks. Yeah. What about and, uh, uh, after I don't shoot out, 